Very warm good evening to one and all. On behalf of Samiksha, I invite you all for the today's session. We know that Samiksha is an organization started by many of doctors and house surgeons with the aim of developing the knowledge of Ayurveda in a way that is accessible to all physicians for the advancement of Ayurveda around the world. From the very first step of Samiksha on the subject of nervous system, we were made aware of the importance of nervous system in Ayurvedic treatment. The associated gynecology obstetrics and Ashwabhagandhidiyam classes received a lot of attention. Similarly, our international seminar also received a lot of attention. The single session we conducted was very focused on the upliftment of BAM students, clarifying job opportunities outside India, information on what to do for the MOH exams and completely dispelling the doubts of many related to it. In addition to these seminars, several cases including photos were presented to make it easier for our growing young doctors to understand the treatment of diseases in each condition. Details of our seminars are displayed on the screen. Those who wish to watch these seminars can send a message at any time to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen for the recordings of seminars. Let us go to today's class to learn more about becoming a good doctor by praying to Jagadishwar that he will bless all our Ayurvedic doctor to excel in the field of treatment. Good evening everyone. Samiksha welcome you all to the final day of our Bhasini national level paper and poster presentation. So, first of all, I would like to invite our panels. Now we can start the presentation and before that, I would like to remind you something about the presentation rules. Dear participants, please be there on time and kindly follow your time limit. And we wish all the very best to all of our participants. So first we start with a poster presentation and I invite Dr. Akshay Sunil Kasturwar for the poster presentation. I invite Dr. Akshay. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. Good evening, doctor. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, doctor. Just a second, ma'am. I will share a slide. Hello. Yes, doctor, you are audible. My slide is visible, ma'am. Yeah, it's started Hello. screen sharing, not yet visible. Is it visible, ma'am, now? No, doctor, it's not visible.
Hello, Dr. Akshay, your slide is not visible. Yes, ma'am, I'm trying. Is it? Hello? Yes, doctor, it's visible now. Please start. Uh, so my topic is uh, clinical significance of Chaturmasa. To establish, the aim is to establish the clinical significance of uh, uh, Chaturmasa. So the main motive is uh, to elaborate the clinical significance of Chaturmasa. The objective is, uh, is to study the literature about Chaturmasa to study the Ayurvedic principle related to the Chaturmasa. The materials I have taken in this is scriptures related to the Chaturmasa, online literatures and about the Chaturmasa, Ayurvedic Sahita, uh, which has been published and various articles based on Chaturmasa. The observation I have done here on the Chaturmasa is uh, Maharishi Vedvyas has previously mentioned in, the, uh, in Vedas about the rituals of the Chaturmasa. Chaturmasa it means the four months of the Holy Spirit during the month of July to October. The Chaturmasa is a reason for penance, austerity, fasting, bathing, and uh, following various religious rituals and observing is it sincerely, in which various devotees follow austerities and taking oath about following the good rituals. The prime rutu is Varsha rutu. In the Varsha rutu, according to the Ayurveda, is the Adhan Kal, in which the person's strength is weak. That is the Mandagni. The Agni becomes diminished or weak, due to which there is the Alpa Bala, an alpha sattva patient and there is uh, we have to take sattvic ahar and follow the karma kanda home yadnya austerity period the main conclusion of uh, chaturmasa is to follow the rituals and the fest uh, festival stated in uh, sanatan sanskriti having its own significance. In Varsharutu, Agnibal and Sattva of the person is compromised. So to overcome this alignment, Acharya had told to follow the Chaturmasa. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Hello. Dr. Akshay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Sachin Mahindrakar for the paper presentation. Dr. Sachin, are you there? Hello, Dr. Sachin, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Oh. Please share the screen, doctor. Hello, sir. The screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session. Uh, myself, Dr. Sachin Mendeka, final PG scholar uh, from Ayurveda Mahadala and Hospital Ubli. My topic is today's my topic is concept of Shorta. Uh, contents of my topic introduction uh, Utpati Nirukti types of Shorta, Shorta Santrapti, uh, Shorta uh, Puro Rupa, Saman Lakshan of Shorta, types, Sadhya Sadhya Upadra, and conclusion. Introduction Achara Charaka defines Swayatu as a bulging from the skin. In chapter 18, Sutrasthana deals with the diagnosis of aspects of swelling under the uh, name of Trisodji Adhyaya. There is, there is the word, uh, in the word Shofa is frequently used for the Shota. Thus, the word Swayatu, Shota, and Shofa are the synonyms of the denote, denote the edema or swelling. For implement swelling, the Shesha, the Achara, and Spin Dagi, Rona Shota, the Sutrasthana Charaka classified Shota in many ways in Chikisana. Swayatu Chikisadaya, which is mainly on the treatment aspect, those uh, only those classifications are given which important uh, treatment aspect. and. Uh, Utpatya Nirutya Shota. According to Siddhanti Komadi, the 
ಟೂ ಔಷಿ ಗತಿ ವೃದ್ಧ ದವಾಡ್ ಗತಿ ರಪಸ್ತು ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಉತ್ಸೇದ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಸ್ವೇತು ಸ್ವೇತು ಕೊರತಿ ಉತ್ಸೇದ ಇದು ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾತ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಶೋತ ಸ್ವೇತಿ ಶೋತ ಸ್ವತೇತಿ ಶೋತ ಶೋತ ಇದು ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ವತೇತಿ ಶೋಗತ ಭೌಗೋಳತೆ ಏನ ಬೈ ಆಡಿಂಗ್ ದಶ್ವಿ ಧಾತು ದವಾಡ್ ಸ್ವೇತಿ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೋತ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಾರಣ ಭೇದ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಭೇದ ಕಾರಣ ಭೇದ ದ್ವಿಜ ನಾಗಾಂತುಜ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಭೇದ ಸರ್ವಾಂಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಧಾಂಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಕಾಂಗ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ಇಂಟು ಊರ್ಧೋಗತ ಮಧ್ಯಮಗತ ಅಧೋಗತ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ಇಂಟು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದೋಷ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಪಜ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಪ ಸನ್ನಿಪ ವಿಶಜ ಷಡ್ ವಿಧ ಶೋತ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಪ ಸನ್ನಿಪ ಆಗಂತ ವಿಶಜ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸಪ್ತ ವಿಧ ಶೋತ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಪಜ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಪ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಅಂಡ್ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತಜ ನಿಜ ಶೋತ ನಿಧಾನ ನಿಜ ಶೋತ ನಿಧಾನ ಶುದ್ಧ ಆಮಯ ಅಭಕ್ತ ಕುಶಾಬಲಾಂ ಚಾರ ಆಮ್ಲ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಉಷ್ಣ ಉಪವಾಸ ದ್ವಿಜಾರ್ಧಿ ನಿಧಾನ ಪಾರ್ಧಿ ನಿಜ ಶೋತ ಉದ್ಧ ಮೂರ್ಚ ಚಾರ ಆಮ್ಲ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಆಹಾರ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಹ ಪಾಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ರಾವ ಉಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಗುರು ಆಹಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಿ ಅಪ್ಪಕ್ವಾನ ಮೃತ್ತಿಕಾ ಶಾಖ ವಿರೋಧಿ ಅನ್ನ ದೂಷಿತ ಅನ್ನ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಶೋತ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅರ್ಷ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಯಾಮ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಶೋಧನ ಟೈಮ್ಲಿ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಟು ಮರ್ಮ ವಿಷಮ ಸೋತ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ನಿಜ ಶೋತ ಆಗಂತ ಶೋತ ನಿಧಾನ ನಿಧಾನ ಆಗಂತ ಶೋತ ವೆನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಅಥವಾ ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಶೇಟೆಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಇಂಜುರಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಬೈ ಶತ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಊಂಡ್ ವುಡ್ ಅಶ್ಮ ಶಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಐರನ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಗಂತ ಶೋತ ಶೋತ ಪೂರ್ವರೂಪ ಉಷ್ಮ ತಥಾ ಸ್ವಾದ್ವೈತ ಶಿರಾಣ ಮಾಯಾಂ ಇತ್ಯವ ಪೂರ್ವರೂಪ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇದೆ ಚರಕ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾನ ಉಷ್ಮ ದ್ವೈತು ಶಿರಾಣ ಮಾಯಾಮ ದ್ವಿಧಾರ್ಥಿ ಪೂರ್ವಕ ಶೋತ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಶಿರ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಯದ ಕಫ ಅಸು ಉತ್ತಾನಿ ಸ ದ್ವಿಷೇತಿ ವಾಯು ತೈರ್ ತೈರ್ಬದ್ಯ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಸ ತಥಾ ವಿಸರ್ಪ ಉಚ್ಛಂದ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಸ್ವೈತು ಕರೋತಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿಯ ಶೋತ ವಿಷಯ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿಯ ಶೋತ ಉರಸ್ಥಿತ ಊರ್ಧ್ವಂ ಅದ ಅಸ್ತು ವಾಯೋ ಸ್ಥಾನ ತೈರ್ ತೈರ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಗತಸ್ತು ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಸರ್ವಾಂಗತ ಸರ್ವಗತ ಖಚಿತ ಉಚ್ಚ ಧಾಕ್ಯ ಇಷ್ಟ ವಿಷಯ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಂದ ಊರ್ಧ ಭಾಗ ತಿಸ್ಕಾಳು ಊರ್ವ ಶೋತ್ ಊರ್ಧ ಊರ ಶೋತ್ ಊರ್ಧ ಶೋತ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಇದು ಫ್ಲೋ ಚಾರ್ಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ನಿಧಾನ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ನಿಧಾನ ತ್ರಿದೋಷ ಪ್ರಕೋಪ ಅಂಡ್ ದೋಷ ಪ್ರಕೋಪ ವಿತ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ವ್ಯಾನ ವಾತ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಜಲೀಯ ಧಾತು ಅಂಬಾವಿ ಮೂತ್ರ ಸ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ವಾತ ಪ್ರಕೋಪ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಜಲೀಯ ಧಾತು ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದೋಷ ರಸ ರಕ್ತಾದಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಸರಾಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ತ್ವಕ ಮಾಂಸ ಅಶಿತ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ಸ್ಥಾನಿಕ ದೋಷ ಅಂಡ್ ಧಾತು ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಶಿರಾಯಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿರಾ ತನುತ್ವ ಅರ್ಧ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಉಪಸ್ನೇಹತ್ವ ಪ್ಲೇದ ಸ್ರಾವ ಟ್ವಕ್ ಮಾಂಸರಿತ ದೆನ್ ಉತ್ಸೇದ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಶೋತ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಘಟಕ ದೋಷ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಕಫ ವಾತ ವ್ಯಾನ ವಾತ ಸಮಾನ ವಾತ ಪಿತ್ತ ಪಾಚಕ ಕಫ ಅವಲಂಬಕ ದೂಷ ರಸರಕ್ತ ಅಂಬು ಅಗ್ನಿ ಜಟರಾಗ್ನಿ ಧಾತ್ವಾಗ್ನಿ ಆಮ ಜಟರಾಗ್ನಿ ಜನ್ಯ ಧಾತ್ವಾಗ್ನಿ ಜನ್ಯ ಉದ್ಭವ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಕೋಷ್ಟ ಸಂಚಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಸರ್ವ ಶರೀರ ಅಧಿಸ್ಥಾನ ತ್ವಕ ಮಾಂಸ ಶ್ರೋತ ಸರಸರಕ್ತ ಅಂಬು ಸ್ವೇದವ ಶ್ರೋತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಸಂಘ ವಿಮಾರ ಗಮನ ಆಗಂತ ಶ್ರೋತ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿ ಛೇದನ ಭೇದನ ಅಬ್ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ವ್ಯಾನ ವಾತ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಜಲೀಯ ಧಾತು ಅಂಬು ಮೂತ್ರವನ್ನು ಸ್ವೇದ ಸ್ರೋತ ಇಟ
ਕਪ ਅਜੀਰਣ ਅਗਨੀ ਨਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਤਪ ਸਪਾਸ ਪਿਤ ਪ੍ਰਕੋਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਤੇ ਤਵਚਾ ਮਾਮਸ ਸ਼ੋਣ ਤਨ ਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਿਵ ਪਿਤ ਸ਼ੋਤਾ ਪਿਤ ਸ਼ੋਤਾ ਲਕਸ਼ਣ ਹੈ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਦ ਮੁਰਦੂ ਐਂਡ ਸਰ ਹੰਦ ਤਾ ਇਟ ਸਮੈਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਅਸ ਇਟ ਅ ਬਲੈਕ ਪੀਤ ਐਂਡ ਰਾਗਵਨ ਇਨ ਕਲਰ ਲਕਸ਼ਣ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਲ ਬ੍ਰਹਮਾ ਜਵਰਾ ਸਵੇਦਾ ਤ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਨਟੋਕਸਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਲੋਕਲ ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਆਫ ਟੈਂਪਰੇਚਰ ਐਂਡ ਟੈਂਡਰਨਸ ਔਨ ਟੱਚ ਰਾਗ ਆਫ ਆਈਜ਼ ਕਫਾ ਜੇ ਸੋਤ ਨਿਦਾਨਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਧੁਰ ਸੀਤਾ ਸਨਿਗਧ ਗੁਣਾਇਪਤ ਹਾਰ ਵਿਹਾਰ ਅਤੀ ਸਵਪਨਾ ਵਿਆਮ ਅਰਧੀ ਲਕਸ਼ਣ ਅਰਧੀ ਕਾਜ਼ ਫਾਰ ਦੀ ਕਫਾ ਜੇ ਸੋਤ ਨਿਦਾਨਾ ਕਫਾ ਜੇ ਸੋਤ ਲਕਸ਼ਣ ਆਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੋ ਅਫੈਕਟਡ ਏਅਰ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਹੈਵੀਨੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਥਿਰਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਅਫੈਕਟਡ ਪਾਂਡੋ ਅਰੁਚੀ ਪ੍ਰਸੇਕ ਨਿਦਰਾ ਵਮਾਨਾ ਦਿਸ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਸੋਤ ਦਾ ਟੈਕਸਟ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਅਪੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਕਿਵਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਅਪਨ ਪੀਡ ਆਨ ਆਰ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਪੀਡ ਆਨ ਆਰ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਇਟ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੈਟ ਫਿਲਡ ਅਪ ਇਮੀਡੀਏਟਲੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰਾਤਰੀ ਵਿਲ ਇਨ ਨੇਚਰ ਕਫਜ ਸਾਧਿਆ ਸਾਧੇ ਤਾਂ ਸੋਤ ਦਾ the patient of shota may die if the person has following up with the shota in krishna krisha person the person suffering with shota if the person suffering with the shota develops omana if the shota is seen in the varmagata parts of the body if the shota is uh, appears with stripes upadra of shota chardi shwasa aruchi krishna dwara atisara evaj ਸਤਕੋਲ ਦਾ ਦਸਾ ਦਰਨ ਸੋਪ ਉਪਦਰਵ ਸੰਗਰਾ ਜਿਸਾਰਦੀ ਛਰਦੀ ਸਵਾਸ ਰੁਚੀ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਜਰਾ ਅਤਿਸਾਰ ਜਿਸਾਰਦੀ ਉਪਦਰਵ ਸਭ ਸੋਤਾ ਅ ਕਨਕਲੂਜਨ ਸੋਤ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟਰਮ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਚਰਕ ਸਮਿਤ ਟੂ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਦ ਇਨਫਲੈਮੇਟਰੀ ਇਮਿਊਨ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸ ਟੂ ਆਇਦਰ ਇੰਟਰਨਲ ਕਾਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਦ ਬੋਡੀ ਆਇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕਲੀਨਿਕਲ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਹੈਂਸ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਆਰ ਪਲਾਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਡਾਇਗਨੋਸਿਸ ਸਿਸਟੈਮਿਕਲ ਸਿਸਟੈਮਿਕਲੀ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਸਿੰਪਟਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਤ ਇਜ਼ ਗੁੱਡ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਸੋਤ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨ ਅਬਨਾਰਮਲ ਐਲੂਏਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਸਕਿਨ ਇਫ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਆਗਾਤਾ ਦੈਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਗੰਤਜ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਕੰਟੈਕਟ ਆਫ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਦੈਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ if the shota is localized in a single organ on our side then it is should be diagnosed based on nature of lesion in papules patchule nodules tumor it is generalized then it is a site of origin is assessed like with the starts from middle of abdomen kafaj above abdomen and vataj below abdomen vataj sofa can be correlated to pitting edema as it is feature with pit on pressure and kafaj sofa has non pitting edema as pit goes back immediately after pressure is released and pit as can be correlated as inflammatory edema so the swayatu and sofa are paraise whereas runa sofa is inflammatory stays according to acharya shastra thank you thank you dr sachin next i would like to invite dr saumisri for the paper presentation dr saumisri are you there hello dr saumisri hello dr saumisri we are are you there Doctor, we can't hear your voice, Doctor. Hello? Doctor, so I'm asleep. Your voice is clear, Doctor. Doctor, so I'm asleep. Am I audible? Hello? Yes, Doctor. Now audible, Doctor. Okay. Please share the screen, Doctor. Okay. Okay. is it visible yes doctor visible doctor please start the session okay in the present era of apathy nimitta jan sandarpana jani vyadis for the vyadi harana and for the prevention of recurrence and for the maintenance of health rasayanas plays a major role myself dr samishri vya second year pg scholar from the department of kai chikitsa sgm college of ayurveda udupi here by present on the topic role of rasayana in prameha ಪ್ರಕರ್ಷಣ ಮೆಹದಿ ಕ್ಷರದಿ ಇದಿ ವೀರ್ಯಾದಿ ರನೇನ ಇದಿ ಪ್ರಮೇಹ ಪ್ರಮೇಹ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ವಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಷಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಹುದ್ರವ ಸ್ಲೇಷ್ಮ ಪ್ರಭೂತ ಮೂತ್ರದ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಮೇಹ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದುಷ್ಟ ಕ್ಲೇದ ವಿಚ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಮೂತ್ರ ಇನ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೂತ್ರ ವಿಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇದ ದುಷ್ಟಿಜನ್ಯ ವಿಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೌಲ್ಯ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಭೂತ ಅವಿಲ ಮೂತ್ರದ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದಟ್ ತ್ರಿ
to consume excess food if food is not supplied at the time of hunger then it leads to serious complications and dadukshaya <clears throat> here it's also mentioned that vigaran darunan kritvana nashen dyashu jeevitam and the, in the commentary suggests that vigaran darunan idi prameha pitaga jwara bagantara vidradi vada rogana manyatamani iti here the stavli samprapti goes on like this by the kapameto dushti there is an avarana over vata which Uh, which causes tikshnaakni in the koshta and uh, by this tikshnaakni if the person takes food exceedingly it leads to dushta medo vardana and the person will go on becoming stula and it leads to ubhadra sandarpana jane ubhadravas and further utrotra dadu poshnas impaired due to the uh, dushta meda and uh, if uh, no food is uh, su- supplied to the person uh, at the time of bochana kala then it will lead to dadukshaya and further person will lead to krisha next coming to rasayana rasayana vyutpatti rasagato rasaha aye gado adava in gado bave lut ayanam rasasya ayanam prapanam rasayana the word rasa is formed from rasagato dadu and ach pratyaya rasayana means the pathway for ahar rasa towards all sharira dhatu so as to nourish and replenish them Here comes the definitions of Rasayana. Ye jara vyadi vidvamsi beshijam tat Rasayanam. Rasanam rasa rakta dinam ayanam apyaayanam Rasayanam. Here we will see the general Rasayana gunas. Dirga mayu smriti meda marogyam tarunam vaiha. Prabhavarna sparo daryam dehendriya balo dayam. Vak siddhim vrishidam kandi mavap no di Rasayana. Labo payo hi shastanam Rasadinam Rasayanam. By using Rasayanas one will get excellence of Rasadi tatus. here we will we can see the mode of action of rasayanas in according to the modern perspective it has been established that oxidative stress is among the major causative factors in induction of many chronic and degenerative diseases including atherosclerosis ischemic heart disease aging diabetes mellitus cancer neurodegenerative diseases etc antioxidants are those substances which possess free radical chain reaction breaking properties antioxidants also reduces oxidative stress induce tissue injury and inhibit lipid peroxidation now coming to the importance of rasayana in prameha it has been explained in susruta samhita like that sarva eva prameha astu kalena pradikarinah madumehetva mayandi tada asadya bhavanti hi all pramehas if the management is not done uh, on the proper time it will lead to madumeha madumeha and also uh charaga has quoted that sapurva rupa kapapita meha kramena ye vadakritasya meha all mehas with purva rupa will gradually lead to vadaja prameha anena vridde khabe pitte vayo vayu langanadina kramena vriddo bhavati and so also explained that by excess langana therapy all pramehas will lead to vadaja prameha where vadakopa will be there due to the excess langana now coming to the mode of action of rasayanas the rasayanas act by the samprapti vikatana dadu sam correcting the dadu samya kriya preventing dadukshaya and prevention of ubhadravas and also act on the medovaha shrodas dosha dushya kar and on the atishtana basti and mutravaha shrotas here we can uh, see the rasayanas which are karshana helps in the kapha medo harana and clearing the shrota roda and removes the avarana and in and it ro- normalizes the vyana vayu and which helps in the maintenance of bala and ojas it also have an impact on jatarakni dadpakni further correcting the uttarotra dadu poshana and also as it has an impact on basti marma here uh, rasayanas have a role in the prevention of sandarpana jani ubhadravas and dadukshay jani ubhadravas sandarpana jani ubhadravas like shonita apishyanda margarana jani pakshakata etc and dadukshay jo ubhadravas basti marma pikata vata roka etc here these are some of the rasayanas explain the prameha adhikara shilajadu tuvaragra rasayana sparna makshika chandraprabha vadi amalagi haridra prayoga asana rasayana etc here is one of the study a clinical study to evaluate the therapeutic effect of shilajadu loha rasayana and prameha in the study 3 g of shilajadu loha rasayana was administered orally in three divided doses before food with an upana of 50 ml salicylic acid for a duration of 21 days after the treatment there was 
സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് ഇമ്പ്രൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ലക്ഷണാസ പ്രഭൂത മുദ്രത ക്ഷുതാധിക്ക പിബാ സാധിക്ക ദൗർബല്യ മുഖദാലി ശോഷ കരപാത ദാഹ എക്സെട്ര ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഓൺ ദ ഡയബറ്റി ഷുഗർ പ്രൊഫൈൽ ദിസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റഡി എൻ ഓപ്പൺ ക്ലിനിക്കൽ സ്റ്റഡി ഇവാലുവേറ്റിംഗ് ദ എഫക്ട് ഓഫ് ഷിലാജതു ലോഹരസാന ഓൺ അഫ്ലിക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ബസ്തി മർമ ഇൻ പേഷ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് പ്രമേഹ ഇൻ്റർവെൻഷൻ വാസ് ഷിലാജതു ലോഹരസായന ഇൻ ഡോസ് ഓഫ് ട്വൽവ് ഗ്രാം വിത്ത് ഹോട്ട് വാട്ടർ ഇൻ ദ മോർണിംഗ് എം ടി സ്റ്റമക് and shilajadu loha rasayana was successful in improving renal functions by increasing the glomerular filtration rate and reducing cystatin c in patients and also was successful in reducing fasting blood sugar and symptoms of premeha now here is a classification based on the do- rasayanas according to dosha in kabaja premeha drugs like rasayanas like trivela haridaki amalaki asana haridra punaranava will be useful and in paitika Tripala, Vipali, Shatavarthi, Punarnava, Guduchi and in Vadika Pramiha, drugs like Shiva Kutika, Shatavari, Gokshara, Bala, Varahi Kanta and Shiradala. And here is also a classification based on the Brimana property and Karshana property of Rasayana which will be uh, useful uh, in the initial stages in the Kapapitta Medo, Dushti, Janya, Avastha. More Karshana Rasayanas will be useful. useful and in the further stages of dadukshaya and vadakoba more brimana rasayanas will be useful now importance of medha rasayana and premeha it has been told that rasa nimitta meva saulyam kashyamcha and in the rasa dushti nidana it is told that chindyanam chadi chindanat and vishado roga vardanana so it has been justified that manas plays an important role in the causation of vyati and it uh, here uh, some of the rasayanas which are both prameha hara and medya are guduchi yashtimatu saraswata krita etc and this is nitya rasayana satyavadina makrodam adhyatma pravanendriyam shandam sadvratta niradam vidya nitya rasayana these good deeds ultimately helps in mana prasada and acts on rasa and vyana vayu and ultimately leading to the correction of rasayana thereby correcting the jadrakni and datvakni some of the rasa rasayanas usually in premeha are loha rasayana abraka rasayana vanga basma tamra basma swarna makshika vasanta kusuma kara rasa mahalakshmi vilasa rasa etc coming to the conclusion premeha is an avarna janya mootra vikara which progresses to dadukshaya avastha rasayana chikitsa plays a major role in premeha which helps in swasthya rakshanam and which does vikara prashanam thank you thank you dr samisri next i would like to invite dr janava for the paper presentation hello sir hello doctor hello uh, sir can you share my ppt okay doctor on my dr janava please unmute doctor and doctor please start the session doctor hello hello Okay, doctor. Hello? Please start the session, doctor. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Jana Vahanjanati, second-day PG scholar from the Department of Shalya Tantra. Today, I am going to present a paper on the concept of Marma and Marma therapy in Ayurveda. Uh, here comes the introduction. Definition of Marma. Nira Swishra has told us, Marma ni mamsa chira snayu asti sandi sanni pataha di sabavata eva visheshena prana tishkante means the Marma is a combination of the mamsa chira snayu asti sandi. Here the prana il decides. Sushita has highlighted the importance of Marma in the surgical practice. He stated that in any surgical practice, knowledge of Marma is as essential as knowledge of the nerve, muscle, bone and blood vessel. He has mentioned the three main Marmas like Shira, Rudaya, Basti. And the concept of Dallana has explained the same like what Sushita has told. And Marmas are the seat of Doshas. Next slide. Classification of Marma. Marmas are Saptotaram, Marmashatam, 107 Marmas are there. Based on...
Number 41, Snayu Marma 27, Astiyar 8, Sandhya 20. According to symptoms, when injured, Sadhya Pranahara Marmaza 19, Kalantana 33, Vishalina 3, Vaikalekara 44, Rujakara 8. Marmaz in the hand and legs are 11, and uh, hands are 11, legs are 11, plus 22. Next slide. Marmaz in next slide. Marmaz in the abdomen and chest are 8. Marmaz on the back and hip are 7. Marmaz on the head and neck are 14. Marma with the Lakshana, Shruta has explained in the Sharifa Stana like bleeding, disorientation, loss of coordination, loss of consciousness, long term disability. Marma Chikisa, here the Nanda first Samita has explained about the Marma Chikisa. One great book has there, um, Ayurveda and Marma Therapy, who was written by the Dr. David Forley and Dr. Subhas Sanade has explained Marma Therapy in this book. Marma therapy or Marma Chikisa is an important method of Ayurvedic treatment for the entire spectrum of the health complaints, major and minor. Asana can be used to stimulate and balance the Marma in the various ways. Similarly, certain Marma can be manipulated while a person is performing various Asanas in order to augment their effect. Marma cannot be connected to the Nadi and Chakra of the substance body and the mind. Marma and the asana practice, first one. One of the main purpose of the asana practice is to ensure the right flow of prana through the various marma regions. Asana helps to keep the marmas clear and energized and the better circulation to those marma regions. Marma and the usage of the mantra. For the better result, the injured person has to chant the mantra or the name of the god one not eight times for a one month. Marma and Manichikisa, ruby, pearl, red collar, etc. It is more important to keep such primary gems on the Marma point for a period of one month. Methods of Marma therapy. In this book, author, author has said that four main methods for the Marma therapy like Abhanga, Mardana, Aroma therapy, or energy healing. Abhanga. While explaining Abhanga on the Marma Pradesha, author has said that turquoise motion massage is used for tonification and strengthening of the internal organ and tissue. Anti clockwise massage is used for reducing the excessive dosha for the detoxification person. purpose. Here, some oil has been explained for the, according to dosha. Aroma therapy. Aromatic oil have a powerful effect upon the mar marmas, can penetrate deep into the marma and adjust their energy level and frequency. Oil massage and aroma therapy to the marma on the head helps to remove the toxin from the region of the prana and harmonize the movement of the prana in the mind and the nervous system. Example, we can use the ginger oil or sandalwood oil. Mardana therapy. Mardana means applying pressure on a marma using index or the middle finger. It is important method for the stimulating marma energy. Next is pranic or the energy healing. This can be easily done on any marma using either the finger or the palm of the hand. It depends upon the prana of the healer. We should be strong and pure. The relation between the doshas and the uh, marma. Next slide. Marma therapy by Agni Karma. Since marmas are the sensitive area, direct heat should not be used. Instead, one end of the metal rod should be applied to the sensitive point near the marma to be treated, and the other end of the rod should be heated with a candle. The heat will travel from the one end of the rod to the other. That amount of heat will be sufficient for the treatment purpose. Marma therapy by Rakta Mokshana. Rakta Mokshana is carried out on the visible veins. It is never done on the arteries. Indication, pitta and subtypes are the excess and level of tox uh, toxicity in the blood is high or for the certain condition of the infection, inflammation or stagnant blood. Marma therapy by acupuncture or suchi karma. Acupuncture is a part of a Vedana or the Vedana, vedana, vedana karma. Referring to the action of the cutting or piercing of the marma, blood leaking and the puncturing of the small vessel that can carry prana and the dosha. It should be done only on the area that contains small capillaries where there can, can be no oozing of blood, but only a satisfying effect on the dosha. Importance of marma in surgical practice. Achara Sushita has very beautifully explained about the marmas, their types and Devi Dalakshanas and during Shastra Karma, Kshara Karma, Agni Karma, great care of the Marma Stana has to be taken. Marmas are said to be cover half of the jurisdiction of the Shalya Tantra. In Samprapti, the Adhisthana of the Roga has a great importance, and here the Adhisthana is the prime seat of Tridosha, Triguna, and Prana. All these get collectively involved in the disease related to Marma Stana, rendering it very difficult to cure. Conclusion Marmas are the vital points of the body. Marmas are not only anatomical landmarks, but they are also the site where the dosha are present with their form 
forms prana ocha and tejas injury to these marma points may cause serious harmful effect for practicing the above mentioned treatment modality we can treat the marma diseases thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr ami k for the paper presentation dr ami are you there yes sir good okay, evening doctor. sir good evening doctor please share the screen doctor yes sir i am starting Yes, screen is audible, visible, sir? doctor. Audible, doctor. Screen is also visible. Please start the okay. session, doctor. Good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Ami Kaneria, second year PG scholar from the Department of Prashastra and Vaisheshya Kalpana at SDMCA Udupi. Today, I am the conducting the topic on Bhasma Pariksha and the relevance. Coming to the word derivation, the term Bhasma means Bhas means luster, and Sma means indicates the past tense. The means the um dravya which was has luster or shine in the past tense and now in present it has lost is called as bhasma coming to the introduction as we all know that bhasma plays a crucial role in the uh, atyayik chikitsa also as well as we have seen its results during the covid time also but uh, by the contemporary medicine systems they have many controversy regarding its side effects toxicity due to presence of free metals so uh we have to um, take focus on the standardization as well as the parameters we have to look for that are explained in the ayurved science as well as in the modern science also so uh, com coming forward uh, take a brief look upon the procedure involving to prepare a bhasma starting from the shodhan of the raw material well involving uh, the procedure like uh, avapa nirvapa dhalana bhavana etc and the coming to the marana it comprises of mainly uh, two procedure that are bhavana that is uh, trituration with the liquid dravya and then administering of a puta uh, till the proper siddhi lakshana uh, attains so uh, we can see the effect of shodhana uh, as we take the example of a uh, quenching process uh, due to the repeated heating and pouring it to the liquid it uh, uh, initiate the linear expanse of outer surface and started to breaking down the product helps to decrease in particle size as well as in marana process as the number of puta increases the particle size will decrease so coming to the first and foremost basic bhasma uh, pariksha explained by rasratna samuchaya is varitara the name itself is told the uh, dravya or the material which floats on the vari means water so it is also called as a jalaplava it is mandatory for almost all the types of bhasma so we can see the as much as the particle will become uh, smaller in size the surface Area, surface area will increase and it is unable to break the surface tension uh, tension of the water and thus it floats on the water so and then then uh, one upgrade upgraded stage is called uttama so after attaining the varikara uh, bhasma siddhi lakshana if we put the um, anna or grain upon the floating bhasma it should not uh a settle down at the base it's called unnama it is also called as uttama pariksha also because in ancient time there was no any contemporary machine machineries available which, which can measure the particle size so we can now compare that uttama pariksha is one upgraded stage of the varitara pariksha now coming to the rekha purna rekha purna itself is indicated that the fine particles of the bhasma uh, it should uh, feel or lodge in the furrows of finger and after uh, rubbing between the index finger and thumb uh, if we uh, clean with a cl uh, normal swab without uh, any liquid uh, using water or etc uh, it should not wiped out the furrows should be remain filled with the uh, particles coming to the apunar bhava pariksha here the prepared bhasma should be triturated with the dravyas like gude gunja sukhasparsa means shuddha tankana then madhu and ajya means grita then it has to again administered with the required puta number that are previously administered similar to previously administered to prepare a bhasma amount is equal to the um, uh, uh, the amount of agni requires here is the same amount as requires for preparing a puta so after puta we have to 
see that any uh, particles uh, can be, uh, uh, again convert to the previous one uh, like it should not be attain the uh, metallic compound that were previously present then coming to the nirutta pariksha here uh, the amount a small amount of uh, uh, silver is weighted uh, before the uh, pariksha then it is making it to uh, small pieces and put with the uh, sample of basma and again it is uh, given the agni and after the pariksha we have to again weight the um, uh, 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 measurement uh, of the silver it should not be increased if the increment of uh, weight in silver indicates the unreduced or uncalcified uh, metallic portion has bind with the uh, silver portion here we can see the difference between apunar bhava and nirut pariksha that uh, in apunar bhava pariksha it was happening that after the formation of the uh, metallic uh, compound of uh, in the basma whatever the unstable bonds of that chemical composition will released by the apunar bhava pariksha and here in nirutha the minor unformed metallic portion is going to bind with the silver that is the main difference between this two pariksha then again nishchandratva nishchandratva is again you have to rub the basma sample with index finger and thumb and you have to examine under the sunlight it should not be present with any shiny particles this pariksha is not mandatory for all but particularly for uh, abraka and aswarna it is one of the most mandatory uh, pariksha and avami avami is when the sample of basma is con consumed it should not be given any nauseating or vomiting uh, sensation it indicates the acceptability of uh, basma into the system but nowadays in practical uh, it is not possible because there is a chance of apakva uh, basma sevan janya dosha so but this is uh, particularly done for the copper containing uh, uh, basma but we will see its contemporary uh, other uh, basma pariksha done for the copper containing basma then gatrasatva this is particularly for the tikshna or kshariya dravya containing uh, basma pariksha like vari uh, varatika basma after putting on the tip of the tongue it should not be attain any tingly sensation and uh, it has to be a loss of taste it is uh, so it is told that basma is attained gatrasatva coming to the next one anjan sadrusha shukshmatva so after attaining the varitara of re or rekha purnatva it should attain more minuteness to become at, as as well uh, to become a state of nanoparticle uh, as we all know that eyes are very sensitive so if we apply a uh, basma sample as anjana like in eyes it should not create any uh, irritation to the eyes but also we can see during the procedure in less amount of puta before attaining the unnama pariksha we can we should not do this pariksha after attaining all the pariksha pariksha like apunar bhava nirutta we can try this then nirdhumatva this is again special indicated for the sulfur containing uh, uh, basmas uh, as we know that after this, if if we put the sulfur on the fire it will exhibit the typical uh, fumes of yellow color and uh, with strong odor so if any unbound uh, sulfur is there in basma it will exhibit the uh, fumes and we can know that bas basma is again needed uh, more puta and amla pariksha yes we have previously seen that avami avami is for copper containing again here amla pariksha we can uh, uh, see the chemical change of unformed uh, bonds uh, that are reacting with the acidic contained uh, present in the amla dravya any nimbu swarasa or simple dadhi also we can take and it will react and form a salts of typical greenish or bluish color that is indicated that basma is not properly prepared then coming to the foremost vishishta varnotpati each of basma has containing uh, every typical uh, chemical compound possesses specific color and yogaratnakar has mentioned uh, this much uh, basma varna to particularly uh, each of uh, dravya like abraka is stika varna but if we see in the market um, most of the pharmacy has uh, uh, starting to process uh, uh, making a marana in shortcut method Uh, not uh, each or like uh, shataputa sahasra puta they are not giving exactly the shataputa or dashaputa for abraka so if you take the sample from market doctor, they will have yes sir sorry doctor you are exceeding the time limit doctor okay okay sir 
okay now coming to the significance of the vasma this is the foremost standardization process of uh, uh, explained in the ancient ayurveda text uh, so uh, it is mostly uh, to avoid the adverse effect of apakva vasma as well as see the stability of vasma as physical and chemical level and these are the some modern parameters that are uh, also told under the ccrs guidelines for seeing the chemical form phase analysis and particle size or size distribution these are the guidelines by ccrs they have also mentioned the ayurvedic uh, standardization from uh, point number 15 to point number 20 they are uh, quoted by uh, from taken by the ayurved text here we discussed that we can compare the modern parameters as well as the ayurved parameters the, how they are same varna gat rasatva and mrudutva can be compared with organoleptic then particle size elemental analysis can be compared with avami rekha purnatva unnama pariksha and xrd or gravimetry can be compared with apunarbhava pariksha here we can conclude that various prasma pariksha in uh, ancient texts are very simple and very feasible so to prove that especially uh, the faith in rasoshadis every practitioner which are prepare who are doing practice on bhasma they have to uh, do this pariksha to uh, uh, reduce the untoward side effects and making people uh, develop faith in rasoshadis thank you thank you dr ami next i would like to invite dr nailesh sengnath for the paper presentation dr nailesh are you there hello dr nailesh are you there hello dr nailesh are you there okay next i would like to invite dr amrita nyarkar for the paper presentation dr amrita are you there hello dr amrita nyarkar are you there Okay next I would like to invite Dr Vinod Patel for the paper presentation Dr Vinod Patel are you there Hello Dr Vinod yes, sir. Patel Yes sir Okay sir. doctor please share the screen doctor Just wait sir Hello, am am I audible, sir? Audible, doctor. Your screen is not visible, doctor. Just wait. I'm trying to share it. Okay, doctor. Uh, sir uh, after some time may i share sir just give some time sir okay doctor next uh, yeah, someone can say next doctor one. you have any problem with screen sharing doctor just uh, uh, i'm having problem with screen sharing uh, one minute doctor i will share for you doctor one minute okay okay, okay. Okay, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Hello, doctor. Ha, huh, hello. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Doctor Vinod Patel, PG School for uh, Salitan Department, Doctor D Y Patel, Ayurved College and Research Center. uh introduction i'm going to uh study effect uh, study the effect of saptavinshti guglu in parik uh, parikartika with special preference fishery nano get study so, introduction 
Ayurveda mentioned various uh, anorectal diseases like Parikartika, Bhagandar, uh, Arsh, uh, one of them uh, Parikartika. Uh, the, the word parikartika, parikartika can explain Pari means circumference and Anas means uh, Anas and karik, uh, Kartika means Kartanvat, means speed, cutting type of pain. Ancient literature, especially Pratre Parikartika. Parikartika explained as symptoms complication. Parikartika was explained as uh, charak complication vataj atisar, atisar. It was explained uh, complication of basti in which caused due to trauma, basti, netra, uh, another due to administration of rakt, uh, ruksha basti in containing of tikshna, uh, lavan, tikshna lavan dar, dravya uh, in heavy doses. These are uh, known, uh, known Basti Vyapada. <clears throat> and so Susamita Ashtang Sangra Parikartika mentioned Puru Rup Ars uh, Kashai has mentioned Parikartika separate disease by the uh, context Grahani Vyapada. He also explained three types of according to Dosas Branuze. Uh, example Vat, Pit, and Kafaj. Uh, still acute condition prevalent Dosas. What a dush are took a rakta moms in the area anal canal, which get involved gradually according to progress uh, in disease. Methodology a total five, uh, a total five patients per per fisher in a selected. Sapta means the Google in fisher, uh, thrice a day with cyst bath for 21 days. Gel very encouraging effects uh, of Sapta Vimsati Guglu were noted. Pain, pain at anal region, uh, wound anal region, spasm, bleeding, rectum were significantly reduced. Considering overall effect, five patients, three patients, uh, fishery nano were completely cured. Two patients were uh, markedly improved and conclusive. Considering properties of Sapta Vimsati Guglu drugs, observation and results can be said uh, that uh, useful reducing pain, inflammation, spasm, bleeding, rectum, healing of wound, anal region. Hence, it can be concluded that Saptavimsati Gubulu to use in the treatment of Parikartika. Fishery Nenu. Method of preparation. This uh, disease and treatment of the Charaks Tamit Mode Ingredients from uh, Trikatu, Gajapipali uh, is powdered and uh, wet separately. Purified Google crushed and pounded with fine powder, uh, with uh, fine powder, other ingredients till it forms semi solid consistency. Ghee can be added, facilitate smooth pounding when required consi consistency. Opted its roll into pills, uh, dried and packed uh, tightly uh, closed containers. Those subtle Google dose three to six uh, grams divided dose uh, once or twice a day. As per text, textual method of preparation, just including patient uh, patient age uh, uh, twenty to fifty years patient who will clinical characters acute fissure in anus shall be identified after screening Ex exclusion criteria patient chronic illness such as diabetes mellitus tuberculosis hiv positive hvsg and uh, criteria is continuing modifying allocated uh, interventions patient will be withdrawal from intervention if any harmful incident sign drug allergy any problem occur uh, offer treatment free cost till disease subside Follow period 15 days after treatment. Uh, primary outcome elevate, uh, elevate uh, changes in the symptoms, fissure, as pain, bleeding, itching. Secondary outcome observe the changes in healing. Statical analysis will function uh, ranks some test time duration uh, 0 7 15th day. <clears throat> this is the parameters. Uh, schedule enrollment inter interventions. Diagnosed patient fishery you know, will be enrolled uh, in the present study after fulfill inclusive criteria. Intervention drug will be taken after hot cis bath twice a day during treatment period. Requirement 
patient will be required uh, a single arm single arm study implementation principal uh, individual will be register of subject data collection method randomized uh, assessment criteria subject to criteria first pain was a scale second one bleeding as per rectum uh, truncated uh, rectal score and uh, rectal bleeding itching numerical rating scale objective objective criteria parikartika healing the south south tempton wound scoring system uh, tenderness soft tissue tenderness scale data management principal investiga uh, investigator will uh, do coding data ethics and dimension permission of research has been taken from uh, the institutional ethical committee action number consent assessment writing uh, written informed consent will be obtained from the patient uh, dissemination policy of further research and results will be disseminated uh, informed consent materials all the research related documents consent uh, from will be given to the patient discussion etiological factors influence and products agni mand uh, and their by leads what pradhan pitta dosha dushti the localization of dushit doshas occurs particularly in uttar pradesh producing tok maap dushti resulting rukshita tocha later tends a tendency to crack the cracked skin and the perianal region parikarta parikatika when atisar grahani etc disease are not treated properly patient continues in the indulging uh, ahar aharaj niran then pre existing pathology leads to good with, with vikruti leading to paridika it known as vrana ropak properties fisher in eno longitudinal tear in enoderma and enoderma distal of anal canal in contemporary science uh, in contemporary sciences uh, surgical treatment available in fisher eno sphincter sphincterectomy lord's dilatation fisherectomy but uh, these surgical procedure having adverse effects such as bleeding infection incontinence to short out conclusion saptavinsidhi gunglu has uh, google uh, has anti inflammatory act uh, activity antibacterial anti fungal scavenging activity anti ulcer anti proliferative activity anti oxidant activity it has a vishad guna which are brings a clear uh, clarity clear channels it is useful subsiding uh, the symptoms of fissure in ano such as pain and bleeding per rectum itching patient who takes uh, take all allo uh, all, all follow up after treatment will have less chances of recurrence thank you everyone thank you doctor yes. doctor vinod patel you have an post presentation is pending right uh, yes sir okay doctor doctor vinod we will call you next for the post presentation sure now sure. i will call you doctor prithireha biji for the paper presentation hello doctor prithireha biji bihara डॉक्टर प्रतिरेखा आर्य देव हेलो डॉक्टर प्रतिरेखा आर्य देव ओके नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर सुप्रिया जोशी फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन डॉक्टर सुप्रिया जोशी आर्य देव यस सर ओके डॉक्टर योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग डॉक्टर हेलो सर ओके आई एम ऑडिबल ऑडिबल डॉक्टर प्लीज अनम्यूट द अनदर Uh, zoom connected device doctor please mute the another zoom connected device doctor okay sir and please share the screen doctor yes sir uh, wait a minute sir okay doctor हेलो सर ओके डॉक्टर प्लीज शेयर द स्क्रीन डॉक्टर यस इज इट विजिबल 
not visible doctor not visible okay i am trying going okay i am uh, i am visible sir now not visible doctor not visible okay one second reshare doctor okay sir now sir not visible doctor doctor you have any problem with screen sharing doctor yeah okay doctor don't worry i will share for you doctor on minute yes allow kar allow kar sir doctor chat the session doctor doctor supriya please chat the session yes sir uh yes sir ha uh, good evening everyone i am uh, dr supriya joshi my topic of presentation is review of etiological factors of palitya guided by vaidya ujwala pawar md professor and hod department of rog nidan evam vikruti vigyan introduction ayurveda is a science of whole health and healing The purpose of Ayurveda is to protect health of healthy and alleviate the disorders in diseased. In Ayurveda, there are principles for healthy individuals to stay healthy, like Dinacharya, Rutucharya, Ahar Vedi Vidhan, etc. Wrongly dealing with the daily needs like Ahar Vihar and day daily routinely karmas, unknowingly can convert into Hetu, that is causative factors of diseases. Hetu is described. first in tri sutra knowledge of uh, hetu is described in tri sutra knowledge of hetu is helpful for proper diagnosis prevention of disease and treatment that is nidan parivarjana in ayurveda graying of hair is called as palitya a type of shudra roga and shirogata roga <clears throat> mainly caused by vitiation of dehoshma and ushma guna of pitta Nowadays akali palitya is most common problem in young generation due to unhealthy diet habit disturb sleep pattern psychological stress there is no any satisfactory treatment for palitya and mostly changes are irreversible so focus on etiological factors that is hetu is most important to avoid palitya in early age for healthy hair and attractive personality now a review of palitya palitya means change of color of hair or graying of hair palitya occurs at the stage of vardhakya but due to increased ushma guna of pitta early graying of hair is observed the color of hair is determined by tej mahabhut and bhrajak pitta palitya means graying of hair that is the actual color as per prakruti blackish brown changes to gray in in her <clears throat> in the head and skin there is a bhrajak pitta responsible for digestion of hair reflection of rasa dhatu status is represented by skin and hairs that's why palitya is considered as a rasa pradosha vikara as per acharya shoka shram krodh vitiates body heat and pitta dosha which reaches hair follicle and turns them gray according to modern pathology when melanocytes stop producing the pigment the result is gray hair more melanin darker is the hair color etiological factors of palitya according to ayurveda first one is ahara jhetu ahara mostly have ushna tikshna properties and rasa like lavana amla katu rasa vidhi viruddha anna vidahi anna pitta vruddhi ahara like tila tel kulatha sarshab dahi and kanji in today's life having more salty spicy products like potato chips chewda pickles chinese products pani puri papad paneer products non veg etc causes are uh, this hetu causes rasa dushti pitta rakta prakopa and causing palitya in vihara jhetu first one is ratri jagrana due to ratri jagrana there is vata pitta vruddhi उष्ण एंड वृक्ष गुण राइजेस इन आतपसेवना सन रेज एक्सरीज इनक्रीजेस द उष्मा ऑफ 
केशभूमी अँड रोमकुपा इन धूम सेवना अँड दूषित वायू सेवना दे मेक द स्कार्प ड्राय ड्यू टू इन्क्रीज ऑफ स्थानिक वृक्षता विच रिझल्ट इन रिडक्शन ऑफ स्निग्धोष्मा मे लेड टू ग्रेईंग ऑफ द हेअर इन शिरोभ्यंग अयोग दिस कॉज इज द इम्प्रॉपर नरिशमेंट ऑफ बोथ स्कार्प अँड हेअर फॉलिकल इन दूषित जल स्नान कोस्टल एरिया वॉटर इज हॅव हाय सॉल्ट कंटेंट विच इज हार्मफुल टू द स्कार्प इन अतिव्यायाम अँड उपवासा ड्यू टू एक्सेस फिजिकल वर्क अँड कंटिन्युअस इंडुल्जन्स इन द उपवासा वातवृद्धी ऑकर्स ड्यू टू विक्षेपण कर्म ऑफ वात इट ऍग्रेवेट्स टू द क्षीरात कॉजिंग स्थानिक त्रिदोष दृष्टी विच एन टेन कॉजेस अकाल पालित्य थर्ड वन इज मानसिक हेतू दॅट इन दॅट क्रोध स्वस्थान संचित पित्ता गेट्स इन्क्रीजेस विथ वायू अँड दॅट विचेस टू द शरीर उष्मा रायजेस इन शोक ड्यू टू शोक वातवृद्धी ऑकर्स अँड देन ड्यू टू वातवृद्धी विषमागणी अँड ड्यू टू विषमागणी रसरक्त दृष्टी ऑल्सो डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट ऑन देहोष्मा अधिक चिंता अँड मानसिक श्रमा कॉज इज बोथ पित्त अँड वात प्रकोपा निदान आज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अकाल पालित्य इन श्रमा वात जाठा रागणी अँड रस व्हिटिएट ऑल्सो डिरेक्ट इफेक्ट ऑन शारीरिक उष्मा आधी बल प्रवृत्त हेतू डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ अकाल पालित्य इन पित्त प्रधान प्रकृती अदर एक्सेसिव्ह यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स शॅम्पू कंडिशनर कलरिंग ऑफ हेअर नॉट अप्लाईंग ऑइल ऑर शिरो अभ्यंग नाईट ड्युटीज अँड डिस्टर्ब स्लीप पॅटर्न दॅट इज लेट नाईट वर्क स्टडीज एक्सेट्रा संप्राप्ती ऑफ पालित्य अकॉर्डिंग टू सुश्रुता अँड माधव निदाना हेतू सेवन ऍज वी सेड ऍज आय सेड प्रिव्हियसली कॉजेस उष्मगुणा ऑफ पित्त अँड वात प्रकोपा दिस प्रोवोक पित्त सर्क्युलेट थ्रू आउट बॉडी बाय व्हर्च्यू ऑफ विक्षेपण गुणा ऑफ प्रोवोक वात टू इन्क्रीज द शरीर उष्मा दिस शरीर उष्मा रिचेस टू द शिरस अँड व्हिटिएट स्थानिक वात कार्य अँड श्लेष्मा कार्य अँड स्थानिक पित्त दृष्टी कॉजेस भ्राजक पित्ताग्नी दृष्टी अँड इट्स कर्मा ऑफ केश वर्ण उत्पत्ती इज डिस्टर्ब हॅलो सर हॅलो डॉक्टर माय नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज नॉट शेअरिंग हियर इट इज शेअरिंग डॉक्टर अनदर संप्राप्ती अनदर संप्राप्ती इज हेतू सेवन व्हिटिएशन ऑफ पित्त दोषा उष्मा ऑफ बॉडी अँड व्हिटिएटेड भ्राजक पित्त दोषा सो कॉजे सुष्मा कॅरेड बाय वाता अँड लॉजिंग ऑफ कफा इन हेअर फॉलिकल पाक ऑफ हेअर फॉलिकल दॅट इज डिस्कलरेशन ऑफ हेअर अँड पाक ऑफ हेअर दॅट इज द पालित्य कन्क्लुजन पालित्य स्पेशली अकाल पालित्य इज इन्क्रीजिंग डे बाय डे ड्यू टू कन्झम्शन ऑफ हेतूज ऑफ पालित्य अव्हर्डन्स ऑफ पॉझिटिव्ह फॅक्टर इज द फर्स्ट लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन आयुर्वेदा ऑल्सो देअर इज नो शुअर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अकाली पालित्य विच कॉजेस फिजिकल ऍज वेल ऍज मेंटल हेल्थ डिस्टर्बन्स and affects beauty of individual so knowledge of hetu is most important for prevention of akali palitya in young generation history of hetu and its specific dosha dushya dushti samprapti causing palitya also help in specific line of treatment of palitya according to consumption of hetu thank you sir thank you dr supriya Next, I would like to invite Dr. Ruchita Naresh Patil for the paper presentation. Dr. Ruchita, are you there? Hello, Dr. Ruchita. Hello, Dr. Ruchita Patil. The voice is not clear, Doctor. Hello, Dr. Ruchita Patil. Doctor, please, un- please remove your headset or... reconnect your properly your headset hello dr rujita patil we can't hear your voice doctor hello dr rujita 
Dr. Richard, can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Richard, can you hear me? We can't hear your voice, Doctor. Hello, Dr. Richita. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Priyanka Vishwanath for the paper presentation. Dr. Priyanka Vishwanath, are you there? Hello, sir. This is Ruchita. Hello, sir. Okay, okay, Dr. Ruchita. Please share the screen, Dr. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Okay, Dr. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Uh, Doctor Richita, please unmute. Please mute another device connected into Zoom, Doctor. Screen share, okay. Hello, sir. Hello, doctor. Is my uh, PPT is visible? Not visible, doctor. Doctor Rujita, uh, can you please mute another connected Zoom device, doctor? Sir, it is visible. Your screen is sharing, doctor. Not visible. Okay. Now, visible, doctor. Now, now your screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Uh, hello? Is it visible now? Yes, doctor. Visible, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Your audio is clear and PPT is visible, doctor. Please start. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, respected judges and all participants. This is Dr. Ruchita from Government Arved Medication uh, going to represent the topic uh, naming concept of asric dar in relation with the abnormal uterine bleeding. Um, and guided by uh, Dr. Gopal Jadha, sir, which is an assist assistant professor of our college. Uh, so let me introduce our uh, my topic is... Uh, as a menstrual uh, disorder are a major clinical entities in the field of uh, women health, heavy menstrual bleeding is one of the serious issues causing life-threatening complications and need definite management. While managing household work and employment-related work, she is getting more physical and mental stress. In her busy, sh busy schedule, she can't follow do's and don'ts of menstrual cycles like Rajaswala Charya, regimens of the discipline during uh, all season, that is Rutu Charya, during pregnancy, Garbini Paricharya uh, and the regimen, uh, uh, regimen during the period that is uh, uh, Sutika Paricharya. So she is more prone to uh, various menstrual disorders and uh, deviation from uh, her menstrual cycle which lead to excessive or low leading to fear of serious pathological issues uh, in her uh, internal genital organs. In modern medicine, the scenario of coagulating drugs <clears throat> uh, and progesterone derivatives are used routinely, which causes adverse action and worsen the um, condition. Surgical conditions and hysterectomies are available solutions, which, uh, uh, but not proper medical approach with the holistic view is not available here. So Ayurved science has a wide description of the various menstrual disorders as well as the bleeding disorders and abnormal uterine condition. Management of such condition needs clinical collaboration with abnormal uterine bleeding uh, described in modern medicine, which will make a new platform for guidelines for gynecology uh, of upcoming dates. Uh, uh, my aims and, object, uh, uh, aims and objectives are to review the complete Ayurveda literature, uh, to review the literature about the dysfunctional uterine bleeding, and to justify more about the DUV. Uh, this is a, a disease review 
uh, as i am not going to explain the, all the things because the time is less so uh, according to charaka the brother is a uh, he, charak explained uh, brother as a separate disease in the management of the yoni mapped chikitsa according to him the menstrual cycle turns to be due to excessive secretion of raja it is known as a brother and according, according to shushruta it is a menstrual bleeding during before and after the period differ from the normal menstrual blood it is called a asruk dara um char acharya charaka and acharya sushrut Uh, both said the disorder in the um, diseases of the rakta dosha ja and pitta avrutta apana vayu uh, acharya uh, ashtanga uh, common symptom are Uh, common symptoms of asruta are angamarda ati pravritti daurbalya brahma murcha tama trishna dah pralapa pandutva various terms has given uh, by different acharya for asruta dara that is charak said it as a asruta dara or pradara according to sushrut he term it as a pradara uh, sharangar sanhita rakta pradara and uh, rakta yoni by the vagdha synonyms are रक्त प्रदर धरा रक्त प्रदरा प्रदरा अश्रिक दरा अति अतिरजा और रक्त योनि कॉजिकेटिव फैक्टर्स ऑफ द रक्त प्रदरा दीज आर द मल्टीपल डायटरी और लाइफ स्टाइल दिस लाइक फैक्टर्स नाउ दिस इज द संप्राप्ति ऑफ द अश्रिक दरा हेतु सेवन ड्यू टू हेतु सेवन वात एंड पीत एंड कफ प्रभ कफ इंक्रीज इट्स इन दिस इन द्रव गुण Uh, due to that the volume of rakta increases and uh, this raised rakta dhatu reaches to the garbhashaya gata sira and increase the amount of raja uh, apan vayu expel this increase raja in uh, excessive quantity and uh, which leads to rakta pradara types of rakta pradara uh, these are the um, uh, sir my slides are visible no yes doctor yes, <laughs> Yes, doctor. Visible, please continue, doctor. Yes, 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 yes. These are the uh, types of a uh, rakta pradara. It's been by all acharya. There are four types of rakta pradara: vata, pitta, ja, kapha, ja, and sanni pata, ja. And uh, these are the symptoms according to uh, all these all these types. Hello, doctor Rajita. Hello, Hello. Doctor, Rajita. Uh, yes, sir. My slides are visible. Not visible, doctor. Please once again, please share, doctor. What? Screen, but it's not screen. The screen, the direct background screen, the chunk. Hello, sir. Is it visible? Yes, doctor. Visible, doctor. Please start this. Yes. Uh, so the chikitsa is according to the rakta yoni, and uh, various acharya stated it. It is according to the rakta atisar, rakta pitta, uh, and uh, uh, rakta uh, rakta arsha. Um, modern review is. Uh, any uterine bleeding outside the normal volume duration and regularity and frequency is considered as a auv and dysfunctional uterine ble- bleeding is a uterine bleeding without any structural inform uh, informality um, common conditions are a dysfunctional uterine bleeding infection uter uh, endometrial dysfunction and hematological disorders 
मेडिकल मैनेजमेंट इज एनसेट्स ट्रानेक्जेमिक एसिड इथाइल साइलेट हॉर्मोनल डेरिवेटिव लाइक प्रोजेस्टर ऑन डेरिवेटिव जी एन आर एच एनालॉग combined oral pills pills iucd is like danazol and mirenam surgical management include uterine curette endometrial ablation and hysterectomy the important part is discussion we don't have any uh, description of the gonadotropins in the ayurved text but the reference below are highly indicative of the action and important of the gonadotropins in female body arthava is derived from rasa during the conversion of the rasa into raktam while gonadotropins are directly secreted in the vascular blood and cannot be separated from it both arthava and gonadotropins are uh, no significant active till arrival of the puberty and remain till the menopause and towards the partner is in own by the rutu mati and are highly indicative of the presence of the estrogen and progesterone during the rutu kalam arthavakshaya in the menopause is stated as a uh, estrogen deficiency and also some relation between the reproductive hormone thus it is um, related that the gonadotropins and arthava or the rasa dhatu it is not re established yet but we can uh, consider their close, close relationship Uh, but here is question arises that uh, which throatasa uh, does rakta pradhar belongs as uh, described as rakta pradhar is described uh, describes a disease of the rakta vahas throatar so during the treatment we th- we can think about the uh, treatment according to the rakta vahas throatasa asrudhar and menorrhage are both condition denoted the bleeding per vaginam uh, during or after the period of period phases but uh, it is a non functional अधोग रक्त पित्त एंड वात रक्त एक्सेट्रा कंडीशन uh in the period other than the menstrual cycle hence rakta pradhar is different from all uh term asruja yoni vapad in is many time used as a synonym of the rakta pradhar but the bleeding tendency but in this the bleeding tendency is a habitual abortion and it is a pregnant state so it is also a different term adhoga rakta pitta and asruj asrup dara is sometimes correlate but the in adhoga rakta pitta the bleeding is also present in uh, from the urethral tract is uh, according to the uh, in uh, uh, gr- treatment of asrudhara is related with uh, granthi arbud polyps endometrial hyperplasia should be done surgically as are the disease of the mansav asrudhas while considering the shaman chikitsa uh, of the uh, asrudhara vata vata shaman chikitsa is used but here in texas tiktaras is used because it is considered that the pit, uh, um, presence of the pitaras is also there in the uh, rakta pradhara so here is the conclusion that rakta pradhara and or the asrudhara is a typical clinical condition of the rakta vahas throatasa which shows the excess menstrual bleeding in the days other than menstrual phases it is different from arthav dushti adhoga rakta pitta and asrudhara uh, or uh, rakta vrutta vata condition menorrhage is clinical mostly correlated with asrudhara and uh, medicinal conservation as well as the surgical treatment method described by ayurveda for their own correction these are some references uh, for of the asrudhara uh, and rdub uh, thank you thank you uh, dr hello, suchita doctor. hello hello doctor yes suchita uh, miss alpha dr yes suchita. yes um, i have some suggestions for yes, you when are you preparing yes. the slide no Uh, it should be uh, this uh, yes, that uh, pictures no it should be dim- we can't uh, see we can uh, understand the slides actually what you are written over there okay so if you are uh, using the pictures okay. also you uh, that uh, consider that uh, somebody has to see your slide or somebody is listening huh? so you prepare like that only and one more thing uh, 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 yeah. hello yeah ah uh, okay and one more thing uh, uh, i yes, couldn't understand yes. Oh, you are con- considering gonadotropin here, and while considering this uh, sugdara, and uh, why we can't? Uh, it's a rectapitta only. Uh, no, right? I am asking you some uh, my uh, some doubts only. 
so uh, yeah yeah any treatment if you told we, we have to give uh, the hara lano treatment but the rasa you just uh, yeah. here explain uh, that with the pitta so that is related to yeah. pitta rakta itself uh, whatever may be the yeah. gonadotropin or estrogen or the progesterone what is related to the condition it should be yeah. when uh, the rakta pitta only then adhoga rakta pitta or tiriyagada the uh, so many orifices through the sajaria stool but the line of treatment yeah. what we are adopting here will be the treatment of uh, rakta pitta no Hmm. yeah 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 that's absolutely correct ma'am but the, my point of uh, view is that no. ki, i mean miss i'm trying to explain the differential diagnosis why rakta pitta and also other uh, uh, rakta pitta and asra uh, both are the different diseases that's the okay. only thing okay. and uh, mm-hmm. uh, and about the gonadotropins are miss uh, i am uh, relating that estrogen and progesterone uh, which are uh, which are present in rasa uh, means uh, according to ayurveda these are present only in rasa that's why we cannot separate them okay and as a, we can we can't uh, see uh, uh, separate rasa dhatu from rakta dhatu no so yeah. that's my view yeah anyway i think uh, what are the things our uh, treatment the modality what we are adopting here will be the rakta pitta treatment only no Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we are applying that treatment but uh, in the rakta uh, asrudhara they uh, mention the tikta rasa as a main uh, treatment rasa ah uh, because no ah uh, tikta tikta rasa is uh, for yeah, the uh, pitahara yeah. rasa uh, is uh, the yes. rasa thing is more uh, tikta no and also tikta is uh, tikta rasa yes is, yes uh, akash yes, mahabodo y- yes ma'am guna of yeah, tikta yeah. it is the vada also okay Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, there's a slide. Uh, I couldn't understand actually the words. I couldn't read. No, it. actually, ma'am, thing is that I have done. I had done that, uh, but there is some technical problem between the presentation. Otherwise, uh, my means uh, what we say a laptop slide is uh, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I couldn't only focus on the uh, okay. pictures. What you are putting over there, not the content. Okay. Sorry okay. for okay. that, ma'am. <laughs> okay, good presentation. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Madam, for this advice, and thank you, Dr. Rujita. Yes. Next, thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Priyanka Vishnath for the paper presentation. Dr. Priyanka, are you there? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. I am audible, sir. Audible, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Ah. Uh, sir, is my sh- uh, slide is shareable? The slide is not visible, ma'am. Okay, okay. Hold on, sir. I will. Me pata le le. Me chala parat sir ke liye. Present, present. It is shareable, sir. It's not visible, doctor. Your slide is not visible, doctor. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I will. Please free share, doctor. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two, two minutes. Now, sir. Not visible, doctor. Not visible. Okay, okay. Thick. Just hold on, sir. Okay, doctor. Yeah. Okay, doctor. Now visible, doctor. Now, now screen visible. is visible, doctor. Ha. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, sir. Yes, doctor. Visible. Please start the session. Ha. 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 Thank you, sir. Uh, give good evening, everyone. My name main name is Priyanka Vishnu Tarbarwar. We just call her Shalakya Tandra at GSC Nanda. Uh, my topic of presentation is Karna Pramanjana and Karna Dupana in the management of Karna Strava. Introduction. Karnastrava is a disease mentioned by Acharya Shishruta in a chapter of Karnaroga Vignana under 28 Karnarogas. Acharya Charak included Karnastrava as a symptom under five types of Karnaroga due to hydration of the different doshas. Karnastrava ear discharge signifies discharge from the ear but with the advanced uh, advanced sorry with advanced of medical science and improvement. 
hygienic status of the society. Discharge from the external ear is not very common and discharge from internal ear or other causes very rare condition, but a rare discharge from middle ear cavity is still dead common ENT problem. Chronic separative otitis media, COSM, is a, as per WHO guideline, is a def uh, defined as a chronic inflammation of the middle ear mastoid cavity, which is characterized by requirement of ear. Discharge, otorrhea throughout perforation of tympanic membrane, the prevalence of CSM varies widely across world mostly affecting countries. CSM, chronic separative otitis media, is a term given to the middle ear discharge from the mid, uh, modern medical literature. It mostly causes distension tube blockage and infections spread the middle ear. Both Ayurveda and modern science agrees unanimously uh, that the nose, nasopharynx, and the main purpose of kernel strava. Ayurveda presents the similar coordinatory kernel strava, which resembles the chronic separative otitis media on the basis of etiology and the clinical manifestation prevalence is 46 and 16 per thousand in rural and urban population respectively, in single most important case of deafness and rural population. The best cheap treatment of CSM includes installation of topical antiseptic or topical antibiotics after throughout oral toileting at two weeks. The short term resolution of otoria, but the topical drugs are not safe they may be autotoxic and themselves. Long-term treatment of protocol needs surgical intervention. However, surgical carries the risk of deterioration hearing, as well as the potential damage of the facial nerve limiting its use. Ayurveda describes the handful mortalities of the used in total good outcome. These modalities include this use of the oral topical drugs, special cleansing of procedure and systemic approach. The general line of treatment Karna Srava includes Shirovirechana, Dhupana, Karna Purana and Karna Pramanjana. Method, a 35 years old Hindu female, non-diabetic patient, no, patient visited OPD of government. Dr. Tenga. In management of Karnastava. Uh, case findings patient was said that a symptomatic 10 days back ago. Then um, gradually onset Ubaya Karnastava since five days. Ubaya Karnakandu. Patient among having complaint of felt smell fallen here since last five months. Uh, she said taken allopathic medicines from same problem before six months, but they didn't get satisfied result. Hence, she approached to OPD government Ayurvedic Mahavidala and Andhet for the further treatment. Past history patient had recurrent history of rhinitis, work history. She has worked in private company. There was no disease related history found in this case. Investigation, routine hemat hematological and urine investigation are normal. Hemoglobin in 9.6 gram, RBS 106 mg per day, otoscopic examination for objective assessment. Clinical patient, patient was a febrile pulse, 87 minutes, respectively. Respiratory rate, 17 per minute, and blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm of Hg. Um, the Schmidt Pariksha, Prakriti of the patient was Vata Pitta. Uh, Pradhana Pitta, Vikrati was observed during the analysis. Tava as uh, Sambhana, Ara Shakti, uh, Vayama Shakti, uh, Satme and Pramana for the patient were normal level. Ashtavit Pariksha, Nadi Matra, sorry, Nadi Mutra and Shabda were Sorry, there is spelling mistake. Jiva was Anu, Anu, Pas, Parsha was Anushana, Sita, Akrati was Madhyam, and the Druka uh, Sadharan. Specific examination here, Pinna is normal in both year. TM is central perforation uh, in right year, 1 to 2 mm, and in left year, uh, 4 to 5 mm. Treatment protocol. Treatment protocol was was Karna Pramanjana and Karna Dupa along with internal medicine. Nidan Parivarjana, Karna Pramanjana. The word Pramanjana means cleaning of some body part through the swab ETC. Karna Pramanjana is procedure where cleaning the first discharge the help of cotton gauze and uh, gauze piece. The Karna Dupa is a technique fumigation of ear with the smoke and NFT dress like Google, uh, Hridra, Nimba Kuchurna, some, Sarpa Bicha, Grita. Oral Idragara Stito Paladi Chudna, 3 gram, uh, Tankanabas Matu, uh, 50 grams, uh, Rivadi Vati, 5 mg, uh, BD, 1 month, and 3 Paladi Gukar, 5 mg, 2 BD, 15 days. Observation and symptoms. Uh, we examined the patient for 4 weeks. Karna Srava is in 4 weeks, is extreme. Karna Kandu is also middle in stage, and false smell is also present. In second day, it is gradually minimized. 
uh, karna srava is uh, uh, reduced karna kandu is also reduced and false smelling is some kind reduced in last week we saw that karna srava is uh, some kind of present karna kandu is as present but false smelling of the discharge is uh, not visible in that patient after treatment examination of ear external auditory is clear left clear tm perforation is present one or two centimeter in right ear and two and three centimeter in left sorry millimeter in left ear the drugs are also mentioned for the management of karna srava oral drugs will generalize action of all ear diseases or specially ear disease in infective etiology or described in various ayurveda classics some of them are compared sir i am audible now hello 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 doctor ha sir i am audible audible doctor please continue doctor ha ha got it ha procedure for the management of karna srava karna purana it is a procedure of installation of drug in either form of like powder uh, decoction uses oil and combination of into affected of ear are preparation of the part by preceding procedure like sedation medicine in keep in ear from given time duration acharya is in uh, sharanadara has mentioned this time of duration 150 or other mantra times mantra times time given in karna pramanjana and karna dupana sarivadavati 500 mg tablet bd for one month sitopala dijirna but the pitta balancing property and uh, rejuvenating effect टंकन भस्म एंजीसेप्टिंग एंड एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी प्रॉपर्टीज एंड त्रिफला दि गुगुल वेदना शामक प्रॉपर्टीज फॉलो अप आफ्टर वन मंथ ऑफ कंप्लेन वे आर रिड्यूस देर वॉज नो कर्ण स्त्रावा कर्ण कंडू फेल्ड स्मेड इज टोटली एबसेंट इयर आफ्टर वन मंथ ऑफ फॉलो अप ऑब्जर्वेशन ड्यूरिंग प्रोसिजर द पेशंट एक्सपीरियंस माइल्ड पेन बट को ऑपरेटिव विद सम एंजाइटी डिस्कशन संप्राप्ति ऑफ कर्ण स्त्रावा आचार्य सुश्रुता हेज मेन्शन दैट Awareness of vata by other doshas and cheap uh, culprit for innovation of pathology. Nidan sevana like excessive fermented bacteria, bakery food and excessive amla and lavan rasan seven with vata dosha does still occur. There is a sensual uh, stage and this nidana sevana continues. Dosha pakur uh, pakopa occurs and uh, dushti pitha interacts with the dushida. Vata finally as in udvajatrugata and localized the karna pradesha as the result of this sthana. Um, समस्या रसा रक्त एंड मानसा दुष्ट करना टेक्स प्लेस विच लीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्रोड नॉर्मल सिम्टम्स लाइक कर्ण स्त्राव कर्ण कंडू इटीसी अकॉर्डिंग टू वाघटा इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कर्ण स्त्रावा कर्ण प्रमाजन इज द फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट विथ वर्ती पिचू एंड Pichika. The main protocol of treatment, some other found management, which is included as varied measures, uh, various measures to keep area dry clean, clear and microbes and providing ideal condition for healing. Various procedures, uh, descri procedures described in Ayurveda for the management of discharge in ear fulfill these requirements in the wound management. Further, more chiravirachana is uh, postulated as first procedure for the managing karna sthava, which is given inside the treating CSM from the primary. Uh, origin the at most the ins instance discharging here the pre uh, perceived by the upper respiratory infection chiravirachana prevents the respiratory infection and also help to decongening station to by the increasing middle ear secretions as well as immunity anutel radiates local uh, systemic uh, infections decreases the mucosal edema and station tube and conclusion as per above mentioned cases discussion it can be conducted the pramanjan karna dupana are effective in the management of karna srava this therapy should be used in karna srava large simple clinical trial thank you all of you thank you dr prenka hmm? next i would like to invite dr pratirekha biji for the paper presentation dr pratirekha are you there Hello, Doctor Pradirekha, are you there? Hello. Yeah, Hello, Doctor, am I audible? Audible, Doctor. Please share the screen, Doctor. Oh uh, yes. Oh, uh, give me a moment. Okay, Doctor. Is my screen visible? Yes, doctor, visible. Please start the session, doctor. Yeah. Uh, so my topic for today is role of Yashti Madhu as the Kesho Dravya. Uh, I am Dr. Preeti Rekha, uh, an MD student uh, in Public Health Department from Science Ayurveda. No. So the introduction. Uh, the scientific name of Yashti Madhu is Glycerasa glabra, belonging to the Leguminaceae, that is the Fabaceae family, and uh, it uh, derives the name from uh, like Yashti Madhu, as we know. it is basically a sweet root so the it, its name has been derived from the word glycos meaning sweet and rasa that is root uh, it has been extensively mentioned in the charak samhita uh, like after the 50 mahakashayas it has been uh, mentioned in 11 of the mahakashayas 
uh, and also extensive modern studies have been done uh, for, for the various activities of yashti madhu so an attempt has been made in this article to review the kesha karma of yashti madhu in detail uh, material and methods uh, this so the various samhitas nigantus and other uh, reliable articles were reviewed for this and all the data was compiled and arranged systematically uh, results so the sanskrit synonyms of yashti madhu are yashti madhu yashtika maduk and these synonyms are basically uh, like due to the sweet rasa of yashti madhu and uh, the one kleetak is due to the uh, like the from the location of yashti madhu another rasa panch of yashti madhu is madhur rasa madhur uh, vipak and shita vidya it is uh, guru and snigdha and uh, it shows vata and pitta shamak properties Uh, the chemical composition of yashti madhu is uh, it contains sap saponins flavonoids polysaccharides pectins and simple sugars uh, glycerizin that is a triterpenoid uh, compound responsible for the sweet taste of yashti madhu uh, due to the flavonoid content such as uh, lycopyridin and isolycopyridin uh, yashti madhu gets its yellow color Uh, next to the classification yashti madhu uh, has been mentioned in the charak samhita in the jeevaniya sandhaniya varanya kantha kandugna chardi nigrahan shonita stapan mutra virajaniya snehopak vamanopak and astapanu uh, pak ganas in the sushrut samhita it has been mentioned in the kakuliyadi anjanadi and sarivadi gana in the vagbhat samhita it has been mentioned in sarivadi and anjanadi gana Uh, now the pharmacological actions of yashti madhu in the charak samhita it has been mentioned to be chakshashya varanya keshya kantya varanya uh, virajaniya rupan uh, similarly uh, it uh, it shows expectorant action anti ulcer anti inflammatory uh, it shows laxative action anti stress liver protective action uh, anti microbial anti oxidant actions Uh, now the various references i found for yashti madhu in the samhita is related to its kesha karma uh, for shira roga yashti madhu uh, the various formulations uh, mentioned that has yashti madhu in them is uh, mayur krit kumkumadi krit panchav tik tel uh, for palitya yashti madhu tel nasi has been mentioned mahanil tel propandra uh, tel nasi tiladi yog for pralepan has been mentioned uh, then uh, anutel nasi has been mentioned uh, to provide uh, indriya balya action uh yashti madhu has been mentioned uh, yashti madhu tel uh, leaf has been mentioned in darunak and indra lukta for kesha vardhan also yashti madhu kalka and tiladi yoga has been mentioned uh previous studies also have been conducted uh, regarding the use of uh, yashti madhu for uh, like for growth regrowth activity so it was compared to the standard drug minoxidil for this activity uh, yashti madhu extract hair solution was used in different concentrations that is 2.55 and 10% and it was compared uh, with minoxidil uh, this was uh, an animal study and here yashti madhu in the concentration of 5 and 10% solutions has shown uh, good better activity compared to minoxidil and similar such studies were done i found three such research papers showing that uh, yashti madhu had better action than minoxidil which is the standard drug So here Yashti Madhu, due to its Madhur Ras, Madhur Vipak, and Shita Snig, uh, Shita and Snig, Guru Guru, it uh, shows Rasayan properties. It brings about adequate portion of the Dhatu, thereby nourishing Vajra and Asti Dhatu, which are responsible for the formation of Kesh. Kesh Patan is majorly caused due to uh, vitiation of Pitta and Vata Doshas. Here Yashti Madhu, due to its Vata Pitta Shamak properties, it helps to balance the Doshas and thereby stop hair fall. Due to its snake and resin properties, yashti madhu also helps to strengthen the hair roots, thereby facilitating better hair regrowth. The mode of action here is yashti madhu. Uh, basically, due to its madhu ras, vipak, and shita guna, it reduces the ushna guna of pitta uh, and uh, rasa rakta ga pitta shaman uh, shaman. And uh, yashti madhu, due to its snake and guru gun, it uh, uh, reduces the ruksha guna of vata, thereby uh, causing a reduction in hair fall. and uh, reducing kesh rukshata it also provides nourishment to the hair and scalp due to its dhatu potion properties uh, now the conclusion is yashti madhu has been mentioned in the number of uh, in a number of formulations for various kesh related sampratti such as aruna kesh patan and indra lupta its kesha karma has been mentioned in bhavprakash nikandu as well as agriya sangrah charak samhita uh, it can be given in various forms such as nasi oil yashti madhu kwat or churna Uh, also research studies have shown that yashti madhu 
uh, is effective as a hair growth promote, uh, promoter and uh, has showed positive results so yashti madhu therefore can be considered as an important kesha herb and uh, it also has good uh, scope for further research as a as for its utility as a kesha herb thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr amita sadanand for the paper presentation dr amita are you there good evening doctor good evening doctor please share the screen doctor visible not visible doctor oh now it is sharing doctor my paper presentation topic is garbhini paricharya and am i audible audible doctor audible and dental care according to ayurveda my name is dr amita sudhananda vak pg scholar third year ms three rog and prasuti tantra okay when you individual wear a garba dwells or halt of a garba it is termed as garbini paricharya the word paricharya is derived from the root of chara gat with prefix paricharya mean, that means to service garbini paricharya is the term given to a pregnant for future chair impact assessment month paricharya described in the purpose growth and development of a fetus and gives health and care for the our ayurveda chairs we will that really the food and environment play a vital role in the development of fetus but also maternal psyche impress on a growing fetus ahara Pusha is born and grow, grows from a rus. So a rus should be maintained healthy. Doctor Amita. Food and behavior should. Yes, please. Doctor, your screen is not moving. Doctor, your slide is not moving. Doctor. Hello, Doctor Amita. Hello, Dr. Amita. Are you there? Hello, Dr. Amita. Can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Amita. Hello. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Hello. Doctor. Am I audible? Audible, doctor. Hello. Okay. Doctor, your voice is breaking, doctor. But can you please continue, doctor? Okay. The food taken by a woman nourishes and helps the growth. Fetus nourishes the mother's body, nourishes the breast, the breast milk form in the newborn baby. So the girl should follow careful regimen. Earlier during this regimen is known as garbhini paricharya. First month pregnancy diet: cow milk in a small quantity, frequent adhura shita and liquid before in the month for maintenance of a fetus. Medicines just um, just just a madhu white sandal powder powder cow's milk just a madhu tea holy and dev daru milk for second month pregnancy diet cold milk in some quantity but hello doctor Amita. Dr. Amida has suffered from some network issues. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Amrita Rahul for the paper presentation. Dr. Yes, Amrita, sir. Yes, sir. Please share the screen, doctor. Okay, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yes, doctor. Audible, doctor.
Your screen is useful, doctor. Okay, sir. Good evening, everyone. I am Vedya Amrutha Rao Velde, PG scholar, guided by Vedya Pradeep Pawar, associate professor from the Department of Ayurveda Sahitya and Siddhan, a PMT Ayurveda Mahavidyalaya, Shiva Ahmednagar. And the topic is difference between Shrusti Utpatti Kram according to Darshana and Ayurveda. These are the contents. Introduction: Shrujyate iti Shrusti. It means which is evolved or produced. The cause of the creation are hidden. Tattva means the object which spread and cover the entire universe. Va Veda, Purana, Upanishadha, Darshan Shastra, Dharmic Granthas, Bharatiya Sahitya, etc. presented their view differently about the nature and secret of creation. From the eternal time, it has been the question of discussion of each and every scholar that when, how, why, and where the evolution of universe came into existence. Uh, there are very small but very important differences present in between, between the various Shrushti Utpatti Kram. Hence, this is the attempt regarding to this topic. According to Sankhya Darshana, I am not reading the shloka because of the time limits, sir. According to Sankhya Darshana, Kapila Mahamuni has described 25 tattvas uh, that are evolved in the formation of universe. And Mool Prakruti is the main root of cause of Shrushti Utpatti. Classification of tattvas. Uh, prakruti, that is Mula Prakruti, it is a one. Prakruti and Vikruti, that is Mahat, Ahankara, Panchatan Matra, they are a seven. Vikruti, that is Ekadashi Indriya, Pancha Mahabhuta, they are sixteen. Na Prakruti, Na Vikruti, that is Purush, and it is one. The total is twenty-five tattvas. Then Mula Prakruti combines with the Purush, uh, it tries to Mahat, and when Ego is attained uh, to Mahat, it tries to Ahankara. Ahankara is of three types, Sattvic, Rajas and Tamasic Ahankara. When Sattvic Ahankara and Rajasic Ahankara is combined, it tries to Ekadashi uh, Indriyas. And when Rajas and Tamas Ahankara combines, it tries to Panchatan Matra and then Pancha Mahabhuta. According to Yoga Darshana, they are also accepted 25 tattvas of Sankhya Darshana, but they explain Srishti Karta Ishwara as a 26th tattva for the creation. According to Purva Memansa, there is no need of God to create the universe. That creation is done by karma. It, this theory is that good results are good and evil results are bad. According to Vedanta Darshana, Brahma is the only truth. truth. Jiva is not separate from the Brahma. It is the Brahma itself. Brahma is the Nimitan, also Upadan Karan of Srishti. Brahma along with Maya undergoes change to become this universe and uh, uh, form the 17 Avaya Yukta Sukshma Shari, which is also called as Linga Shari and Sthula Bhut. 17 Avayas are 5 Dnanendriya, 5 Karmendriya, 5 types of Vayu, Mana and Buddhi. Nyaya Vaishishik Darshan described the Parmanu Vada. Parmanu classified as Parama and Anu. Parama uh, refers to highest or best and Anu refers to minuteness. That is, Parmanu is the minutest individual particle of matter. According to this Vada, the whole universe is made up of self-union of Parmanus, of Prithvi, of Tej and, and Vayu Mahabun. There are no Parmanus of Akash Mahabun. Uh, these are the eternal permutation combination of Parmanus having the different characteristic creates all the entities of universe. And uh, this process is like that combination of two Parmanus called as a Dvayanu. Dvayanuk and Parmanus, both are the Anuparimanyukta that is not visible to naked eyes. A combination of three Dvayanuka called as a Trayanuka or Trasarenu. They are Mahat Parimanyukta uh, that is minutest visible particle. Combination of four Trayanuka called as a Chaturayanuka. Uh, same that of uh, combination of five Chaturayanuka called as a Panchanuka. This process is a continue in this pattern to form the Sthul Drava, that is Mahabhul. And they also accepted Pilu Pakvat. Pilu refers to Parmanu, Pak refers to transformation. Uh, that is when Pak is done by the heat, there is a transformation or changes in characteristics even at this Parmanu level. According to Charak Sanita, they presented a special form of cause creation than, than the Sankhya Darshan. They mentioned no differentiation of Prakrut and Purush, togetherly known as a vector. Hence, as per the Charak, Charaka, uh, Chatur Vinshatiya Tattvas are the cause of creation. Classification of Tattva, that is Ashta Prakruti, Avekta, Buddhi, Ahankara, Fayu Sukshma Mahabhuta, and Shodash Vikara, that is Fayu Nanendriya, Fayu Karmendriya, Fayu Mahabhut, and Man. Uh, a vector, it rises to Buddhi Tattva, then Ahankara, then uh, Sukshma Pancha Mahabhuta, Pancha Mahabhuta, and Ekadashendriya. Acharya Charak mentioned the Indriyas as a Bhotik, but not Ahankarik. Instead of mentioning Tattva, Charak mentioned the Dhatus and considered Avyakta as a Purush. Thus arise the concept of Chaturvinshatiya Dhatvatmak Purush. According to Acharya Shushru, they also accepted 25 Tattvas of 
Sankhya Darshana, out of these 25 tattvas, 24 are a Chetan and Purush only the Chetana Bhava. He said the Prakruti and Purush are not one. They are different. So you should consider a vector uh, that is only Mula Prakruti as a root cause of creation and Purush as a 25 uh, tattvas. Uh, these 25 uh, tattvas, that is Purush, uh, it um, con give the consciousness uh, to the uh, 24 elements. Uh, Sankhya uh, Sankhya mentioned the Prakriti Purush Sayog only the cause of creation, but Sushut mentioned the Shat Karan also, that is Sabhavam Ishwaram Kalam, Yadruchan Yetim Tatha Parinam Chamanate, Prakriti Prutu Darshina. Classification of Tatha same as the Charak Sahita, that is Ashta Prakriti and Shoda Shvitara. Conclusion uh, The concept of Sushut Patikram of Sankhya uh, accepted by Yoga Darshan Ashara Charaka and Ashara Sushruta. Sushut Pati as per Achara Charaka, that is uh, Chatru Inshati Tatat Mukshuti, as per Achara Sushrut, Panchavinshati Tatat Mukshuti, Yoga Darshana Sharvinshati Tatat Mukshuti, and as per Sankhya Darshana Panchavinshati Tatat Mukshuti. Uh, root cause of Srishti as per a Sankhya Darshana, uh, that is combination of Mula Prakriti and Purush. Uh, Sushri Sahita, uh, that is a vector, only Mula Prakriti. Uh, as per Charak Sahita, that is a vector. Uh, according to uh, Nai Vaisheshik Darshan, they believe on Ishwara. Yoga Darshana also believes on Ishwara. Purva Mimansa, uh, they accepted Karma theory. Vedanta Darshana, Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya. Acharya should consider a vector as a Purushukta, while Acharya should consider as a Mula Prakriti. According to Vaisheshik Darshana, uh, they, uh, the cause of creation is self union of Parmanas, but after the inspiration of God. Uh, according to Yoga Darshana, Sushti Karta Ishwara is the 26th sixth element of creation. According to Naya Darshana, they believe on Ishwara. In Purva Mimansa, they accept the Karma theory. And in Vedanta Darshana, Brahma Satyam Jagan Mitha and uh, from the uh, 17 Avaya Yukta Sukshma Shari, that is universe. According to Charak Sahita, no differentiation of Prakriti and Purush. Indriyas are not Ahankarik, but as a Bhotik. Mentioned Sukshma Mahabhuta instead of Tan Mantra. According to Sushrut Sahita, Prakriti Purush are not one, they are different. Out of 25 Tatwas, 24 are a Chaitana and one Purush is a uh, Chaitanya Bhava. In Sankhya Darshana, Purush is Nigun, Vibhu, but Acharya Sushru said as a Sagun and Anu. Mentioned a Shatkaran, uh, also the cause of creation. Classification of Tatwa according to Sankhya Darshana, that is one Prakriti, seven Prakriti Vikruti, 16 Vikruti and one Na Prakriti, Na Vikruti, that is Purush. And according to as per Ayurveda, that is Ashta Prakriti and Shoda Shvikara. Uh, these are the references. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Hello. Thank you, Dr. Amrita. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Vishal for the paper presentation. Dr. Vishal, are you yes, there? Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Okay. One minute hold now, sir. Okay, doctor. Doctor, if you, if you have any problem with screen sharing, uh, doctor? Uh, yes, yes. There uh, will be some problem. Okay, doctor. We will call you next, doctor. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Now, next time we invite Dr. Kamalasri for the paper presentation. Dr. Kamalasri, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Okay, sir. Hello, Dr. Kamal Sri. Yes, sir. Give me a minute. Okay, doctor.
sir can you share the slide for us for me okay doctor one minute doctor Hello, Dr. Kamal Sri. Yes, sir. Doctor, please start the session, doctor. Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Myself, Dr. Kamal Sri KM. My topic of presentation is anatomical consideration of Vidura Marma, a cadaveric study. Please, next, sir. Introduction. Marma is the vulnerable or vital area of the body where prana resides. They are the regions where conglomeration of mamsa, sira, snayu, asti, and sandhi is present in body, making it vulnerable. Uh, Ayurveda accepts 107 marma, and these have been classified on the basis of location, dimension, effect of injury, predominant structure involved, and innate character in the body. Uh, there are 37 marma present in the head and neck region. Vidura marma is one among them. These are two in number, found one on each side of the posterior inferior to the ear. Each are half angula in pramana. These are vaikalyakara marma having saumya guna because of shaitatya and stiratva nature. Life is maintained even after injury to this marma. The vidyalakshana of vidura marma leads to bhadirya or hearing impairment. Based on the pre, uh, pre prominent structure entity involved. Vidura Marma are categorized under Snayu Marma by Sushruta and Dhamani Marma by Vapata. Next, sir. Need for the study, hence the study is focused on identifying the structural entity present in the particular anatomical position as stated in the classics and in association with causing hearing impairment or loss. Aims and objectives of the study. Cadaveric study to ascertain the location and structural component of the Vidura Marma. Materials and methods. Source of data, literary review and cadaveric study. Study of four cadavers in relation to Vidura Marma point was carried out in Department of Rachana Sharira of Sri Dharmasthala Manjunateshwara College of Ayurveda and Hospital Hassan. Approaches adopted during the uh, dissection were external to internal by nailing the point posterior inferior to the auricle and facial nerve pathway and visualizing the mid middle ear cavity by breaking the tegment tympani. Next. These are the four cadavers, cadavers taken for the study. Next. The method of adaptation for the making probable Vidura Marma point Next, sir. Uh, for pointing the Vidura Marma point, the plane of orientation, that is rates baseline and Frankfurt horizontal plane, can be considered as a reference plane for locating the point which is inferior to the root of the ear. And ear was measured on the longest axis, and the center was marked, and it is connected with the lower margin of the circle with a straight line, which is extended further down to intersect with the circumferential margin. This intersection point is considered as a probable point of Vidura Marma. Next. Uh, the layer, layer by layer dissection was take, uh, carried out. First, first and foremost was incision line, then cutaneous nerve in the superficial fascia. Next. Uh, parotid gland was uh, exposed. Next. Next. Sir. And uh, the superficial vein, that is external jugular vein, and the branches of facial nerve was ex uh, exposed. Next. Uh, all, all the uh, branches of carotid, internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery was exposed. Next, the relation of artery and the facial nerve branches. Next. At the point of uh, half, uh, half angular, uh, the point of Vidura Marma, 
at the point of vidura marma the structure found was stylomastoid artery uh, stylomastoid foramen that which is bounded by styloid process and the mastoid process and the con content of the stylomastoid foramen is stylomastoid artery and the facial trunk this is the completion of first approach and the second approach was taken layer by layer dissection of the scalp next sir uh, then the cerebral hemisphere was removed and the uh, infratentorial uh, structures was taken the intact facial nerve and vestibulo cochlear nerve root was seen from uh, uh, commencing from the medulla pons and junction between pons and medulla medulla oblongata then uh, uh, the brain stem was removed for uh, locating the uh, pathway uh, external extracranial pathway uh, intracranial pathway that is exiting out of the internal acoustic meatus next sir then the tig uh, tigment tympani was broken down to uh, see the middle ear cavity and the ossicles next discussion discussion on location of vidura marma during the layer by layer dissection in the marked area it was observed that facial trunk emerging out from the skull and the stylomastoid artery passing through the stylomastoid foramen at the marma point pramana of vidura marma a standard reference book of ayurvedic formulary of the india uh, the ayurvedic measurement are taken has one angula is equal to 1.95 cm within the 1 1 cm circumference the structures observed was super skin superficial fascia greater auricular nerve branch of external jugular vein investing layer of the deep fascia neurovascular bundle carotid sheath branch of external carotid artery part of internal carotid artery internal jugular vein tympanic nerve and the auricular nerve of the vagus next and this is the measurement of the stylomastoid foramen from the superficial it comes nearly about 2 uh, to 2 and 1/2 cm discussion on the structural entity of the vidura marma as per the classics the term snayu is described as navasnayu shatani matu uh, matulunga mulani that which emerges from the matulunga prasarana and akunchana of the anga are mentioned as a brain uh, function functions of the vritta snayu or kandara based on above references uh, snayu can be uh, correlated or considered as an conduct uh, that which conduct the impulse from the brain to structures and vice versa for carrying their respective functions has per the classics meaning of dhamani dhmanat purnat bahena rasadin ityartah dhamani starts pulsating when they fills with the nutri nutrient fluid arteries are considered as a dhamani because of the pulsating nature next based on the vidya lakshana of vidura marma uh, nerve nerve to stapedius supplying the stapedius muscle which is the branch of facial nerve uh, and in it is inserted to the neck of the stapes and it uh, draws the stapes laterally and exerts dumping effect of sound vibration to protect the internal ear from the loud sounds damage to this nerve causes the paralysis of the uh, stapedius which results in hyperacusia and hearing impairment due to the impairment in the function of the auricular chain stylomastoid artery the branch sir previous one stylomastoid artery the branch of posterior auricular artery supplying inner surface of the tympanic membrane and uh, stapedius muscle middle ear cavity mastoid antrum and mastoid eight cells most of the middle ear cavity injury to these arteries hampers the normal blood supply causing the impairment in the normal function of the tympanic membrane causing the hearing impairment next sir conclusion vidura marma point involves neurovascular entity where facial nerve is considered as a snayu marma and stylomastoid artery that which is a branch of posterior auricular artery is considered as a dhamani marma effect of injury to this structure causes conductive hearing loss or hearing impairment thank you thank you doctor
Next, I would like to invite Dr. Uma B. Gobal for the paper presentation. Dr. Uma, are you there? Hello, Dr. Uma, are you there? Hello, Dr. Uma. Dr. Uma B. Gobal, are you there? Okay, next, I would like to invite Dr. Dharanesh for the paper presentation. Dr. Dharanesh, are you there? Hello, Dr. Dharanesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Namaste, sir. Okay, Namaste, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Hello. Yeah. One second. Is the screen visible, sir? Not visible, doctor. Oh, one second, sir. Give me. The screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session, Doctor. Namaste, sir. My topic of presentation is understanding the methods of Rakala. Uh, I'm a PG scholar of the department from uh, STM College of Ayurveda Hassan, guided by Dr. Roma B. Gopal, HOD, and professor of the uh, department. Introduction to Kalacharya. Uh, Kalacharya is briefly written by Acharya Sushruta in Charitra Sthan Adhyaya, number four. That is Garbhi Vakarana Charitra. Kala are seven in number. It separates Datu from the Ashaya. What is Kala Sharira? Kala Kalva is upon Datu Yantara Mariada. Kala is nothing but the separating layer that lies between the Datu and Ashraya. Kala forms the Datu and organ partition between the tissue cavity. That is Ashaya. There are mainly seven number of Kalas in the body. That is Mamsadara, Raktadara, Medodara, Sleshmadara, Purishadara, Pitadara, and Shukradara. As Pratari Sutta. On Shetai Sarakashi, Shitaman Shirshi, Tai Nathamam Shishi, Shitaman Shirshi, Stai Vista Pratichanan, Kunatan Sajarana, Sleshmana Vistan Chabi Kalavagas, Tamidu. As Katik on Noda, its pith is observed. Likewise, Datu is dissecting the musculature. The Kalas are those which are covered by the ligaments, spread as membrane structures like amniotic membrane with Sleshma. According to Acharya Sarangdara, Datu Ashe Antarastaha, Tu Yak Pledaha, Tu Aditishtati, De Ushmana Vipako Yaksakala, Ithyabithiate. Here the Acharya Sarangdara explains Kleda or moisture or liquid portion present in between Datu and Ashaya is processed by the heat of body and converts it into Kala. According to Acharya Vagruddha Vagbata, Yah to Datu Ashe Antarishu, Kledo Atitis Avadishtate, Sa Yetha, Sa Ushmavihi, Vipaka. Snayu Sleshma Jarais Chana, Kashta Yu Saro Datu, Saraha, Rasa Shesho, Alpatat, Kalasanha. The clay or moisture present in between the Datu and its Ashaya, reacting to its own heat, gets converted into Kala. It's called Kala because it's made up of small quantity of the essence of Datu or Datu Rasa, which oozes from the Datu, just like the liquid. Liquid oozes out when the fresh food is cut. It is enveloped by Snayu, that is, muscle fibers, ligaments, and tendons, and Jarayu membrane. And now coming to Medodara Kala. It's one of the third Kala which is uh, present in the body. Tutiya Medodara Nama. Medo is a robuta nama drasta manus tissue cha mahatsu cha mancha bhoti. It's a third Kala in the body which is present within the abdomen, small and large bones. Meda can be considered as a fatty tissue present within the abdomen. So it is present throughout the body. It is abdomen where it can accumulate. So last issue we say Shena, so I can't rush it. Other three issues are very so, Sarakta made of the Sudam Sasia Sneha, Sausa Perikita, Maja or the Maro is 
located particularly inside the spinal artery called one that mix with this of with mix with blood was at the anterior portion of the pure muscle modern correlation anatomically methodorachala can be compared with lesser of them that cover in the large intestine in the view of presence of methodorachala in the bone anatomically it can be correlated with the bone marrow here acharya sushita mentioned that in long bones methodorachala resides in the form of majja and in small bones in the form of the sarakta meda meda uh, see you can see here meda is form uh, it's in the form of uh, majja in the stool asti yellow you can see here uh, here the uh, red bone marrow and yellow bone marrow can be considered as the form of meda and udrasta meda and in the form of omental fat fat in the folds of the peritoneum subcutaneous fat and fat encircling the kidneys <coughs> now next coming to bone marrow as acharya told the uh, meda's can be compared to bone marrow bone marrow is found in the center of the most of the bones and has many blood vessels there are two types of bone marrow mainly red and yellow red bone marrow contains blood stem blood stem cells that can become red blood cells white blood cells or platelets yellow bone marrow is mainly more made of fat but it's a red bone marrow contains stem cells that can become red blood cells white blood cells or platelets yellow bone marrow is made of fats contains stem cells that can become cartilage fat or bone cells the bone is made up of compact bone spongy and bone marrow red bone marrow is primarily found in middle ear cavity of flat bones and sternum such as sternum and pelvic girdle it's also this type of bone marrow contains hemopoietic stem cells which are the stem cells that form the blood blood cells it's it <clears throat> functions of red bone marrow red bone marrow contains stem cells stem cells are uh, not blood cells blood blood cells that are used that used to create other cells the stem cells in the red bone marrow are called hemopoietic stem cells the stem cells in the red bone marrow are used to make red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets the process of making new blood cells is called hemopoiesis hematopoiesis red blood cells contain hemoglobin which gives blood its red color the hemoglobin in red cells also binds oxygen in the lungs red blood cells transports oxygen throughout the body and the hemoglobin releases into it into tissues they also remove carbon dioxide from tissues and bring it back into the lungs and uh, uh, bone marrow also produces stem cells stem cells are the raw are the body's raw materials which form the all types of cells specialized the functions are generated under the right conditions in the body or laboratory stem cells divide to form more or more cells called the daughter cells these daughter cells have capacity to either uh, build a new stem cells or specialized cells with a more specific function such as blood cells brain cells heart muscle cells and bone cells no other cells in the body has the natural ability to generate the new cell types several sources of the stem cells stem cells embryo there are uh, three main sources there are uh, embryonic stem cells the stem cells that are harvested from the embryos in the early stage of development these are the pluripotent stem cells meaning that uh, they can divide into more stem cells or can become any type of cells in the body this versatility allows embryonic stem cells to be used to regenerate or repair the diseased tissue and organs next the adult stem cells found in the adult tissues and organs next the perinatal stem cells these are the stem cells which are present which is the amniotic fluid which is the sac that surrounds the protecting and uh, protects the developing fetus in the uterus it has been identified that stem cells in the samples of amniotic fluid uh, drawn from the pregnant woman's test uh, called amniocentesis next comes the white blood cells these cells help fight the infection by defending bodies against the viruses bacteria and other germs most of the uh, white cells outside the body of blood in the other tissues organs in your body there are main type many types of white blood cells that fight infections in different ways some white blood cells make antibodies while other destroy the invading cells the white blood cells includes lymphocytes the three types of lymphocytes are t cells b cells and natural killer cells and granulocytes the three granulocytes are neutrophils eosinophils and basophils 
then monocytes the white blood cells turn into macrophages which seeds the foreign cells next come the platelets these are the cell makes uh, these cells makes your blood blood clot and helps in the stop uh, stoppage of the bleeding uh, these are in the shape of disc a uh, piece of cell that is found in the blood and the spleen the help in the formation of blood clot to slow or stop the bleeding and to help helps in the healing of the wound having too many or too few platelets or having platelets doesn't that don't work as they should it can cause many problems checking number of platelets in the help uh, in the blood may help diagnose certain diseases or conditions also uh, platelets are also called as thrombocytes and bone marrow and the health bone marrow is very important to, in your in the health sometimes the bone marrow might be damaged or not work properly or uh, for different reason this can affect how you make blood cells there are many different types of bone, bone marrow disorders bone marrow problems Hello, can doctor? causes very Hello, various doctor? types of disorder cancer Hello, sir. Hello, doctor. Uh, sorry doctor Hello. you are exceeding the time limit doctor Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, leukemia. Two minutes, sir. I'll finish. Leukemia is the white blood cell cancer that can appear suddenly or glow uh, slow, grow slowly over the time. Anemia. This is of the, one of the condition which is caused due to the low iron or vitamin B twelve or uh, uh, low folate. Folate. Your bo the bone need bone marrow needs the nutrients to be able to properly make red blood cells and the hemoglobin. Without these nutrients, they might not have the and of blood blood cells yellow bone marrow it's mostly found in the hollow regions of the compact bones in the axial skeleton it stores mainly fats it's called yellow bone marrow as it refers to yellow colored tissue that functions produce uh, that functions to produce the blood cells and stores fat during the circumstances function of the classification of meda function classification functionally meda can be uh, considered as lipids adipose tissue and the fatty layers in the abdomen liver proteins are the small particles which contain the cholesterol phospholipids uh, triglycerides and proteins proteins are the beta globulins called upper proteins lipoproteins can be classified into vldl ldl idl and hdl where vldl contain a high concentration of triglycerides and uh, they are uh, a moderate concentration of the cholesterol and phospholipids high dense hdl are contain high concentration of proteins which uh, with low concentration of the cholesterol and phospholipids HDL is considered as the good cholesterol and LDL and VLDL considered as the uh, bad cholesterols in the human body. These are the classifications: VLDL, IDL, LDL, and HDL. Adipose tissue is a fat tissue or connective tissue that forms the storage site of the fat in the form of the glycerol. It forms adipocytes. Obesity does not depend on the body weight, but on the amount of the body fats, especially adipose tissue. Adipose tissue are two types: white and brown. These are the classification of adipose tissue: white, beige adipocyte, and brown adipocyte tissue. White is adipocyte tissue it, uh, mainly located on the skin, internal organs, and covers the central cavities of bones. Its main function is to store energy. Other functions like it helps in insulating the body from the extreme temperatures, and uh, it acts as a cushion in the for the organs and it protects the organs from any injury from the external factors. And the brown adipocyte that. Right, uh, it's mainly located in, it's in uh, more in the fetal life and infancy compared to adult uh, age it's located in the upper back and uh, both the clavicles and the vertebrae uh, main function is to generate heat this is the pre predominant type of the white adipose tissue is the predominant uh, type of the fat in the human body it can be found beneath the skin and it helps in the storage heat transition a brown adipose tissue it's also called brown adipose tissue a special type of body in the fat that turns activated when you get the cold uh, brown fat uh, produces heat to help maintain your body temperature in cold conditions brown fat contains many more mitochondria that uh, uh, than does the white more than the white fat thank you thank you dr darnish Next, I would like to invite Dr. Vishal for the paper presentation. Yes, sir. Dr. Vishal. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, okay, Dr. Darnesh. Yes, sir. Dr. Uma will be presenting uh, by 8 o'clock, sir. She was having a network issue. Okay, okay, doctor. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Dr. Vishal, please continue, doctor. Hello, sir. 
डॉक्टर विशाल प्लीज कंटिन्यू डॉक्टर प्लीज शेयर द स्क्रीन डॉक्टर हाँ वन मिनट ला हेलो सर इज देयर वेली विजिबल स्क्रीन यस डॉक्टर विजिबल डॉक्टर प्लीज चार्ज द सेशन डॉक्टर यस सर अ रिव्यू हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ विशाल मारुति तांबे एमडी स्कॉलर रोग निदान एवं विकृति विज्ञान जीएससी नांदेड माय टॉपिक इज अ रिव्यू कोरिलेशन बिटवीन उर्दू रक्त उर्दू काम्ल पित्त एंड गैस्ट्रोइसोफिजियल रिफ्लक्स डिसीज introduction amla pitta is a condition where amla gun increases due to samta of pitta dosh due to increase in amla gun and vidaha gun of pachak pitta leading to kanta rudha dah avipak amla udgar tikta udgar and sveda pravrutti grd is grd is resulting in regurgitation of food and its causes heartburn GRD is one of the most prevalent G, uh, gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal disorder. GRD develops when the esophageal mucosa is exposed to uh, gastroduodenal contents for a prolonged period of time, resulting in esophagitis. Esophagitis means lower, uh, lower end of esophagus inflammation. GRD causes mainly due to abnorm abnormality of lower esophageal sphincter. Uh, pathogenesis of GRD is similar to that the other acid secretory diseases such as duodenal ulcers and gastric ulcer diseases. In Western country, GRD is most common gastrointestinal disease. GRD is reduced. Lower esophageal sphincter tone causes reflux the gastroduodenal contents into the esophagus or oropharynx. Uh, it means regurgitation. Uh, rises in intraabdominal pressure causes regurgitated content um, into the esophagus causes lower esophagitis at the lower end of the esophagus. Uh, factors associated with the development of the GRD mainly uh, obesity, dietary factor, uh, defective esophageal clearance. Abnormal lower esophageal sphincter, reduced tone, uh, hiatus hernia, delayed gastric emptying, and increased abdominal pressure. Then uh, uh, correlation between lakshana lakshana of urdhak uh, urdhak amla pitta and symptoms of GRD. Ruta uh, harit ka pitta nila krishna arakta vamana means regurgitation of uh, food provoked by the bending or lying down position green yellow blue black slight red or bright red colored uh, sour substance it resembles like mansa dhavan in mounds it uh, correlates with water breath salivation due to the reflux salivary gland stimulation as acid enters the gullet ruda dah ruda dah is burning sensation in chest heartburn and a typical chest pain कांत दाह मीन्स बर्निंग सेंसेशन इन थ्रोट इट्स कॉजेस हॉर्शनेस ऑफ वॉइस ड्यू टू एसिड लैरेंजाइटिस और हेलो डॉक्टर विशाल निदान सेवन इंक्रीजेस आम्ल द्रव एंड उष्ण गुण ऑफ पित्त कॉजेस मंदाग्नि Uh, vitation of the sam vayu and pachak pitta and kledak kaf causes uh, shuktatva means improperly formed rasadi dhatu process symptoms of urdu uh, urdhog amla pitta patho uh, pathophysiology of gid etiological factors causes re reduced lower esophageal sphincter tone reflux is uh, gastro uh, duodenal contents into the esophagus causes lower end of the esophagus causes inflammation and ulceration causes reflux esophagitis uh, since uh, symptoms of heartburn chest pain and regurgitation conclusion is that uh, grd is most prevalent disease in today's lifestyle due to causative factor like viruddha dushta and amla vidhahi annapan mentioned in ancient science according to ayurveda nidan parivarjan is the first line of treatment so causative factor of the disease study should be essential in modern science treatment of grd is not much effective but in ayurvedic science patta patta patya and chikitsa for the urdhva gamla pitta is more effective so, so the study of relation between the urdhva gamla pitta and grd is useful for the ayurvedic treatment in grd thank you sir hello thank you doctor Yes, Next, I would like to invite Dr. Shedarani for the paper, paper presentation. Dr. Shedarani. 
Okay, okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Your screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session. Okay. Good evening, one and all. Myself, Dr. Shweta, second year PG scholar from the Department of Rogan Iran and Literary Jnana, SCM Hassan. Today, I will be presenting a case. The patient details goes like this. A patient, XYZ, aged about 35 years male, complains of difficulty in breathing and coughs his symptoms in 15 days. Associated with burning sensation in the gastric region since 15 days. History of present illness, a 35-year-old male, not a known case of diabetes, mellitus, and hypertension, was apparently healthy 15 days past. Suddenly, he developed fever and cough. For that, he consulted him and got admitted for four days. After getting discharged, he developed severe cough and difficulty in breathing and tightness in the chest region, which used to aggravate in the night time and in lying position and used to relieve on sitting and intake of glucose water. For that, patient, patient also complaints of burning sensation in the epigastric region occasionally. For the above complaint, patient visited SCMC for the further treatment and there was no history of headache and vomiting. Past history, there was nothing significant. Treatment history, patient was under antibiotic and antacid for the four days. Uh, and family history, personal history, ahara was mixed, shit pravrati was good, mala pravrati once per day, mutra pravrati four to five times per day, nidra was disturbed due to difficulty in breathing. Less than a cup of milk in the evening time. Dashavira pariksha, prakriti, kapha pitta predominant, vikriti, vata, sara, samhana, pramana, sattva, sapnya was said to be madhyama, ahara shakti, dayama shakti, and vaya are said to be madhyama. Ashtasana pariksha, nadi, 70 beats per minute, mutra three to four times per day, mala once per day, jiva val aliksha, shabda, Pasha, Drik, Akriti was said to be normal. General examination. Consciousness, patient was conscious. General appearance, looks well. Build was ectomorphic. Pallor, ictus, sinusis, clubbing, and edema was absent. Lymphadenopathy, not palpable. Decubitus, in sitting position. Gait was not altered. Vital signs, blood pressure 120 by 80 mm of SG. Temperature was the atrial blood. Pulse rate 70 beats per minute. Respiratory rate 16 cycles per minute. Systemic examination. Cardiovascular examination, inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation were within normal limit. On per abdominal examination, inspection, auscultation, palpation, percussion were within normal limit. CNS examination, higher mental function, cranial nerve, motor nervous system, and sensory nerve and reflexes were said to be normal. Limit. Coming to the respiratory system examination, upper respiratory tract, nostril, no abnormality was found, sinus tenderness was absent, nasal septum was not deviated, tonsils were not normal. Coming to the lower respiratory tract, inspection, shape and symmetry of the chest, bilaterally symmetrical, position of the trachea, centrally placed, respiratory movement, thoraco abdominal, visible veins and scar marks were absent, visible pulsation was absent. Coming to the palpation, expansion of the chest, symmetrical, intercostal and rib tenderness was absent, vocal parameters equally intensity, other findings, nothing abnormality detected. Coming to the percussion, lung resonance was resonant, lung Cardiac dullness and liver dullness were present. Other findings were something. From the auscultation, breathing pattern was acicular breathing. Vocal resonance was increased. Added sound, wheeze sound. Area, all area were involved and which is polyphonic in nature. Lobe involvement, superior, inferior lobe were involved. Heard, the sound was heard on both inspiration and expiration. Other findings were said to be normal. Coming to the Nidana aspect, Sandy Krishna Nidana in this patient was Kapha Pradhana Vasadosha. Vipra Krishna Nidhana, in that Aharaja Nidhana, Ruksha Ahara, Sheet and Abhishandi Ahara, Viharaja Nidhana, exposure to Raja and Dhuma, Vibhichari Hetu, Sheeta Ahara, Guru Ahara and Sheeta Vihara, Radhanika Hetu was not found, Sipataka Hetu was also not found, Vendaka Hetu, Kapha Prakopa. Coming to the next type of Nidhana, Asakmindriya uh, Samyoga, Dhanendriya, as the person was going to the duty in the morning 6 o'clock, he was exposed to the wind continuously, daily. Pragna Parada, Sheeta Bhojana and Sheeta Vihara. Parinama, Atyoga, Kali Yoga, extreme rainfall in the rainy season. Continuously for 15 days, he was traveling. Dosha Hetu, in this patient, Vata, Sheeta Ahara, Kapha, Guru and Madhura Ahara. Yadi Hetu, exposure to wind, Ubaya Hetu not found. Bahya Hetu, Sheeta Ahara and Vihara. Bahyantara Hetu, 
ಅಭ್ಯಂತರ ಹೇತು ಕಫ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ತ್ರಿದೋಷ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಹೇತು ಶೀತಾಹಾರ ಪೂರ್ವ ರೂಪ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಪ ಗುರುಗುರಕ ಶಬ್ದ ವಸ್ಹರ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೇಷ್ಮಾಣಿ ವಿಮೋಕ್ಷಂತೆ ಮುಹೂರ್ತಂ ಸುಖಂ ವಸ್ಟೈಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೇಶನ್ ಹಸ ವಸ್ಬೇರ್ ಆಸೀನ ಲಭತೆ ಸೌಖ್ಯಂಗ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ದೇಶನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಲ್ ಅಬೌ ನಿಧಾನ ಸೇವನ ಪಾತ ದೋಷ ಗಾಟ್ ಅಗ್ರಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ ದೋಷ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಫ ದೋಷ ದಿಸ್ ಕಫ ಡಸ್ ಅವರಣ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಾಣವಾತ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದ ಸ್ರೋತ ಅವರೋಧ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಟ್ ಕಥಿಲೋಮ ಗತಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣವಾತ ಸಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ವಸ್ಥಂ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಥಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಘಟಕ ದೋಷ ಕಫ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ವಾತಪಿತ್ತ ದೂಷ ರಸ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಜಠರಾಗ್ನಿ ಆಮ ಜಠರಾಗ್ನಿ ಜನ್ಯಾಮ ಸ್ರೋತಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣವಾಸ್ತೋತಸ್ ಸ್ರೋತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಸಂಘ ಐಂಗಿ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಗಮನ ಉದ್ಭವಸ್ಥಾನ ಆಮಾಶಯ ಸಂಚಯಸ್ಥಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣವಾಸ್ತೋತಸ್ ರಕ್ತಸ್ಥಾನ ಉರಸ್ ರೋಗ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಅಭ್ಯಂತರ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಆಶುಕಾರಿ ಆ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಕಾಸ ಸಂತಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಪ್ರಥಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ವಿನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಸಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಥಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೀತೋಪಲಾದಿ ಚೂರ್ಣ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹನಿ ಒನ್ ಟೀ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಟಿ ಐ ಡಿ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಗ್ರಾಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಕುಟಾರ ರಸ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಪುಷ್ಕರ ಮೂಲ ಸವ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕನಕ ಸವ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಈಚ್ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫುಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಐ ಪತ್ತಿಕರ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋಧಂತಿ ಭಸ್ಮ ವಿತ್ ಲ್ಯೂಕಾಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಟ್ ಬೆಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸ್ಥಾನಿಕ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ವಿತ್ ಬೃಹತ್ ಸೈನವ ತೈಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಪೂರ ತೈಲ ವನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಡೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಭಸ್ತ್ರಿಕಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಮರಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಸಿಂಟಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಾಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೀತಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಏಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಏಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಎಪಿಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ವಿಜನ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕಂಪಾರಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಗುರುಗುರಕ ಶಬ್ದ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವಶೂಲ ಶ್ಲೇಷ್ಮಾಣಿ ವಿಮೋಕ್ಷಂತೆ ಮುಹೂರ್ತಂ ಸುಖಂ ಅಟ್ ದ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕೋರ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಂಕ್ಯಾಲಸ್ತಮ ಪ್ರಥಮಕ ಶ್ವಾಸ ಇಸ್ ಟಿಗರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅಲರ್ಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೀಸನಲ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಶೀತೋಪಲಾದಿ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಡಸ್ ದ ವಾತ ಕಾಫಹಾರ ಗ್ರಾಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸಲ್ ಕಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಫಲ ಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ಗಂಧಕ ರಸಾಯನ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ವರ್ಧಿನಿ ಒತ್ತಿ ಮಂಜಿಷ್ಟ ಅಂಡ್ ಗುಡುಚಿ ಡಸ್ ಡಸ್ ದ ವಾತ ಕಫಹರ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ವೀರ್ಯ ಅವಿಪತ್ತಿಕರ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಗಿವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸದ್ಯ ವಿರೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫೀವರ್ ಸೊ ಸದ್ಯ ವಿರೇಚನ ವಾಸ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅಲ್ಪ ರೋಗಿ ಬಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಮಾಶಯ ಸಮೇತ ದೋಷ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಥಾನಿಕ ಅಭ್ಯಂಗ ಫಾರ್ ಕಫ ವಿಲಯನ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶೇದಾರಾಣಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬೆನ್ಸಿ ನಾನ ಸಾಹಿಬ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಹಲೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬೆನ್ಸಿ Hello, Dr. Can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Bensi. Doctor, we can't hear your voice, Doctor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Now okay. you can hear. Okay, okay. Please share the screen, Doctor. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. The screen is visible, doctor. Sir. Yes, doctor, visible. Please start the session, doctor. Good, good evening, sir. My name is Bansi Vakshore, PG Scholar, Department of Kriya Shed, uh, Government Ayurveda College, Nandit. My today's presentation topic is concept of Vedic Shamatwa. Vedic Shamatwa, Nirukti, it is made up of two words, that is Vedic and Shamatwa. Vedic, 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 means the condition which gives Pira,
which uh, present since birth it depends on the healthiness of shukra and artha if two parents genetic makeup is healthy then children are similar healthy if person is uh, susceptible to certain diseases those diseases may be carried out over the next generation kalaj blood temporal strength is based on division of seasons and age in adan kal that is late of winter spring and summer people of individual will be less in visarga kal rainy seasons autumn and winter it will be more bala will be alpa in child and old age and uttam in young age yukti krit bala acquired strength is the one which is achieved by combination of ahar regular consumption of substances like blood uh, mamsaras increases strength uh, sarva rasa rasa vyaso bala karanam that is the practice of intake of all rasas increases the strength hence regular consumption of healthy diet of the body grows healthy and so the immunity also grows chest that is physical exercise in ayurvedic literature vayam is mentioned to be responsible for improving all three kinds of bala that is sahaj kala dhanik tripu exercises are in the form of vayam yoga pranayam chikitsa use of medicinal yoga which increases vaidhya mukta such as rasayan vajikaran dravya oja the essence of sapadatu is called oja it is seat for strength hence called bala situated in the heart viscous anantas grizi somatmakam clear and slight reddish in color its loss that is destruction of absence, absence may lead to death and it presents in the body to survive classification of ojas according to chakrapani ojas is of types paravoj paravoj is a prime oj where pran the life resides it is eight drops in quantity present in heart even at a part of destruction of parojas leads to death it is white and yellowish red in color aparoj aparoj is half anjali in quantity it is less important compared to paroj oja vikruti according to shishu there are three stages of abnormality of oj first uh, oja visrams symptoms of oja visrams are looseness of joints body ache and displacement of doshas from their seat tiredness and impairment of performance of action oja vapor symptoms of oja vapor are heaviness in the body stiffness in joints depression discoloration body ache drowsiness excess sleep and non fitting edema oja kshay symptom of oja kshay are unconsciousness depletion of flesh wasting that is wasting semi consciousness coma and death factors which induces vedic shamatva number 1 uh, vego hi doshana acquisition of dosha leads to manifestation of disease utamdha contamination of body by external infectious agents abdhatu che excess fluid loss leads to dehydration which brings imbalance in body micronutrients vedi vedi krishna depletion of skin by chronic illness ativayam excessive vigorous exercise leads to balakshay and then low immunity ati madhyapan the properties of madhya are opposite to that of ojakshay will lead to low immunity ati jagran keeping awake at night increases vata dosh rapidly that will ultimately reduce kapha dosh and thereby bal vedik shamatva monovetha mental stress anger fear etc mental disturbance increase vata dosh in the body hence there is low these are the factors which reduces vedik shamatva factor responsible for enhancement of vedik shamatva balavata pusha desh janme balavata pusha kal सुखकर काल योग गुण संपत बीज क्षेत्र आहार संपत शरीर संपत सात्विक संपत तत्व संपत स्वभाव संसिद्धि युवा अवस्था कर्म एंड सहर्ष थेरेपेटिक रिज्यूमन टू बूस्ट वैदिक समत्व फर्स्ट वन इज मेंटेनिंग ऑफ ट्राइपोड्स ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज आहार निद्रा एंड ब्रह्मचर्य फॉलोइंग ऑफ दिनचर्या ऋतुचर्या एंड सदृत फॉर हेल्दी लाइफ यूज ऑफ रसायन वाजीकरण थेरेपीज and maintenance of maintaining balanced state of agni relation between agni and vedic samatva jathar agni is the main principal substance responsible for disease and health it is also responsible for longevity complexion strength health enthusiasm build bluster immunity temperature additional agni like putagni and dhatvagni and other vital functions aggravation or diminution jathar agni results in aggravation or diminution of putagni and dhatvagni mala and vedic samatva purish which uh, provides strength and supports vat agni and pitta mutra fills the urinary bladder and eliminates excess moisture in the food swed swed provides moistness and softness to the skin and skin and supports hairs thank you thank you team samiksha
for presenting. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I will next I will like to invite Dr. Haley Patel for the present presentation. Hello, Doctor. Am I audible? Audible, Doctor. Okay. Please share the screen, Doctor. Yes. Is it visible? Not visible, doctor. Not visible. One second. Okay, doctor. Is it visible? Now it is sharing, doctor. Yes, doctor. Visible, doctor. Introduction is one of the most top plant diversity country. Important source of medicinal raw plants, species for traditional medicine and pharmaceutical industries. In Ayurveda, Sandhya Dravya is term used for the medicinal plants and controversial botanical so used in the industry to increase in the demand of the herbal products, non-availability, poor understanding, and that controversial source sometimes leads to inefficacious preparations. Due to that, many adulterations and substitute leads to the health hazards. Also, the plant collected, collected generally from the wine sources, sometimes by skilled and but many times by unskilled collectors. Due to that, improper identifications of correct species of plant and collection methods lead to state of confusion, then leads to controversy. Uh, time origin controversy. Time origin of for controversy is Samhita Kal from commentators. Second, Nigantu Kal from Nigantus due to numerous inclusions of synonyms, modifications due to influence of time, and fourth, influence of influence of adulterants and substitutes. In modern trade, around 32 medicinal plants with controversial identities are extensively used in Ayurvedic industries. Reason for controversy. Many texts with long chronology, loss of living traditions, additions, and divisions. For example, the Didi Aushada explained in Charaka and Maha Aushada in Shishu Samhita were dropped in the letter Asangradaya and Asang Sangraha. Only such plants such as Aridra, Tulsi, Adraka, etc., which have an active and unbroken living tradition of use are free from controversy. Many names for one plant. Example, Shankapushpi has 34 different names based on the different features. No taxonomy system. Example, Dirgamuna, meaning that which has a long roots, free for several different plants inadequate to establish the identity. Example, Yavasa and Sharpani, given both the same name, Dirgamuna. No single generic name. Ten plants are identified as a Pashan group, and there is no generic name given in the Samhitas or in any Nikantis. Common name for different plants. Aksha is given both in Rudra Aksha and Vibhitaki, and Amruta given name for Guruchi and also in Haritha, for Haritaki. Controversy due to lack of expertise, expertise in grammatical and Sanskrit language. Example, like a people. And people eat. Folk names like Tamil, Matala is for Dadimo, where in Canada, Citrus Medica, that is Nimbuka variety, is used. Mistake done during copying the manuscript. Due to the good uh, geographic, next is a geographic variations. Shankapushpi is North India, it is used convolvulus microphylus, whereas uh, in South India, it is Plutonia Taneta used as a Shankapushpi. Substitute leading controversy. Uh, non -availability, due to non availability and high cost chances, substitute drug is used for the long time and it will consider as an original. Example, Pashan Bay, original variety is Virginia Lingulata, but due to non availability, Ariva Lenteta and Bryophyllum Pinata is used for, as a Pashan Bay. Now, how to analyze the controversial medicinal plants? First, collect the textual information like synonyms, clinical applications chronological differences among the authors. Next, collect the information from the living traditions, from the service and folk practices, help to identify the plant. 
collect data from the regional practices literature collect data from the non medical sanskrit language review the recent botanical correlation to the botanist you know botanist and extract related studies trade related study has been the different botanical candidate trade and medicinal plants which have controversial identities of trade lab analysis and phytochemical phyto uh, pharmacological studies after that biological activity and in vitro and in vivo uh, in vivo study can be conducted now i am showing the example how to uh, solve the controversy from giving example of ras rasna first take the review literature for the rasna in charaka uh, anuvasan upag upag rasna is mentioned boman upag they mention elapani uh, sugandhi dravya rasna tela in sheetha nivaraka dravya ushna uh, and shushruta arkadigana that's why right. it is a shuk or a gulma sreshma shamaka varga and tiktarasa so the rasna should be one which has a which uh, is a shrub morphology should be ela patra sadrsha rasa should be tikta and virya should be ushna comparison opinion comparing the opinion of commentators uh, that is amar kosha given two drugs based uh, name as a rasna ela pani and nakula rajnikan to mool rasa patra rasna and natruna rasna chakrapani nakuli gandha nakuli and rasna and dalhana gandha nakuli so opinion experts should be taken and solve that three drugs uh, is be considered should be considered as a rasna first rasna second nakuli and third gandha nakuli now collect the uh, geographical regional plants which has been used for the practice as a rasna so in uttar pradesh mutual lanceolata is used as a rasna vandarox bergai in the east india alpinia galenga in the south india and dodonara viscosa in arunachal pradesh now these four varieties should be uh, comparative study should be conducted for pharmacognosy and pharmacological study now comparing the experimental and clinical study of these four groups uh, we should be uh, conclude and discuss that that uh, alpinia gang uh, al mutual lanceolata has a shrub tiktara sa yukta mula root of drug gives aroma and release vata jogyadi whereas gandhar oxbergai does not possess of above any qualities and alpinia galenga based uh, and pv sharma opines charakta elapani sadrusha so it is concluded that rasna should be considered as a mutual lanceolata and alpinia galenga and these are the some controversial drugs others which i mentioned here thank you thank you doctor yes sir. next i would like to invite dr uma for the paper presentation dr uma are you there dr uma big or well are you there um actually it's my turn dr manvi here okay okay can i present okay dr manvi you can present doctor okay thank you so much okay doctor Your screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session. Is my screen visible? Yes, doctor. Visible, doctor. Please start the okay, session. Okay. Thank doctor. you. So, good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Manvi Adav, PG Scholar, Department of Panchakarma, Rajasthan Ayurved University, Jodhpur. And the topic of my presentation is role of yoga and dietic approach in neurological entity. So, let's start with introduction. what are neurological disorders the disease of central and peripheral nervous system are called as the neurological disorders these are medically defined as the disorders that affect the brain as well as nerves found throughout the human body and spinal cord according to global burden of disease study these disorders con uh, constitute 3% of the worldwide burden of disease Uh, people worldwide are affected by neurological disorders and these disorders contribute to years lost to disability according to nlm there are more than 600 neurological disease these include epilepsy alzheimers parkinsons migraine sciatica etc the cause include genetic disorders infections lifestyle or environmental health problems and injury to brain spinal cord or nerves Alzheimer's disease is one of the most devastating brain disorders of elderly humans. 
it is an undertreated and underrecognized disease that is becoming a major public health problem initially it was assumed that uh, alzheimers was a rare condition and later it was considered to be an inevitable consequence of aging alzheimers results from increase in the production or accumulation of a specific protein beta amyloid protein in the brain that leads to nerve cells death coming to the etiology the exact etiology of alzheimers is unknown and associated with risk of factors but there are certain genetical and environmental factors that can be potential cause for alzheimers risk of factors are increased age over 65 years hypertension genetics smoking and alcohol use down syndrome mild cognitive impairment and increased cholesterol level now the pathophysiology there are two signature lesions in alzheimers they are neuritic plaques Uh, these are the deposits of beta amyloid protein that accumulates in the space between nerve cells and second neurofibrillary tangles these are deposits of protein tau that accumulates inside the nerve cells symptoms uh, there are two types of symptoms first is the cognitive this include memory loss aphasia apraxia agnosia disorientation impaired executive function non cognitive functions include depression psychotic symptoms such as hallucination and delusions behavioral disturbances physical and verbal aggression motor hyperactivity uncooperativeness wandering repetitive mannerism combativeness and functional inability to care for self such as dressing bathing and eating now the stages of alzheimers these are the stages the first is the early Uh, early stage with duration its duration is 2 to 4 years and symptoms include recent memory loss repeated questions problems with language depression apathy personality changes and need reminder for daily activities then mild stage is about 2 to 10 years its symptoms are persistent memory loss rambling speech unusual reasoning confusion sleep disturbance mood and behavioral changes slowness rigidity tremors and gait then in the moderate stage symptoms are increased memory loss and confusion inability to learn things delusions parano uh, paranoia problems recognizing family and friends and in the severe stage there is total loss of verbal skills unable to care for self falls possible and Im- immobilizing likely problems with swallowing incontinence and illness hallucinations and delusions and patient needs total care and support discussion yoga started roughly 5000 years ago in the indian subcontinent as a part of ayurvedic healing science it is considered as a promising cost effective and a widely used approach for disease prevention diet on the other hand is one of the treya upastamp and mahabhashajya as mentioned in classical text while the relation of uh, relationship of yoga and diet with neurological disorders may not seem uh, seem impulsive at a first glance but both these are non invasive means of treatment both yoga and diet leads to a healthy mind which in turn leads to a healthy body meditation has a great potential for preventing cognitive and memory decline because of its stress reducing effects stress is related directly to the levels of cortisol in the body which in turn is well known for its toxic effect on the hippocampal cells critical for the normal memory function this claim is further substantiated by various studies which concluded that hypercortisolemia in alzheimers appear related to the clinical progression of disease but not to aging or length of survival thus a stress induced hypercortisolemia can further aggravate alzheimers however a regular practice of meditation can through stress reduction and reduction of serum cortisol level provide benefits to the patient of alzheimers the association of dietary fat with plasma co- uh, cholesterol levels is highly relevant as cholesterol play a central role in alzheimers some prospective studies have reported lower risk of alzheimers and dementia amongst person prescribed cholesterol lowering statin drugs compared with those that were not prescribed these medications long chain omega 3 fatty acids 
a type of polyunsaturated fat consumed almost exclusively from fish may hold promise for the prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's. A number of prospective studies have examined vitamin E, vitamin C, supplement use in relation to Alzheimer's and found evidence of reduced risk of Alzheimer's. Conclusion. Our understanding of dietary influences on Alzheimer's is in its infancy. However, a growing number of epidemiological studies indicate that there is a strong relationship between nutrition and Alzheimer's. While saturated fats and high serum cholesterol is associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's, consumption of long-chain polyunsaturated omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants such as vitamin E appear to lower the risk. Persons should limit their intake of food that are high in saturated and trans-unsaturated fats such as red meats, butter, ice cream and commercially baked products. Our review of medical literature found that yoga has been widely used for health promotion and disease prevention and as a possible treatment modality for neurological disorders. Yoga has also been used as an adjunctive treatment modality for Alzheimer's. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Manvi. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Anu Nishad for the paper presentation. Hello, Namaste, sir. Am I audible? Audible, doctor. Please share yes. the screen, doctor. Yes, sure. Sir, is the slide visible? It isn't uh, visible, doctor. Yeah. The slide is visible, doctor. Please share yeah. the screen, doctor. Okay, sir. Myself, Dr. Anu Nishad, finally a PG scholar from the Department of Prasiti Tantra and Sri Roga, Alva Sayurved Medical College. Today, I'm going to present on the topic Sutika Paricharya. Introdu coming to the introduction, Ayurveda has given prime importance to care of women at every phase of her life. In Ayurveda, the term Sutika can be used only after expulsion of Apara. This period is used to make sure that the mother is stable and to educate her to take care of the baby. After delivery, women become weak due to Dhatu Shitilta and excretion of Kleda and Rakta. Ayurveda has advised specific diet and lifestyle regimen called Sutika Paricharya to prevent further complication and restore health of the mother. Here, Kashyap has mentioned Sutika, that is Sutaya Chapi Tatrasya the Apara Chen Nirgata Prasuta Api Na Suta Sri Bhavati Evam Gate Satihi. He mentions that after the delivery of child, till the Apara is not expelled, the woman cannot be called Sutika. In other words, Sutika term can be only used only after the expulsion of Apara. According to the modern, Sutika is termed as purperial woman, and the duration is termed as normal purperium. Purperium is the period following childbirth during which the body tissues, especially the pelvic organs, revert back approximately to the pre-pregnant state, both anatomically and physiologically. The duration of purperium, according to the modern, it begins as soon as the placenta is expelled and lasts for approximately for the six weeks. Here comes the main objective of Sutika Paricharya. Includes Garbhasya Shuddhi, Dhatu Paripurnata, Stanya Vruddhi, Aswashan, Ahar Vihar, Chikitsa Karma. And Aushad Prayoga. So, what is the need for Sutika Paricharya? As most maternal and fetal death occur in first month after the birth, almost half of postnatal maternal death occur within first 24 hours, and 66% occurs during first week. Frequent postmortem, uh, postpartum morbidity and its association with adverse perinatal outcomes suggest need for postpartum care in developing countries for both mother and baby. In Ayurveda, about 74 types of diseases can happen in this period if not managed properly. Early visit play a significant role in the management and prevention of many life-threatening maternal and neonatal complications. Coming to the Sutika Kala, here are different opinions according to different Acharyas. Acharya Charaka, he did not mention, he did not uh, mention any specific duration for the Sutika Kala. Acharya Shushruta, Bhagbhata, and Yogratnagar, they have mentioned one and a half month uh, and Punar Artha of Darshan. That means she does not uh, rest, uh, she does not restart her menstrual cycle. Then after uh, Acharya Kashyapa, he mentioned six months. Bhav Mishra, they have mentioned four months. Next. Prasav uh, Prasavu Punha Raj of Darshan, according to Kashyap Sahita, Tateva Garbaha Sutaya, Sadya Stanyaya Kalpate, Shesham to Rudhirim Bhuti, Kayam Yunim Chasarpati, Dhatu Shuparati Purneshu, Sharire Sama Vastite, Sanchitam Rudhiram Yunihi, Punaha Kalina Munchati. 
the samprapti will be prasav uttara garbhini aharas it means after delivery the aharas reaches the breast and immediately forms the milk that is tanya utpatti the remaining rasa it gets transformed into the blood circulating the whole body and reaches the yoni to the reproductive uh, system after attainment of dhatu paripurnata and shari samavastha uh, shari samavastha the blood accumulated in yoni is discharged periodically that is rajo darshan samanya paricharya according to various classics they have mentioned that abhyanga use of sneha pana with medication and decoction for 3 to 7 days after delivery from 7 to 12 day aushad yukta yavagu sevan and mamsaras irar is advised however there is a slight difference of opinion in the list of drugs among the various authors according to acharya Ch- uh, charaka he has mentioned that whenever sutika feels hunger she should prescribe panchakul churna with chatur sneha considering her tolerability next panchakul siddha yavagu mixed with dhruta should be given after that abdomen should be massaged with yamaga sneha and udar veshtana should be done he has also advised pari sechana with ushnodak twice a day after the use of this regimen for pancharatra or saptaratra kramen apyayate of bruhan dravya should be given kramen apyayate means gradually the bruhan drugs should be applied then acharya shushuta mentioned that after abhyanga with balatel the sutika should prescribe bhadra daru kashaya and also drug suppressing the vata for internal administration and parisheka as abhyanga tones up the pelvic floor abdominal wall back muscles tissues and relieve the muscle spasm for dushit shonita shodhanar the panchakul churna with ushna gudodak should be given for 2 to 3 days till the excretion of dushit rakta vidari gandhadi siddha sneha yavagu or shira yavagu should be given for 3 days starting from 3rd to 6th day yavakul kulatha siddha jangal mamsras with the shali rice considering her digestive power should be given on 7th 8th day he has also advised pari sechana with prabhut ushna jala other acharyas acharya charaka and vagbhata have similar opinion but he has mentioned the woman who is contraindicated for sneha pana should be given lagu panchamul kashay till 7th day Vag- vagbhata describes same regimen which was described by acharya charaka then after 12th night given due consideration to strength and digestive capacity jangal mamsras should be given yoni abhyanga is only mentioned in Ashta- ashtang rita according to acharya kashyapa he says that shuti uh, sutika should use rakshogna dravya udar veshtana should be done udar veshtana means patta bandhan which prevents a vitiation of the vata dosha by compressing the hollow space abdomen should be tightly wrapped with a long cotton cloth and bath it provides a support to the back and abdomen helps in uterus to get back to its normal size sutika should always sit over a small chair covered with leather bag filled with sukoshna bala tela yoni swedan with priyangu is specially mentioned dhupana with kushta gugul agaru mixed with a ghrita should be done here the ro- mode of action of dhupan is it maintains the hygiene of the perineum it keeps the episiotomy wound healthy fasten its healing process drugs like kushta agaru gugul have the properties like jantugna kandugna shothagna and ropana sneha yavagu mixed with sufficient quantity of salt should be followed after 6 to 7 days after delivery the woman should use snehan swedan and ushna jalapan for one month vishishta sutika paricharya is only mentioned by acharya kashyapa on the basis of desha that is anuk jangal and sadharan desh also mentioned on the basis of sex of child tela pan in case of delivery of male child and dhrita pan for female child use of mani dharan mani dharan of trivrutta over her head is advised trivrutta that is a kind of a drug which is tied over the head then prasuta sna- uh, prasuta snana according to ashtang uh, sangraha on 10th on the auspicious 10th or 12th day as per rituals of family sutika snan should be performed in ashtang rudaya sutika uthana instead of uh, bath is advised sutika uthan means coming out of the house patya to be followed are snana with ushna jala ushna jalapan parisheka avagahan udar veshtana jivanya and bruhaniya dravya yukta snigdahar snehan and swedan must be done apatya use of astapan basti siraved nasya virechan atipayam maithun krodh diva swapna shoka bhaya should be contraindicated benefits of sutika paricharya एवं हि गर्भवृद्धि शपित शिथिल सर्व शरीर धातु प्रवाहन वेदना क्लेद रक्त निष्ठुत विशेष शून्य शरीराश पुनर्नवती अकॉर्डिंग टू अष्टांग संग्रह हि सेज दैट द वुमन बिकम्स वीक एंड इमेसिएटेड ड्यू टू ग्रोथ ऑफ फीटर्स एंड ऑल्सो ड्यू टू अनस्टेडीनेस ऑफ ऑल धातु लेबर पेन एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ क्लेद एंड रक्त विद दिस रेजिमेंट शी अटेन्ड्स ऑल द लॉस्ट थिंग्स एंड रीचेस हर प्री प्रेग्नेसी स्टेज 
coming to the conclusion the post delivery period is a very crucial phase in a woman's life the ayurvedic system of medicine describes sutika paricharya a complete regimen for the postnatal woman after following sutika paricharya sutika can achieve garbha se shuddhi dhatu paripurnata and stanya vruddhi according to modern she can avoid postnatal complication all the methods help the body to combat the stress felt during the pregnancy and labor and to regain and restore its physiological and anatomical state so the early and correct puerperium care is important here are the references thank you thank you doctor thank you thank you team sanjeev okay doctor next i would like to invite dr saumya for the paper presentation dr saumya are there am i audible sir yes doctor audible doctor hello 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 doctor uma hello. we will call you next doctor i am dr uma can okay, i doctor, we will call I you next doctor uma okay okay so dr saumya please continue doctor yes sir the screen is visible doctor okay. please start the session doctor okay good evening everyone i welcome you all for my presentation uh, anidra uh, i am dr saumya from first year pg uh, department of manasaroga from stm udupi introduction humans have to suffer many problems related with health in day to day life to overcome these problems he or she has to keep his body and mind strong and healthy ayurveda the science of life suggested many siddhantas which one has to obey to maintain healthy life one of the most important principles is the three factors that is trayopasthambhas ahara nidra as well as brahmacharya ahara is the first which directly affects the life by causing uh, various problems with health and mind and uh, changes in diet habits changes in the timing of the diet etc may cause many diseases brahmacharya is not only covers the physical but also mental aspect it is the complete control of senses and essential aspects of human life it aims to preserve shukra dhatu helps to maintain dhairya as well as preeti and the nidra uh, according to ashtanga hridaya he has uh, quoted as nidra yatam sukham dukham pushtim kashyam bala balam rushata klibata gnanam adnyanam jivitam nacha as nidra is the one of the trayopasthamba and researchers show that improper sleep can increase risk of developing obesity diabetes high blood pressure or heart disease a survey conducted by who in india reveals that about 35% of respondents have reported mild to extreme difficulty associated with sleep ayurveda has enlightened about this fact centuries ago and mentioned various causes symptoms and remedies for anidra by observing this one can get rid of the problems arising from the loss of sleep on the other hand conventional medicine medical science is still lacking definite treatment for insomnia so according to ayurveda nidra arises when a person gets rid of his duties and his mind gets tired due to heavy work hence nidra is very important part of the life so the concept of nidra the word nidra is formed by the prefix nidra rakta it is always used in a feminine gender and this is a state of nature which causes encapsulation to the consciousness of the person Synonym, synonyms are shayanam swapa swapnaha samveshaha sukti and nidra is a result of relaxed physical and mental state when mana along with indriyas get tired and they dissociate themselves from the objects with in, induces the sleep types of nidra according to acharya shushruta are mainly three like tamasika rajasika and vaikarika and other types mentioned as swabhavaja kala swabhavaja roga gnana roga janya chinta keda janya de deha keda janya kapha janya agantu janya and tamo bhava nidra According to Acharya Charaka, the types are Tamobhava, Shleshma, Samudbhava, Mana, Sharira, Shrama, Sambhava, Agantuki, Vyadi, Anuvartini, Ratri, Sambhava, and Anidra. Anidra is the difficulty in initiating or maintaining sound sleep or waking up early without complete sleep and unable to sleep again or waking up with a feeling of tiredness and exhaustion. In conventional medical, uh, medical science, various concepts used to define insomnia. The concept of unsatisfactory sleep was developed by the American scientists medicine institute in 1979 according to which insomnia corresponds to the complaint of insufficient sleep almost every night or by being tired after the usual sleep time in ayurveda anidra is considered as a disease belonging to the category of nanatmaja vyadi and also as a symptom of various disease and psychological disorders nidra is due to sharirika dosha uh, kapha and tama as manasika dosha and uh, reduce uh, or decrease in the kapha and tama guna leads to anidra 
Nidanas are like uh, they are categorized into aharaja, like by having ruksha, lagu, tikshna, guna, aharas, viharas, like duma sevana, dupa sevana, upavasa, vyavaya, or vyayama, etc. And manasika, like chinta, baya, krodha, shoka, and any vata, vriddhi, nidanas, and other factors like kala, vyadi, avasa, prakriti, abhighata, kshayaja conditions can be included. Lakshanas are like angamarda, jumba, brahma, glani, tandra, shirogavarata, alasya, aruchi, or apaki. And the samparapti is also categorized as aharaja viharaja as well as manasika, where aharaja viharaja leads to vishation of vata dosha and a decrease in the kapha dosha, which leads to uh, avarana to the sanyavaha sotas and cause of anidra. And uh, same like manasika dosha, like uh, increase of sattva and raja doshas, like tama will be reduced and anidra will be caused. So chikits of anidra is first line of treatment is nidana parivarjana and uh, in aharaja usually kafaja ahara like madura rasa yukta shira like mahisha kshira mamsa rasa can be taken and viharaja like by practicing yoga and meditation uh, which includes pranayama surya namaskara tadasana brahmari pranayama om mantra chanting can be followed and even uh, listening to good music change of certain environments can also be advised shamana chikitsa has said to where uh, uh, it should usually uh, does the vata shamana as well as increase the kapha dosha like and uh, the, it should have the property of media as well as it should have madura gunas like some of the examples are like uh, sarpaganda churna ashwagandha churna brahmi swarasa shanka pushpi vati or churna brahmi vati smriti sagara rasa brahmi rasayana manasa mitra vataka has been mentioned and bahri, uh, bahir parimarjana chikitsa like abhyanga, padabhyanga, utsadhana, netra, tarpana, shiralepa, takradhara, pichudharana can be done. Discussion. Habitual sleeplessness or sim uh, simply inability to sleep for a minimum period of time which is much uh, essential for mental as well as physical health for an individual. This Ayurveda recognizes the importance of nidra. Hence considered it under one of the trayopastambhas and insomnia is the most common sleep problem worldwide and can lead to many psychosomatic disorders. Nowadays, people are addicted to medications for even getting the normal sleep. And the side effects of such medications are taking the sleep from temporary to permanent sleeplessness conditions also. Many factors influence on the sleep factors and play an important role in the developing anidra. So the conclusion, nidra is a natural fu function of the body. Ayurveda advocated that proper and comfortable sleep helps to restore strength and virility. Inadequate sleep can cause various health issues or may also be a cause for another disease. Hence, Ayurveda has a great potential and can be a promising alternative in Anidra condition. Various measures are mentioned in Ayurveda, whether by avoiding positive factors or by giving Shamana Chikitsa, one can certainly manage the Anidra. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Saumya. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Uma B. Gobal for the paper presentation. Dr. Uma, are you there? Uh, yeah. Okay, doctor, uh, yeah. please share the screen, doctor. Dr. Abarna, please wait. You are next, doctor. Dr. Uma, your screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session. Okay. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to present the topic related to anatomical understanding of Mamsa So, introduction goes like this. Acharya mentioned the term Mamsa Raju, its position and enumeration, while explaining the paribhasha of various structures, Nayu, Kada, etc. As there is no uniformity in the opinion of these authors, there is a need to understand for which structural component the term Mamsa Raju has been explained. So, the exact meaning of Bahya and Abhyantara needs further evaluation. So we'll get only one uh, uh, verse in the Shushruta Samhita, fifth chapter, that uh, Mamsaraju Chatasraha, Peshin Nibandhanate, Pramshatha, Vebahe, Vebhyan, like that. So accordingly, what is meant by Bahya? What is meant by Abhyantara? That is the main question mark. So the exact meaning of Bahya and Abhyantara needs further evaluation, whether it should be taken as superficial and deep, anterior and posterior, internal and external, or lateral and medial to the vertebral column. According to anatomy textbooks of contemporary science, there is an elaborate explanation regarding structures present on the back of the body in the form of muscles, ligaments, bones, joints, fascia, and related neurovascular structures. 
critically analyzing these structures for, from structural point of view the present study was undertaken to identify and determine the specific anatomical structure as mams raju so the aim, aim and objective goes like this the morphology of pushta was taken as a basis and for determination of specific structural entity as mams raju material and met methods in the it is a conceptual study along with the cadaveric study done in the department of uh, sharirachna so uh, we just uh, prishta and griva while even enumeration of uh, mamsa or asti or sandhi they have given separately accordingly we have um, uh, marked the points related to the back of the body and then even the marma points also have been taken to demark the neck region from that of the pushta and then uh, one by one layers were dissected after the dermatomes has been identified or one by one layers has been dissected and uh, we went on uh, observing the muscles in the back of the body the superficial most muscles were the trapezius the latissimus dorsi rhomboides major and minor which was there and deep to it uh, when we when you are going to see here there will be serratus anterior superior serratus posterior inferior like that the serratus muscle which is going to attach to the spinal cord the the from the costal ribs like that so then uh, uh, going deep and deep we have come to know that there is there is a muscle going from uh, long from the uh, skull uh, the lower part of the skull to the uh, posterior surface of the uh, sacral vertebrae so here we in this figure the slide number 11 you can see the white color the structure there it is the thoracolumbar fascia after immediately removing the skin and the superficial uh, muscles of the back so this is what actually it is needed for the posture of the body for uh, keeping the spine vertical and in uh, extension so this is thoracolumbar fascia the thoracolumbar fascia is made up of three layers the uh, the outermost layer and the intermediate layer and the anterior layer like that there will be three layers of thoracolumbar fascia so this thoracolumbar fascia b holds the muscles of the back region which helps in uh, keeping the spine erect so we will usually we will uh, use this uh, muscles uh, like postural group of muscles because of that our back will be straight so whenever we do the movement there will be flexion extension right and left lateral rotation and also the hyperextension different kind of function will be there so in this figure you can see the slide number 12 you can see uh, just removing the uh, posterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia you can you can see here the muscle which is there that is nothing but the erector spinae actually erector spinae is not a single muscle it is a multiple muscle means what it is made up of so many fibers having so many origin and so many insertion this can be categorized in three different ways so you can see here can i use the pen okay so this can be used see here you can see uh, that uh, the hip bone is uh, is visible and it is uh, emerging from the posterior surface of the sacral bone and it is passing upwards so here there are, it is made up of three muscles iliocostalis lumborum iliocostalis thoracis iliocostalis uh, capitis cervicis capitis like that so from medial to lateral also there is spinalis group of muscle longissimus group of muscle and lateral most uh, muscle group will be there <coughs> so this all muscles are together uh, is said to be erector spinae which helps in erection of the spine and also the movement of the uh, vertebral column or the spine uh, to the right side and the left side so this is the dissection what has been conducted and exact you can see the multiple origin and multiple insertion of erector spinae <coughs> in the in the form of iliocostalis uh, and uh, longissimus and spinalis in the center so the in this figure also it is very clearly seen and then you can also see we have gone to the neck region there also you can see in the form of spinalis cervicis spinalis capitis it is further extending up to the head uh, skull skull this is the spinalis capitis part of erector spinae muscle this is nothing but the uh, muscles of the back semi spinalis capitis and when we go deep again it is semi spinalis capitis is the muscle what we get in the neck region and passing upwards into the capitis means what the skull region 
<coughs> so deep to heat, deep to the erector spinae group of muscle, a further dissection has been carried out. And you can see in the, in the braided pattern, like a girl who is going to put the plat in the same way, in the braided pattern of arrangement, there is multiple origin and multiple insertion of short muscles there. And that is called as the multifidus muscle. So multifidus, rotatorus, where the muscles which was seen deeply, which helps in rotation of the spine, and also multiple origin and multi multifidus itself means, which is having the multiple origin and multiple uh, insertion. So in this figure, you can see very clearly, this is the dissection and this is the photograph. You can see as if it has been in the form of raju. Raju means the rope-like structure, like the thread by cotton, using cotton, how the small, small fibers of cotton has been tied together. When you are going to twist the fibers together, it is converted in the form of thread-like structure. And when it is converted into a thread-like structure, it gives strength increases and you cannot cut it. So it will give the strength increases. So in the same way here, small, small fibers having multiple origin, multiple insertion, the mamsa is converted into raju form. The mamsa having multiple origin and multiple insertion right from the skull to the posterior surface of the sacral bone on either side of the prashtavamsa, on either side and binding patient nebandhanarte is the function what it is going to do and help in movement of the spine. So here also very clearly you can see in the form of oh, the horse tail appearance of lower end of the multifidus muscle related to the uh, lumbar region. See, this is the beautiful figure. You can see here the braided uh, uh, hair here. And accordingly, you can see the multiple large multiple insertion of the deep group of muscle. This shows that, <laughs> this shows that it is a Bahi and Abhyantara is not related with the anterior and posterior. Bahi and Abhyantara is not related with the lateral and medial. Bahi and Abhyantara is related with the muscles related to the extensor compartment of the pack and that too which is uh, superficial and then which is deep in, the, in relation to the function called as extension. And we have always keep the spine uh, in the uh, posture means in a straight line. Okay, so that is related with the Mamsaraju. So they have told it is Mamsarajavaha Chatasraha. Okay, so that is nothing but four in number, two superficial and two deep, but on the posterior surface, in the back region only. So not related to the anterior surface. So <coughs> this is the, uh, so among all structures which are observed from the superficial to deeper strata of the back, there are two spinae group of muscles are found more similar to a tape-like structure, not tape, rope-like structure, which is acting as binding structure of the back. The multifidus muscle, which is present deeper to erector spinae group of muscle, along with the rotatorus, I can say, look more similar to the braided hair-like structure, which help in stabilization of vertebrae, uh, uh, vertebrae and present as a binding structure of the back. The columbar fascia is a connective tissue component which separates deep group of muscles from the superficial and intermediate group of muscles of the back. Peshi is the mamsakanda or bundle of muscle fibers having single or sometimes multiple origin and insertion points. Uh, where, uh, whereas mamsaraju are muscle fibers having multiple origin and multiple insertion points bounded together that keeps the prashtavamsha in position and allow for support, balance and movement of the back. Due to Ibujanakari of Vata, Mamsavaya Sangata differentiate itself into Peshi. Peshi is classified into 10 types based on the Sarupa, like Dirga, uh, etc. But under this classification, Mamsaraju is not mentioned. Hence, this Peshi individually not considered as Mamsaraju. On the basis of this discussion, can conclude that the term Mamsaraju is different from Snayu, Peshi, and Kandara but because there will be multiple muscle fibers which are included in converting that fibers into a Raju form. So the conclusion goes like this, based on the conceptual and cadaveric study conducted, the structure Mamsaraju is in the human body is concluded as follows. The Mamsaraju are four in number, way bahi are two superficial, right and left, erector spine group of muscles, way abhyantare means two deep, right and left multifidus. These structures look like braided hair, lying in the deepest group of back muscles, having multiple origin and multiple insertion, tying the body, vertebral column, predominantly those vertebrae, which lie in thoracolumbar region. 
the strength of the muscle do not depend upon the length of the muscle fiber but directly proportional to the number of muscle fiber both the muscle groups though having smaller muscle fibers are responsible for stabilizing the back and maintaining the posture of the body in erect position thus both anatomical and functionally these muscles are vital to the vital structures in the body and fulfill the term mahati pamsar joha thank you sir thank you dr roma next thank i would like sir. to invite dr abarna kp for the case presentation dr abarna yes sir okay dr abarna please share the screen doctor The screen is visible, Doctor Abarna. Please start the session, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Welcome all to my case presentation. Myself, Doctor Abarna, third year PG scholar, Department of Pharmacy, STMC, Udupi. So, a four-year-old male child from Kasaragod uh, was admitted in our IPD. Complaints of difficulty in speech, poor eye contact, and so poor social response since appropriate age. Coming to the um, Vedana Vrittanda, as per mother, a four-year-old uh, child, a product of non-consanguineous couple, was extracted through the emergency LSES indication PIH on uh, 3-7-18 at 12-59 p.m. with birth weight of 3.7 kg. Baby cried immediately after the birth. Uh, gradually, she noticed uh, difficulty in talking at the age of one and a half year, but they neglected it in the beginning. At the age of two year, uh, three months, during an Anganwadi camp, teachers noticed that child had non-responsiveness to calls and conversation, along with poor eye contact, and advised them uh, for a uh, doctor visit. Hence, they took them to KMC Manipal, where they advised speech therapy and the occupational therapy, and recommends MRI brain scan. They suggested a psych uh, clinical psych uh, psychologist consultation because as per mother, child was a little bit uh, hyperactive and does not mingle with other children. Due to the corona scenario, they refused to do so. By the age of three years, six months, they consulted in our hospital for speech problem, poor eye contact, repetitive pattern of the behavior, uh, poor social uh, interaction, hyperactivity and sleeplessness. After nine days of treatment, they noticed that uh, improvements in the hyperactivity, eye contact, sleeplessness, and fear for the loud uh, sounds. At the age of four years, they again got readmitted. Presently, he is having uh, that difficulty in uh, speech, poor eye contact, social response, and the repetitive movements. All the other milestone developments are uh, normal as per the age. Coming to the family history, non-consanguineous marriage, paternal uh, members are having the similar complaints. That is the first uh, cousins. Uh, Prasava Purva Vittanda, uh, no history of abortion and the death. Age of mother during conception is 23 years. Uh, all the antenatal checkup was uh, done regularly. History of hyperemesis up to six months. History of stress during first trimester. History of anxiety by accidental fall of a rat. History of pH since five days before pregnancy. No history of uh, anemia, antepartum uh, bleeding, di uh, diabetes mellitus, etc. Um, paternal uh, is conceived after infertility treatment for uh, four months. The developmental milestone, the growth motor milestone, and the fine motor uh, milestone are achieved at, as per the age. Uh, only that language and the social milestone is delayed. Moving at the uh, four months, babbling six months, monosyllables three months, three years. Uh, social uh, and adaptive milestones recognizes mother three months, laugh, love two, uh, two months, stranger anxiety one and a half year, obese comments two years, six months, all others are not at, uh, attained. Rogi Pariksha, Pragriti, Vada Pita, Vidriti, Vada Pradana, Sudosha, that is Prana, Udhana, Pajaga, Sadaka, and Tarpaga Tapa. Uh, along with that, Rajas and Tamas is also initiated. Rasa and uh, Sara and Samhanana, Madhyama. Sattva Avara, Satmya Sarvarasa, Ahara Shakti Madhyama, Vyayama Shakti Madhyama, Pramana Madhyama, Vaya Kala, uh, Ashtasana Pariksha, uh, Mala is Badha, Shabda Aspashta, Jifwa Alipta, all others are normal. Samani Pariksha, appearance normosthenic, gait is PGM gait, uh, posture is W posture. In this figure, you can see that W posture, all the vitals are normal. This is a video of pigeon towing gait, that is inward uh, towing gait. 
anthropometry height uh, 98 centimeter that is uh, uh, one um, one uh, standard deviation from the mean uh, weight 15 kg head circumference 53 that is uh, three standard deviation above that median chest circumference 54 cm mid arm uh, 19 cm bilaterally mid thigh 26 cm bilaterally cns examination uh, higher mental function was intact uh, memory is also intact uh, that speech is jargon speech hallucination and the delusion is absent cranial nerve examination olfactory optic oculomotor tro uh, trochlear abdus and trigeminal it is uh, intact all other cranial nerves are not elicited because child is not cooperative Um, motor system involuntary movements absent uh, muscle bulk mid arm uh, bilaterally 19 cm mid thigh 26 cm bilaterally muscle tone normotonic uh, power is normal that is 5 by 5 roga pariksha nidhana bija dushti and garbhopakadaga bhava uh, purva rupa avyakta rupa uh, alpavak and adicheshta sampratti nidhana which is vishayating vada pradana pradosha uh, which is um, vishayating the rasa and rakta uh, do the stana samshraya and the hridaya and the buddhi circulates through the manoha srodas and the, uh, that uh, alpavak and adhishtesta samrapti gadaka dosha vada pradana tridosha dushya rasa rakta along with uh, tamas and the rajas agni jadaragni mandya srodas prana rasa and manoha srodo dushti adipravritti roga marga madhyama roga avastha chirakari adhishtana shiras and hridaya utpav stana ಹೃದಯ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಸರ್ವ ಶರೀರ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಕಷ್ಟ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಕಂದ ಗ್ರಹ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿಸ್ವರತ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಗೃದ ರೋಧನ ಭಯ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನೋ ಏಕ ನಯನ ಸ್ರಾವ ಶಿರೋ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಅಂಡ್ ಹದ ಏಕ ಪಕ್ಷ ನೈಗಮೇಶ ಗ್ರಹ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಉದ್ವೇಗ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಲಪದಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಗರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನೋ ಫೇನ ವಮನ ಪ್ರದದ ಜ್ವರ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಮೋಷ ಪ್ರಾಣಾವೃತ ವ್ಯಾನ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಊರ್ಧ ಜತ್ರು ವಿಶ್ರಮದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನೋ ಬಲಕ್ಷಯ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ನಾಶ ಜಿಹ್ವಾಗರ ವಾದ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಗದ್ದದ ವಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ನೋ ಮೂಗತ್ವ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿನ್ಮಿನ ವಾಕ್ ಶ್ಲೇಷ್ಮಾವೃತ ಉದಾಹನ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸ್ವರ ಗ್ರಹ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋ ವೈಸ್ವರ್ಯ ವಾದಜ ಉನ್ಮಾದ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ಥಾನ ರೋಧನ ಆಕ್ರೋಶ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಗ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ Excluded because no asya uh, fena bahu bashita. Uh, Pittaja unmada included because of krodha badrava. Excluded because of no uh, pida varnada and nagda nagmada. Kafaja unmada included because of alpa vakya, alpa hara and uh, balavan ratrao. Excluded because no uh, adir uh, nidra uh, charti lala singanata. Uh, coming to the diagnosis, vada kafaja unmada uh, in, uh, because of asta... ಅಸ್ಥಾನ ರೋಧನ ಆಕ್ರೋಶ ಅಂಗ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಅಲ್ಪ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಪ ಆಹಾರ ಅನ್ ಬಲವಾನ್ ರಾತ್ರ ಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಲೇ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡಿಲೇಡ್ ಮೈಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡಿಲೇ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಡೊಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಡಿಎಸ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ನೋ ರಿಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ನೋ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ Expressive language disorder included because of speech delay, excluded because of uh, repetitive speech and non-verbal communication, social skills are affected. Hearing impairment included because of speech delay, excluded because of non-verbal communication, social skills and, uh, are in, uh, inappropriate for the age. Uh, fragile X syndrome, that is uh, that social development and behavior uh, milestones are affected. Uh, involved and sleep disturbance and the frontal bossing and inattention excluded because non uh, elongated face and the protruding ear uh, at the third cp included because of impaired speech developmental delay impaired behaviors excluded because of non voluntary movements uh, coming to the diagnosis that is uh, autistic disorder uh, difficulty in the speaking poor eye contact repetitive pattern of behavior poor uh, social interaction hyperactivity sleeplessness a typical interest and the um, scars uh, score is 35 that is uh, mild to moderate autism um, uh, diagnosis that is vada kafajon mada autistic disorder chikitsa siddhanta in that vada se predominant unmada sneha bana is the uh, line of treatment in avrda condition sneha bana is the line of treatment but uh, should be uh, in mrudu shodha in nature i am coming to the treatment uddwartana with trifala chuna for two days uh, abdenga with dhanvandra taila anna lepana matravasti with kalyana krita 20 ml shirudhara with brahmi taila 
Mabana Nasse with Kachura, the Shurna, followed by Shira Duma with uh, Bala Mula Kashaya. Internal medicine, Brahat Vada Chintamani Rasa, uh, one BD, uh, Smriti Sagar Rasa, half BD, Kemo Vadi Vaja, half BD with Samvaradana Grida, ten ml, Guduji Kashaya, five ml BD for seven days. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Shubham for the paper presentation. Hello, Dr. Shubham Sagari. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello, Doctor. Please share the screen, Doctor. You are audible, Doctor. Please share the screen. Okay, okay, sir. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Please start the session, Doctor. Hello, myself, Dr. Shubham Sakre, uh, Department of Kriya Shari from Government Ayurveda College, Mandir. Uh, I am presenting on topic R, Pacification and Importance, and R, R, B, L, Introduction. The reason and non-reading of is composed of five basic elements that is Panchamabhuta, Krutya, Vali, and Akash. The very thing, Mutha, components of industry, put knowledge in their respect to the students in the world. Hello, Doctor. Hello. Doctor, some problems in your voice. Can you reconnect your headset, Doctor? Okay, please. Can you remove and reconnect your headset, Doctor? Okay, okay. Wait one second. Oh, okay, Doctor. This sound is okay, Doctor. Hello. Hello. Okay, doctor. Sound is okay, doctor. Please continue, doctor. Okay. R is the best of all medicines and is considered one among the three sub pillars of Ayurveda, that is Trayup Stamba. R is the food which is ingested. It includes all foods like eatables, lickables, drinkables, etc. It is derived from the root Anga, Dum, Gratra. Pare uh, to eat and to consume, that is Bhakshanam, Ashanam, Bhojanam. A definition of R, Ariyati Iti R. Importance of R. R is life of living being, happiness, voice, life, satisfaction, power, intelligence, all are dependent on R. All work which a person does to run his life like agriculture business has a R as its base. So R is base of life. Classification of R, the Acharya had researched and categorized the cross and subtle uh, qualities and effects of food in three categories, that is Sattvic, Rajasic and Tamasic, related to Mansik Bhava. They had also enjoined that those desirous of having the purity, piety and sagacity of thoughts, feelings and emotions, along with the vibrant health of the body, should avoid Tamasic and Rajasic food and take only sattvic food. Based on Yonibed, that is Utpatti, Stavar, uh, Outbid and Parthiv. Uh, second is Jangam. Based on pra Prabhav, Hitkar Ahar and Ahitkar Ahar. Based on Upayog, that is used. According to Acharya Charak, Bhujya, Bhaksha, Lehya, Peya. According to Acharya Bhav Prakash, Chushya, Peyam, Leham, Bhaksham, Bhujyam, Charvyam. Based on Rasa, that is Shad Rasatmak, Madhu Ramla Lavan, Katu, Tikta and Kashai. Based on Vinshati Guna. Ahar Vidhi Vidhan, Ushnam Snigdam Matravata, Jirne, Vire Virudham, Ishta Deshe, Ishta Saropakarnam, Nati Drutam, Nati Vilambitam, Ajalpan, Ahasanam, Tanmana Bhunjita, Atmana, Abhisamiksham, Samyakam. Ushnam, Ushna Mashnya, the first requisite regarding prepared meal is that it should be taken Ushna, that is hot food. If once taking hot food, fill up proper taste, stimulate the Agni, that is digestive power, Vatanu Loman and reduction of Kapo are achieved. Snigdam Mashnyata, Snigdam hi Bujja Manam Sadate, Bhuktam Chanu Dirnam, Agni Mudiriyati, Kshipram Jara Gashchati, Vatanu Anulomayati, Sharam Upachinoti, Drudi Karoti Indriyani. Balabi Ruddi, Upajanayati, Varna Prasadam, Chabi Nirvartayati, Tasmata, Snigda Mashniata. The meal made should be Snigda. The Snigda Ahar causes Agni Deepan, facilitated early digestion. Matrava Dashniata, 
मात्र वीन भुक्त वात पित्त कफान पीड़यत आयुरेव विवर्धयती केवलम सुखम गुदम अनुपरती न चौष्मा न उपहती अव्यथम च परिपाक तस्मान मात्रावत अश्नियात इट मीन्स इट इन एडेक्वेट अमाउंट द लक्षण बाय विच अ पर्सन कैन डिसाइड दैट इज मात्रावत आर फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रेस इन स्टमक ग्रैटिफिकेशन ऑफ द सेंसेस एबसेंस ऑफ एनी कार्डियक डिस्कम्फर्ट सेंस ऑफ इज इन द स्टैंडिंग सीटिंग लाइंग डाउन वॉकिंग इनहेलिंग एक्सेलिंग एंड टॉकिंग जीर्ण अश्नियात अजीर्ण ही गुंजान से अव्यवहत आहारम जातम पूर्व से आहार से रसम परिणत उत्तम रेणा आहार से नो उपसृजत सर्वान दोषाण प्रकोपयत्याशु जीर्ण तो भुजान से स्वस्थान स्तेषु दोषण्यग्नि च उदीर्ण जातायम च बुभुक्षायाम विवृत्तेश च स्रोत मुखेशु च उद्गारे विशुद्धे विशुद्धे च हृदय वाता अनुलोम्य विसृष्टेशु चात मूत्रपुरुष वेगेश अव्यवहत आहारम जातम सर्व शरीर धातु प्रदूष आयुरेव विवर्धेती केवल तस्मा जीर्ण अश्नियात इट मीन्स इट आ आफ्टर डायजेशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस मील इफ वन टेक्स फूड बिफोर द डायजेशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस मील द डायजेस्टिव प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द प्रीवियस फूड दैट इज अनडाइजेस्टेड आहार रस ऑफ फूड टेकन आफ्टर वर्ड्स इट प्रोवोक्स ऑल द दोषाज वीर विरुद्धम अश्नियात अविरुद्ध वीरम अश्न सी वीर विरुद्ध वीर आहार विकार उपसृजते तस्मा वीर विरुद्धम अश्नियात वीर इज द पॉवर ऑफ सब्सटन्स बाय विच एक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इट दो फूड विच आर नॉट एंटागोनिस्ट इज एंटागोनिस्ट इन वीर दैट इज पोटन्सी इष्ट देशे इष्ट सर्वोपकरण चश्नियात इष्टि ही देशे भुंजानो अनिष्ट देश मनोविघात करे भाव मनोविघात प्राप्नोति तथे इष्ट सर्वोपकरण तस्मा दिष्टे देशे तथे इष्टे सर्वोपकरण चश्नियात इट इन कंजनाइल प्लेस प्रोवाइडेड विथ ऑल द नेसेसरी अप्रेटन्सेस वन इटिंग एट कंजनाइल प्लेस प्लेस डज नॉट गेट डिप्रेस इन द माइंड बाय द डिप्रेसिंग इमोशन्स प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द अनप्लेजंट एनवायरमेंट देर फोर शुड इट इन कंजनाइल प्लेस एंड सर्कमस्टन्सेस न अतिद्रुत अश्नियात अतिद्रुतम ही भुंजान से स्नेहन अवसादन भोजन से प्रतिष्ठान च भोज दोष साध गुण्योपलब्धि नियता तस्मा अतिद्रुतम अश्नियात डू नॉट इट हरिडली इट फूड इज टेकन टू हरिली इट एंटर्स इन टू अ रॉन्ग वे एंड विल नॉट बी प्रॉपरली प्लेस फूड टेकन इन हरी कैन ऑब्विस्ली अफेक्ट द पॉवर ऑफ डायजेशन By increasing the vata, naati vilambitam ashniyata ati vilambita. He bhunjano na truptim adigaschati bahu bhute shiti bhavat ahar jatam vishamamcha patchate. Tasman ati vilambin bitam ashniyata. Do not eat too leisurely. That food will become cold and there will be irregularity in digestion. Ajal pan. अन्न हसनम तन्मना भुंजित जल्पत हसतो अन्य मनसो वुंजान से तेव ही दोषा अतिद्रुतमश्नत तस्मा अल्पन हस हसम स्तन्मना भुंजित डोंट टॉक और लाफ व्हाइल इटिंग वन हू टॉक्स एंड लाफ व्हाइल इटिंग इज लाइबल टू सफर द सेम डिसऑर्डर्स एज द वन हू इट्स टू हेस्टिल In this most important one is that the food should be eaten with concentration. Talking and laughing divert the attention from the meals, and the food is eaten too slowly or too hastily. Atmanam abhisamiksham bhunjitam sabme kaidam mamo pashete idam no pasheta ittevam viditam yasman mana atma satmam bhavati tasma da atma abhisamiksham bhunjita sabme giti. it rightly considering your constitution these were the dietic rules for both healthy and unhealthy persons but sushrut has given dwadash asana pravicharna especially for unhealthy people this pravicharna facilitated the use of different type of ahar and ahar vidhi according to the status of health of the person according to charak acharya the food eaten by one with chinta shok 
भय क्रोध दुःख सेडेंटरी हॅबिट्स आर किपिंग अवे कॅट नाईट दो इट इज प्रिस्क्राईब डायट अँड इज इटन विथ स्ट्रिक्ट रिगार्ड टू मेजर विल फेल टू बी डायजेस्टेड प्रॉपरली थँक यू थँक यू डॉक्टर नेक्स्ट आय वुड लाईक टू इन्व्हाइट डॉक्टर कोमल यादव फॉर द पेपर प्रेझेंटेशन हॅलो डॉक्टर कोमल यादव जी सर ओके डॉक्टर प्लीज शेअर द स्क्रीन डॉक्टर यस सर हॅलो एव्हरीवन एम आय ऑडिबल सर एस डॉक्टर ऑडिबल डॉक्टर युअर स्क्रीन इज ऑल्सो विजिबल डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन डॉक्टर गुड इव्हनिंग एव्हरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर कोमल यादव पीजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पंचकर्मा राजस्थान आयुर्वेद युनिव्हर्सिटी टुडे आय एम हियर टू प्रेझेंट माय टॉपिक दॅट इज रोल ऑफ बस्ट इन द मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ सेरेब्रल पाल्सी कंटेंट्स ऍब्स्ट्रॅक्ट इंट्रोडक्शन मटेरियल अँड मेथड प्लॅन ऑफ प्रोसिजर डिस्कशन अँड कन्क्लुजन abstract neurodevelopmental disorders are impairments of the growth and development of the brain or central nervous system burden of neurological disorder in childhood age group is enormous cerebral palsy is one of the most common causes of disability in childhood leading to functional limitations in ayurved there is no single condition disease which exactly shows similarity with cp most of the authors consider cp as vadhyadi so cerebral palsy may not be fully cured ayurvedic treatment can definitely help to reduce disability and improve the functioning of the affected individual to a great extent panchkarm is effective method of treatment for cp although children are presumed to be sukumar and contraindications for panchkarm therapy but panchkarm proves to be advantageous in neurodevelopmental disorder like cp Although there is no promising treatment of CP in any system of medicine but still panchkarm can enhance the quality of life of CP patients nailing its worth in today's era of neurodevelopmental suffering it not only improves the quality of life of child suffering from neurodevelopmental disorder but also relieves the physical mental and social stress of the custodian panchkarm can enhance the quality of life of cp patients therapies like abhang vid vat nashak and balle sneha shastik shali pind swed basti shirodhara shiro basti etc may prove to be beneficial introduction of cerebral palsy cerebral refers to the cerebrum which is the affected area of the brain palsy refers to disorder of movement cerebral palsy is one of the most common causes of disability in childhood leading to functional limitations it is characterized by the inability to normally control motor functions which affect the child's ability to explore speak learn and become independent cerebral palsy is defined as a non progressive neuromotor disorder of cerebral origin motor disorder of cp are accompanied by disturbance of sensation perception con- cogn- cognition communication and behavior however consider- considering the ayurvedic disease classification and their respective features cerebral palsy can be compared with vata vyadhi or vata vikar cp is classified into four types spastic ataxic dyskinetic and mixed spastic cp accounts for a major portion of cp in india the prevalence of cp is estimated around 3 cases per 1000 life births material and method the study consists of various literatures about cerebral palsy from various samhita medical text journals and published literary materials clinical and experimental study etc plan of procedure prior to panchkarm purkarm deepan and pachan appetizers and digestive snehan oleation and swedan sedation are given to the patient sarvang abhyang massage of the entire body with bala telam for 45 minutes in seven position vashp swed with dhanyam for 5 to 10 minutes mustadi raj yapan basti discussion various panchkarm procedure have proved their efficacy efficacy in the management of cp sneha Snehan and Swedan are the prime procedures in treating various neurological conditions. Sarvang, Abhyang, Vashp and Nadi Swed reduce spasticity, especially seizuring phenomenon, improves circulation and reduce pain. Abhyang improves blood supply to muscles, relieves muscular fatigue and reduces stiffness. 
Vasti is the major treatment for CP and it proves and and it improves growth as well as fine motor function like crawling, sitting, standing, walking, and clasping hands in CP patient. Provides nourishment, improves overall general condition and quality of life in children with CP. Conclusion: Cerebral palsy is the common chronic disability of childhood. It occurs all around the world. The effect of this disorder include either motor or sensory and maybe combination difficulties. The cure of these neurodevelopmental diseases can be achieved through panchkar in the form of abhyang, shiro abhyang, shastik shali pindi swedan, shiro dhara, shiro basti, basti and nasya. Panchkar carries a ray of hope. Not only it can improve the quality of life of the child and custodian, but may be useful in gifting the sufferers a better health. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Vismaya V. Anil for the paper presentation. Dr. Vismaya, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Doctor. Please share the screen, Doctor. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Okay, sir. I welcome you all to my presentation entitled The Effect of Bilwadi Agada Anjana in Emergency Management of a Case of Septic Shock. Myself, Dr. Vismaya Vianil, finally a PG scholar, Department of Shalya Tantra from STMCA, Udupi. A male patient, age 67 years, suddenly developed pain and swelling in bilateral lower limbs below knee till toes since three months. Within three to four days, he developed ulcers associated with pricking pain, profuse purulent discharge, and foul smell in the same area. For this, he was under treatment in a nearby allopathy hospital. In the last two weeks, the patient developed fever and weakness, so he got admitted in the same hospital. In past one week, the condition worsened with no oral intake and increased to weakness. Since one day, the patient is unconscious, so he was discharged on request and brought to our OPD. The past history revealed that he was a known case of varicose veins for 20 years and a known case of DVT for three months. The patient was under antibiotic therapy, injection amoxicillin, one gram IV 12 hourly for the past 14 days. Personal history of patient revealed that he was a chronic smoker since 40 years and takes fish every day. On examination, the patient was unconscious with a GCS score of 7. Blood pressure was uh, 90 per 60, pulse of 45 per minute, respiratory rate 24 per minute, SpO2 75%, temperature 97.6 degree Fahrenheit. Pallor was present and edema was bilaterally present in lower limbs. Systemic examination revealed muffled heart sounds with bradycardia and vesicular breathing with tachypnea. Local examination of bilateral lower limbs revealed multiple ulcers with irregular shape associated with foul odor, sloping to punched out edge, gangrenated floor with a slough and seropurulent discharge. The surrounding area was black in color with the swelling. On palpation, the ulcers were cold, tender, non-bleeding on touch, rough floor, rough and indurated margin, hard and indurated base. Peripheral pulses were feeble till popliteal artery. Investigations at the time of admission showed an HP percent of 8.4 mg per dl, RBS 116 mg per dl, TC of 11,900, DC of N80, L28, M6, E5 and B0, ESR of 150 mg per dl, sodium 130 mg, potassium 4 and chloride 92 mg per dl. Rat test was negative in the patient. The Nirvanas responsible for the present condition of patient was considered as chronic smoking which causes toxins in body, daily intake of fish which increased kapha dosha as well as cause for skin disorders, patient with chronic illness of DVT and varicosity, and chronic non-healing ulcer which was infected, gangrenated, causing bacterial bloat in the blood. The samprati was that Bisha got accumulated in the body by long-term consumption of substances causing toxicity or any chronic disease with impaired metabolism or any infective pathology. The patient was under antibiotic therapy, so it attained inertness. The inert nature over a period of time is marked by kapha dosha and is understood as dushi visha. It will cause balafrasa and dadu prabhavan vikaran. 
the purva rupa seen in patient was a generalized weakness and the rupa was loss of taste fainting limbs dropping down patient beca becomes like a bird with the severe wings the diagnosis was dushi visha in the system and septic shock with unstable vitals the treatment adopted at the time of admission patient was given one pin normal saline starter and injection amoxicillin 1 g iv starter the condition was getting worse with spo2 dropping to 49% pulse 40 per minute and bp 90 per 60 oxygen 2 liter was started along with that bilwadi agada anjana was applied on both eyes from inner canthus to outer canthus as churnanjana patient was continuously monitored within 4 hours the spo2 became 97% pulse 90 per minute and bp 90 bar 60 the patient became conscious the patient was maintained at 2 liter oxygen throughout the night the next day oxygen was disconnected bilwadi anjana was applied in bd dosage rice gruel and bilwadi kutika was given through rt by using by making it into powder in bd dose as well wound care was done under aseptic precaution in the morning spo2 was 100 percentage pulse rate 70 per minute and bp 90 per 60 at night spo2 was 99 percent bp 90 per 60 and pulse 84 per minute the next day general condition of patient became stable with a good appetite coming to the discussion bilwadi kutika is one of the widely accepted agada used for anjana in visha chikitsa While explaining about the preparation of bilwadi kutika, Acharya Vakbata used the term susukshma pishtam, that is, all drugs should be made into fine paste, and this is for the easy absorption of drugs. The ocular absorption of anjana may initiate through the conjunctiva and sclera. Once it crosses the conjunctiva, sclera is more permeable and it allows the drugs to penetrate other interior structures of eye, such as ciliary body, iris, acute humor, lens, and vitreous humor. Due to increased vascularization of conjunctiva, ciliary body, and iris, considerable amount of drug is expected to enter into systemic circulation. ocular absorption of bilwadi anjana into systemic circulation and its action further requires detailed studies as contemporary physiology cannot fully explain the extent of action some vishavaidyas opines that the action of this formula is due to samyoga visheshana thus prabhava of the drug should be considered all the drugs of bilwadi kutika was kushna virya and majority are kattu vipaka which acts quickly on visha it is kapha vatanu thus helps to remove kapha avarana in a condition of dushi visha coming to the conclusion knowledge of toxicology is very essential in this era as we constantly gets exposed to toxins in one way or the other bilwadi agada anjana has shown significant effect in case of a patient with signs of septic shock it can be considered as a standard protocol current modern physiology cannot fully explain the mode of action of anjana by ocular absorption alone these are the references thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr pannaga nt for the paper, paper and post presentation am i audible sir yes doctor audible doctor doctor please share the screen doctor uh, the, yeah i'll share it are my slides visible uh, it is in yes doctor visible doctor visible doctor a very good evening to one and all i am dr panaga and therwandi pg scholar from the department of rsbk from sdm college of uh, udupi i am here to present a topic entitled an interpolative review of samanya vishesh siddhanta with special reference to kshira and ojas in comparison to madhya and visha इंट्रोडक्शन न क्रमेण विन शास्त्र न शास्त्र विन क्रम शास्त्र क्रम युक्त ज्ञावा यह करोति स सिद्धिवाग फॉर एनी स्कूल ऑफ थॉट टू बी फ्रूटफुल द साइंस मस्ट बी सिस्टमिक एंड सिस्टम साइंटिफिक थ्रू वे थ्रू विच एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन एंड एफर्ट रिजल्ट इन बिल्डिंग फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर साइंस आयुर्वेद इज फाउंडेड ऑन सच इंटैंजिबल प्रिंसिपल सच एस सामान्य विषय सिद्धांत द टॉक्स अबाउट थियोरी ऑफ सिमिलरिटी एंड डिसिमिलरिटी सामान्य विषय सिद्धांत चार आचार्य चरक हेज एक्सप्लेन एस सर्वदा सर्वभावना सामान्य वृद्धि कारण रासभाव हेतुर्शेष प्रवृत्ति उभय तो 
Samanya, in fact, is complements of uh, state of generality or similarity, which is always responsible for augmentation in all the things such as dravya, guna and karma. Vishesha is cause for diminution. That means it is cause for diminution in all the bhava padarthas, that is dravya, guna and karma. Pravritti means initiation. Interpreting the last quarter of the verse, Chakrapani says that both Samanya and Vishesha exert their effects only on the contact with the body, otherwise they would remain ineffective. That is, both uh, uh, it should be Dravya and Gunavat, both if it is there, Ubhaya Pravritti uh, only will work on the body, otherwise uh, Samanya will also not lead to Vriddhi Karana. Also means the augmentation and diminution takes place both simultaneously in Ubhaya Pravritti for the maintenance of equilibrium of Dhatus. So, an effort is made to collect various references pertaining to Samanivshya Siddhanta in the context of Shira Ojas along with Visha and Madhya across classical texts of Ayurveda, that is Charaka Samhita. Shira is explained as Vadu Shitam Rudu Snigdam Bahalam Slaksha Pichilam Guru Mandam Prasamancha Gavyam Dashaguna Spayaha. In Sutrasthana 27th Annapana Vidya Adhyaya chapter, Charaka explains. Ojas is explained in the Visha chapter where he talks about Guru Shitam Rudu Slaksham Bahalam Madhuram Stiram Prasannam Pichilam Snigdo Ojo Dashaguna Spritam. And in Madhya, we can see that it is Lagu, Lagu Ushna Tikshna Sukshma Amla Vivai Ashu Guna Mevacha Ruksham Vikasi Vishadam Madhyam Dashaguna Spritam. And finally, Visha is explained in Charaka Chikitsa 23rd chapter as Lagu Ruksha Ashu Vishada Vivai Tikshna Vikasi Sukshma Cha Ushma Anirdesharasa Dashaguna Muktam Visham Tagnehi. So we can see that all the four have been explained. In that, in discussion point, we can see that nine gunas of Kshira are identical with nine gunas of Ojas. And similarly, nine gunas of Madhya are uh, similar to that of Visha. The outlier in Shira and Ojas is the Mandaguna of Shira and Stiraguna of Ojas. While in case of Visha and Madhya, it is the Anirdesha Rasa of Visha and Amla Rasa of Madhya. When we compare between the groups, we can see that... Uh, both the duplets are having almost all the op opposite or the complementary gunas of that of Madhya and Visha to that of Shira and Ojas. So, in conclusion, uh, clear understanding of classical concept of Samanesha Siddhanta with special reference to Shira, Ojas, Ma Madhya and Visha helps in understanding the probable mode of action of Shira uh, in Visharoga, Madhatya and even as uh, Ojovardhana. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, Next, I would like to invite our sir, uh, my uh, post sir, presentation uh, is pending, Doctor. Uh, sir, my poster presentation is also. Okay, done. Doctor. Please share. Yeah. Um, I would like to share another case over here. This is a case of a uh, Ashuddha Jayapala Janya Vikara management, a single case study by Dr. Pannaga and Dr. Ashokumar BN from SDM uh, Ayurveda Udupi. Introduction. Jayapala is one of the Upavishas explained by Rasatarangini. The oil present in the seed, that is the proton oil, is a very poisonous part. Uh, and in folklore as well as in Ayurveda, drug is used for external application uh, in the condition of Indralukta. Here, a 16-year-old girl presented with a severe burning sensation over the forehead associated with puffiness in the face and itching. Patient observed these symptoms immediately after application of paste of seeds of Jayapala procured from a local Pansari shop. Patient is not a known case of any systemic illness uh, in her previous medical history. Uh, as you can see in the first day uh, morning, uh, one of the eye got swollen shut and uh, uh, after, the, uh, after six hours in the evening, we can see that both eyes were completely shut. On examination of the patient, we could see that there were multiple blisters arising from the site of application, progressive swelling from the forehead towards the lower portion of the face, eyes swollen shut. On palpation, temperature was there and tender tenderness was negative. Uh, so the treatment here uh, used was the uh, uh, Shanti Upaya for Jayapala Janya Vikara, that is Dhanyaka, Shakara and uh, uh, Kshira in the dosage of 6 grams of Dhanyaka, 6 grams of Shakara and 50 ml of milk given uh, before food twice a day. Uh, Lagusuta Shekar Rasa was given as uh, Lagusuta Shekara contains uh, Gairika, which is a Pridaya Varana Chikitsa as explained in uh, Charaka Visha Chikitsa and Amrutottara Kashaya was given as it has a Tvakdosha Hara property. 
uh, externally application local application of chandanadega lepa over the blisters uh, mixed with milk was uh, told uh, to do four times a day and uh, along with that since i was uh, we have to do the protection of the eye application of akshibandana using kamala pushpadhana was done for initial two days diet the patient was told to uh, strictly adhere to the kshiranna diet uh, and it was prescribed as you can see the gradual improvement in the swelling as well as external features the patient uh, at the end of fourth day was completely relieved from the swelling and can easily uh, 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 visualize uh, the vision was not uh, affected and the burning sensation itching was there but the burning sensation re reduced without uh, discussion and conclusion without proper shodhana of of a vishadravya if it is used rather than therapeutic benefits it may lead to untoward complications as seen in this case creating awareness among the general public to stop self medication can prevent accidental allergic reactions uh, as seen in the case of jayapala thank you thank you thank you doctor thank you doctor Next, I would like to invite Dr. Aishita like Prasad. 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 Dr. Aishita. Hello, Dr. Aishita, are you there? Hello, Dr. Aishita. Are you there? Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Am I audible now? Yes, doctor. Audible, doctor. Dr. Aishita, please share the screen, Dr. Yes, I am screen. Your screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session. Please start the session. Good evening, everyone. Um, this is a glimpse from the last year uh, Republic Day tableau that uh, having a theme like Ayurveda for immunity, uh, which uh, depicts the importance of the immunity in the present era. With this, I'm moving on to the topic of Yadi Chamatwa and his Vardhanapaya and children. Myself, Dr. Aishwarya Prabhu, finally a PG scholar from the Department of Kamarabhita, SDM College of Ayurveda, Udupi. These will be the contents of my presentation. And moving to the introduction, the foundation of your adulthood is your childhood. While explaining the concept of Vyadik Shamadva, it can be explained under the three concepts. That's the concept of Sleshma, Bala, as well as Oja. So what is Vyadik Shamadva? It's a... Uh, Ajayata Chakrapani has beautifully explained the uh, definition of Vyadik Shamadva like Vyadik Shamadva, Vyadik Bala Viroditvam, Vyadik Utpadaka Pradipadva. Here comes the concept like the resistance or immunity against the diseases and capability of body against the disease producing activity. So, Bella and Ojas, whether it is one and the same, some, uh, some Acharyas have uh, dealt it as same and some uh, Acharya Delhanas ordered it as a uh, different concept of Bella and Ojas. So moving to the pediatric age group, the definition of Bala goes like the Tatra Bala Maparipakwa Dadu Ajada Venjana Sukumara Makleshas Ham Asam Purna Bala Sleshma Dadu Praya Mashoda Shavasha. So the pediatric age group is concerned, they are having the Asam Purna Bala as well as they are the Sleshma Dadu Praya. So concept of Vyadi Kshamatva, uh, that is Vyadi as well as the Kshamatva. 
So, uh, concept of Vyadhi Chamata is explained along with the fundamental concept of nutrition and the Dadu Parinama by Ajayala Charaka Sutra in the Sutra Sana 28 chapter. So, the uh, Hita and Ahida Ahara are responsible for maintenance of health and diseases. So, uh, Ajayala also explains that even by consuming Ahida Ahara, people don't get diseases. Like, all children will not be uh, exposed to the same inf infections at a time. Why? Because Ajayala explains that not all Apathya Aharas are equally harmful, not all doshas are equally powerful, and not all individuals are capable of resisting the diseases. Here comes the concept like that each and every individual is different in the immune status. So, what are the factors contributing to this Vyadik Shramata? There will be like Akni will be uh, contributing bala vridhikara bhava as well as sharira vridhikara bhava. The role of Akni uh, and uh, bala marogya mahayushya pranashya akno pradishti daha. So, uh, anna pana indana agne jwaladi vedi chanyata. So, uh, food act as indana of for Akni. And the bala arogya ayu and prana are dependent on the Akni. So, oja and bala are known to be the backbone, uh, backbone of Akni vyabhara. And a proper digestion and metabolism or assimilation. So, Improper acne can lead to improper bala as well as oats. The concept of jwara and autism, and in the uh, in the uh, present era, the autism uh, gut therapy or the uh, gut therapy has came as the main stream of treatment in the case of autistic disorders. So that uh, in itself shows the importance of the acne. And the bala vridhikara bhava explains the twelve concepts of uh, bala vridhikara. And uh, uh, Sharira Vridhikara Bhava, like Kali Yoga, Swabhava Samsiddhi, Ahara Savshtva, and Avika Adhishthiri. Like Swabhava Samsiddhi means if the innate potential the child will be having. And the Kali Yoga means time bound growth and development, and Ahara Savshtva, uh, nutritious and balanced diet that will contribute to the immunity of the child. And Avika Adha without any hindrances. So, what are the uh, bias that can improve the Vyadikshamatra in a child? So, uh, as a garba is the uh, fusion of the shukra as well as shonita. And the growth and development of a child starts right from the conception. So, we need to start from the garbhani parishadya as such. So, after birth, jata karma samskara, lehana, uh, rasayana, samskara, and virudhabi samstudhi as such. So, in garbhani parishadya, uh, Bhattrais has well explained the uh, uh, parishadya for each trimester. So, the milk and these all parishadya will uh, meet the requirement or the nutrition needs of the Garba or the fetus and bringing normalcy of Apanavada and this facilitates an, an obstructed labor. And the concept of Supraja is a well known concept, and the Garba Samskaras thereby giving a, a healthy progeny or the health. And the Jata Karma Samskara, which includes Madhukrita Prashna, Stanapana, and Udaka Gumba Stanapana. In Madhukrita Prashna, Madhu, which is rich in phenolic as flavonoids and pollen rich sources of amino acids and have acetyl choline as such and the grita rich source of butyrate vitamin a and phospholipids uh, contribute to the viruddha samskarana yoga vahi as well as the madra viruddha and stanapana we all know the importance of the breastfeeding and uh, classic itself says the importance as bala vivardana and avyahada balanga ayura roge vardade sukam and moving to the uh, modern concept also, it, the cholesterol is very rich in nutritional, immune, as well as growth factors and having several anti-infective agents too. So moving to the lehana, the unique contribution of the Kaumara Vritya is Sugam Dukkam Hi Balanam Drishya De Lehana It enhances the growth and development by providing sufficient nutrition, here, uh, thereby adding to the immunity of the child too. And the well-known concepts, Varna Prashna is uh, well uh, Expressed by the Medagni Balavardhanam and Acharya Vagpata as well as Ustrita has also mentioned several Svarna Prashna Yogas, which is Medayur Balajanana. And uh, looking to the modern aspect like sublingual immunotherapy, we can consider it as Svarna Prashna, which will uh, increase the colloidal gold uptake, thereby uh, catalytic stimulation of the reticular endothelial system. This has some research works regarding the uh, Svarna Prashna. And moving to the Resayana concept, uh, Resayana is the first dadu which nourishes all the other dadu in body. So, Uttara Uttara dadu poshana is required for a healthy immune child. So, the concepts like Ritu Resayana, Nitya Resayana, and Samyak Bhojana as Resayana, and Hida Hara Vyoga all will contribute to the Resayana Prayogas in the children. And the Achara Resayana, which are having a great importance in the uh, behavioral disorders, also contribute to the Resayana therapy in the children. So another uh, specific uh, contribution for the uh, Vardhano by is Prakara, the Yogas. These are the immunomodulatory recipes and procedures mentioned by Arokya Riksha Galbadroma. Combinations or recipes detailed as per the age of the child. 
so these are the prakarati yogas and uh, certain studies are or such was are also been conducted on the uh, prakarati yoga which uh, prevents the morbidity in the, during the infancy and the concept of viruddha abhi samskriti it means to prepare the child's body for the viruddha dravya like evam vairodhika nimittanam vyadinam pratikada bhavanti so sameta alpata vapi deepta agne tarunasya cha so person who take viruddha ahara in regular manner gets atmya to it and person with taruna vaya or deepta agne exposed to lesser quantity of viruddha and who has strength doing exercise will not get diseases due to the viruddha ahara and moving to the bala samskaras uh, karna vedana will itself uh, move uh, response to the antigen antibody reaction uh, samskaras like phala prashna and then prashna prevents the nutritional disorders too and there are some traditional practices which will uh, cause the vyadhik shamatva like uh, in kerala widely practiced uramarana prayogam there are certain drugs used and uh, given as a lehana to the child and in karnataka uh, suttu kar or suttu madhu is uh, practice some uh, drugs uh, are giving according to the rotation from the 10th day of life and there are certain uh, research updates regarding this and conclusion prevention is better than cure so the it promotes the state of being healthy and improves the quality of life and here there are many concept which requires so uh, scope for research as well as scientific validation like dosage administration of lehana rasayana etc and it is a holistic approach to enhance the immunity thank you Thank you, Dr. Aishwarya. Thank next, you. Like in, next, I would like to next I would like next I would like to invite Dr. Akshay B. Hirman for the paper presentation. Dr. Akshay, are you there? Dr. Akshay, please unmute, Doctor. Yes, sir. I am audible, sir. Audible, Doctor. Your screen is also visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Okay, sir. I am audible, sir. Hello. Yes, doctor. Audible, doctor. Audible. Yes, yes. Please start, doctor. Good evening, all. Today I am going to present uh, a case report: combined effectiveness of yoga package along with internal medication in uncontrolled diabetes mellitus type two. A case report. A patient, male patient, fifty years age, occupation by teacher. Complaining of increased blood sugar level since ten years associated with general weakness, burning sensation over soul, thirst, and dryness of mouth, and also his family members having the this same problem. Coming coming to Vayaktik Aurthanta, he is aharas that rice predominant food, dairy products, and chicken and mutton once in a week. He is viharas daily exercise forty five minutes, uh, and he is doing that Vega Dharana, Mutra Vega Dharana, and Chuta. And uh, stress due to work by <clears throat> nidra six uh, daily six hours sleep no day sleep uh, night within one hour of dinner. His internal medications are asanadi kashaya twenty ml BD with fifteen forty five ml of warm water before food and shiva guldika uh, after food before food afternoon glycomet hundred mg oh, one before food and amalaki churnam. One teaspoon with warm water weekly, twice before food. Next, coming to our intervention of yoga, that first loosening exercise for fifteen minutes. After that, uh, we start with the standing series, Parivrutra Tikonasana for three rounds, and sin sitting series, uh, Paschimottasana Asana, Ardhamatsyendrasana, Shashankasana, three rounds, and in prone series, Bhujangasana and Dhanurasana, three rounds each, and in Pranayama, Bhastrika, twenty counts for three three rounds, and Kapalabhati, twenty counts for three rounds, Nadi Shodhana, twenty counts for three rounds, and after that, ten uh, minutes meditation in Shavasana condition. Uh, after the treatment, before after the intervention of yoga, the, the difference between uh, before the treatment and after treatment twenty six mg per dl. In PPBS, it is thirty-one point four mg per dl. Uh, in general weakness, uh, that reduced to from severe to moderate, and burning sensation over the soul is uh, reduced from severe to mild. Thirst from severe to mild. Dryness of the mouth from severe to mild. Discussion uh, by doing forward bending asanas 
uh, it will pressurize the pancreas and stimulate the secretion of pancreas uh, by doing backward bending asanas uh, it stretches the abdominal muscles improves the blood supply to the pancreas and increases the insulin production by doing twisting asanas it will squeeze out the intestines and to prevent the stagnation of colonic contents by doing that pranayama uh, example nadi shodhana it activates the parasympathetic system enhances the healthy cardiovascular function and to control the high blood sugar level by stimulating the insulin secretion from pancreas bastrika by doing bastrika and kapalabhati it improves the blood supply to the muscles and enhances the insulin receptors expression in the expression in the muscles and increases blood glucose uptake uh, conclusion addition of practice of yoga as a lifestyle modification along with regular medication benefit the diabetes mellitus to manage the sugar level thank you sir thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr uday for the paper and poster presentation dr uday are you there yes yes sir okay doctor please share the screen doctor your screen is visible doctor one minute sir okay doctor namaste sir hello hello doctor please start the session doctor audible sir audible doctor audible and your screen is also visible doctor please start the session doctor yes sir namaste sir nowadays uh, obesity is the more uh, prevalent disease lifestyle disease we are going to see day to day life uh, central obesity is uh, mainly very importantly seen in the day to day life it is uh, due to stress and uh, work uh, work uh, habit and food habits so today we are uh, i am going to discuss about obesity in according to ayurveda paribhasha uh, sthula heaviness or bulkiness uh, sthula condition of sthulata a condition of a, uh, having a heaviness and bulkiness of the body due to the accumulation of meda is known as sthulya uh, overall view uh, lakshanas uh, chalapa of uh, spik stana udara due to the increase of size of uh, spik stana udara Uh, it is uh, santapana janeda vadi and uh, stula uh, stula purusha it is one among the nindita purushas ashta nindita purushas treatment langana atarpana and rukshana ahara and viharas which uh, which are uh, opposite to the um, santarpana treatment bhaya and abhyantara this are going to discuss nidanas ahara janaja nidanas uh, sevana of ati uh, sampurna guru madura shitala and snigdha aharas uh, viharas not doing or less doing uh, vyayama vyavaya and uh, more doing divasopna uh, manasika ashata and uh, achintya uh, not having any Uh, stress or anything and always being happy it is also lead to uh, obesity or stavlyata uh, swabhavaja uh, bijaja and uh, it is uh, genetical from parent to uh, nidanas aharaja ahara uh, play a major role uh, it will lead to stavlyata uh, vihara uh, not doing any activities it led to uh, stolatha uh, manasika aggravated the kapha and uh, not uh, doing any chinta lead to kapha increases and lead to obesity which is a over uh, nutrition uh, madura rasa during uh, pregnancy it lead to obese baby or obese person uh, lakshanas medo mamsati ruddha 
ಮೃದತ್ವಂ ಅಚಲ ಸ್ಪಿಗ್ ಬುದ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ತನತ ಅಯತು ಪಾಚತೆಯೋತು ನರೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಒಬೆಸಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಫೈಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಡಿಪೋಸ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ದ ತೈಸ್ ಅಬ್ಡಮನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮೆದಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆದಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಂಸಧಾತು ಮಾಂಸಧಾ ಮಾಂಸಧಾತ್ವಾಗಿ ಹ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ ಪೋಷಣ ಇಟ್ಟು ಮಾಂಸ ದೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಂಸಧಾತು ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಬೀನ್ ಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಮೇಧಾತು ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಬೈ ಮೇಧೋ ಧಾತು ಧಾತ್ವಾಗ್ನಿ ಪೋಷಣ ಪೋಷ್ಯ ಮೇಧಾ ಧಾತು ನರಿಷ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೋಷ್ಟ ಮೇಧಾ ಧಾತು ಫರ್ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಅಸ್ಥಿ ಎಂಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ಯಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಧಾ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಧಾ ದೋಷ ವಿಕಾರಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಒಬೆಸಿಟಿ ಡಯಾಬಿಟಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಮೇಧಾ ಧಾತು ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೋಷಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೋಷ್ಯ ಪೋಷಕ ಇಸ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಗತಿ ರಸಧಾತ ಧಾತು ಫಾರ್ ದ ನರಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಷ್ಯ ಮೇಧ ಧಾತು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕೊರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಕೊಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲ್ ಅಲ್ ಲಿಪಿಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪೋಷ ಇಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ which is shown in the medo it is uh, udaraspic stana it is acclimated in the udaraspic stana according to modern it is adipose tissue or fat first uh, due to the nidana stevana agni mandya will happen next obstruction of the srotas will happen then step 3 uh, vayu present in the costa get uh, arranged then agni gets more stimulated and increase in the agni agni getting this then uh, due to the increase of agni uh, ahara will digest very fastly and more crave to have food this is how obesity will start these are the how obesity will happen due to the ahara janadana vidharaka manasika and basically this change in the body first one kapha dosha is going to increase and vata dosha also going to increase due to the more agni agni increases and medha dhatu also going to increase Bru- uh, treatment purucha patarpanam chesta stula nam main uh, treatment is apatarpana janya uh, apatarpana ahara and uh, more activity is the main treatment tatra medo anila shleshma uh nashana one uh, main thing is we have to decrease try to decrease the vata and kapha dosha chikitsa bhaya and abhyantara mainly bhaya uh, shamana and shodhana abhyantara udvartana and vyayama in abhyantara uh, shamana and shodhana is the ahara and vihara aushada shamana and shodhana panchakarmas ವಾತಕ ಶ್ಲೇಷ್ಮ ಆಹಾರ ಲೈಕ್ ಕುಲತ ಜೋರ ಯವ ಮುದ್ಗ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಂಗು ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾತ ಕುಲತ ಜೋರ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೆಡಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾತ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಫ ಪತ್ಯ ಧಾನ್ಯ ಧಾನ್ಯ ಪತ್ಯ ಧಾನ್ಯ ವರ್ಗ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಪುರಾಣಶಾಲಿ ಮುದ್ದ ಕುಲತ ಯವ ಉದುಲತ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಲಕ ವರ್ಗ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಟೋಲ ಜಲ ವರ್ಗ ಉಷ್ಣ ಜಲ ತಕ್ರ ನಾಶಕ ಅಂಡ್ ತಿಲ ವರ್ಗ ತಿಲ ತೈಲ ಮಾಂಸ ವರ್ಗ ಚಿಂಗಾಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ವರ್ಗ ಡಯೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ avoids uh, sweet sour salty and the oily foods that will aggravate the kapha and meda sweet food increases uh, include not only sugar but also rice and uh, wheat pasta bread uh, sweet milk products 
चीज चॉकलेट पास्ता डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स स्पेशली चीज क्रीम आइसक्रीम एंड योगर्ट्स मीट स्पेशली रेड मीट फ्राइड फ्राइड फूड ग्रिलेड फूड और पैक फूड प्रोसेस्ड फूड एंड रेस्टोरेंट फ्राइड फूड्स पिज्जा हार्ड हार्ड डॉग बर्गर डोनट एंड फ्रेंच फ्राइज अवेड लेफ्ट ओवर प्रीवियस डे फूड्स difficulty in um, difficulties in the treatment kasha if uh, <coughs> kashana further aggravate the aggravate uh, of already aggravated zaranagni uh, and vayu in kevel neither uh, brahmana or langana is capable of pet uh, fine increase medha agni and vayu brahmana uh, if uh, have discipline lifestyle keep calm and uh, reduce the weight by sleeping following uh, uh, ratri uh, day, night sleep and uh, avoiding day sleep food pattern uh, using uh, ahara niyama uh, which is uh, uh, told in samhita and vyayama regular vyayama dinacharya following all the dinacharya which is help in the maintain of uh, body ruticharya uh, regular shodhana like uh, vasanta vamana and uh, Sharat Gusti, like that. Uh, Sadrutas doing uh, disciplinary uh, lifestyles. Uh, Rasayana to avoid the malnutrition or overnutrition. Uh, mentally calm. By this, uh, Prashasta Purusha can be achieved. Reference bibliography, Charaka Samhita, and uh, Shankar Udaya, and uh, diet lifestyle uh, modification by Sushan Bargali and uh, Sri Harsha. thank you and the poster presentation in a rainy season uh, what and all the thing to be follow regimens uh, follow the abhyanga oil rub uh, rubbing oil all over the body and hot bath uh, avoid day sleep should not be do dua swapna and uh, food cracks uh, especially in diabetes it will lead to diabetic wound all those things so we have to take care of wounds uh, turmeric it boosts the immunity and act as a antiseptic and antibiotic drugs tulsi and uh, black pepper antioxidant to increase maintain the warmness uh, with two cup uh, two cups of water one te- uh, teaspoon of uh, sugar and and mudga uh, malakayusha if it is uh, increases the uh, agni so we have to use mudga malakayusha and garlic antioxidant and uh, uh, proper, properly help in the better digestion in the uh, rainy season agni will be less so it will help in the increase the agni according to classics diet should be in amla lavana sneha dravyas uh, drink with honey drinks with honey uh, fumigation with uh, uh, sarsapa can be uh, done to uh, prevent the fungal growth and avoid the uh, avoid liquid diet it's already running so avoid liquid diet and it will do mana it will help in the uh, control the mosquitoes and uh, infect uh, what better uh, bond diseases thank you thank you dr udai mm-hmm. next i would like to invite dr anet thomas for the paper presentation yes sir okay doctor please share the screen doctor okay your screen is visible doctor please start the session yes sir is it audible sir yes doctor audible doctor please chat doctor 
Good evening all. I welcome you all for my presentation entitled Management of Dushtavarana with Parandadi Thaila, AKS Report. Myself, Dr. Anna Thomas, final APG scholar department of Shelly Tandara, STMC UDP. Virastasis is, is a pathological chronic condition that causes significant morbidity and reduces quality of life in affected patients. 50% of venous cells are due to varicose vein and 50% are due to post phlebitis limb. Venous ulceration occurs in the gateous area in 95% cases, especially around malleolus region. According to Ayurveda, it can be considered as Dushtavarana. Doctor, doctor yes, your slide is not going, doctor. It is in first slide. Okay, doctor. Now moving, doctor. Treatment of Dushtavarana has been explained under Shashti Ubakrama by Ajari Sushrita, which can be categorized as Ashtavita Shastra Karma, Sanika Shodhana Ropana, Sarvadehika Shodhana Upamana Virajana, etc. The present study is based on the Sanika Shodhana in the form of Thaila application. Moving on to case details. An elderly patient, not known case of diabetes mellitus hypertension, was apparently normal before five years. Gradually, he developed pain over left lower limb due to excessive straining for the entire day by standing. Later, he developed formation of boil, which bursts within one month and, and results in the formation of an ulcer over that area. Uh, now, he is having mild pain, itching, burning sensation, water discharge uh, from that area. For that, he considered uh, a physician. No relief. Yes, sir. Doctor, it is in introduction slide, doctor. Not moving, doctor. Okay, doctor. Now moving, doctor. Now he complains of increase in the size of the ulcer with features of itching, pain, burning sensation. For all these complaints, he came to our OPD. History of past, past illness, diagnosed case of varicose veins since two years, personal history, diet mix, bubble regular, appetite good, micturation normal, sleep sound, and habits nil. General examination, he is having edema over the lower one third of the left lower limb, left, left to a normal. Moving on to the ulcer examination, ulcer uh, uh, revealed that ulcer over lateral aspect above, above angle joint covering one third of the left leg, measuring 13 into 18 to 0.2 mm depth with sloping edge. Shape of the ulcer was irregular with a well defined margin, floor covered with uh, slough with spores of granulations tissue along with seropurulent discharge. The surrounding area was brownish in nature. On palpation, there was rise in temperature over the affected limb and mild tenderness present. Bleed on touch and lymph node enlargement were absent. Peripheral pulsa pulsation was palpable, where posterior tibial artery were feeble. Moving on to Brana Panjaka, Agrdi Vigrda, Varna Pitta Rektaja, Pida Recta, Snigda Pandu Varna, Ganda Prasan, Srava Sarpi Srava, Vedana, Toda, Kandu, Ushma Vibhruti. Diagnosis chronic venous cells, Dushta Varna, Sannipadaja. Treatment we have given, cleaning and dressing using Paranadi and aseptic condition, oral medication, Trifla Gugulu 180, Gandhaka Rasaina 180. These were the pictures before treatment and after treatment. The probable mode of action, virya, this parenthetic thaila having 16 shida virya drugs and 22 ushna virya drugs, guna having lagu, ruksha, tikshna, guru, and snikta. Lagu guna helps in the robana, legana, shikra pagi, vada sleshma hera property. Ruksha guna helps in the shoshana, stambana, sleshma vada hera property. Tikshna guna helps in the shodana, legana, pitta sleshma hera property. Guru guna being shida virya reduces inflammatory changes. Snikta guna, it is warm in nature, regains natural color at the womb side. Conclusion, chronic, chronic venous ulcer is here considered as Dushtavarana based on its non-healing property and presenting symptoms. Thaila application helps in the Saniga Dosha Narharana and Brana Shodhana. Parandari Thaila is in indicated in the Mandala Sarpadam Shichigilsa and possesses Brana Dopana, Vishakna, Shulahara, Kridya, Shofahara, Panduhara, Krimikna and Rekta Prasadana Karma. Effective in condition arising from Dushta Rekta, Vrana with Sravana of Dushta Rekta and Jala Kandu. This study results in transformation of the Dushta Vrana into Shuddha Avastha by reducing the signs and symptoms. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anit Thomas. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Veena P for the paper presentation. Yes, sir. Okay, Dr. Please share the screen, Dr. Yes,
Your screen is visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Okay, sir. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Veena P., final year PG scholar from the Department of Shalya Tantra, STMCA, UDP. Pilonidal sinus is an acquired condition with significant morbidity and patient discomfort. The incidence of the disease is calculated to be 26 per 1 lakh people. It has a male predominance with a ratio of 3 is to 1. There are several methods to treat pilonidal sinus, but the recurrence rate is more. This apparently minor condition can present the surgeon with major challenges. Let's move on to the case report. A 38-year-old male patient visited OPD of Shalyatandra at STM Ayurveda Hospital, Udupi, with a history of pus discharge from the cleft of the buttocks associated with intermittent pain since six months. Weight of the patient is 70.5 kg, and the patient had no significant past medical history and family history. Moving on to clinical findings and diagnostic assessments, systemic examinations were unremarkable. Local examination on the natal cleft region showed a secondary sinus 2 cm away from the midline, with cleft of hair seen in the opening of the sinus. Purulent discharge was present and on palpation, induration and tenderness was present with no local rise in temperature. Delicate probing revealed the tract directed towards the primary sinus in the midline. Treatment. The whole tract with overlying skin was surgically excised under local anesthesia. With a prior appropriate screen, skin preparation, procedure was done in jackknife position. The buttocks strapped apart by adhesive taps. Methylene blue was injected to find all ramification. Probing then through secondary sinus and an elliptical incision was made around the tract. Incision deepened to include the whole tract with diverticulae along with tuft of hair. And is excised and is excised. Floor of the wound curated with Walkman spoon, followed by saline wash. Hemostasis secured with diathermy, jatede taila soft bandage placed with tea bandage. Daily dressing followed to facilitate secondary healing. Intravenous antibiotics given for three days, followed by Kaishori Guglu DS1 TAD, Gandagarasana DS1 TAD, Swadishta Virajana Churna 50 gram plus Yashada Basma 1 gram, 1 teaspoon HS internally for one week. Follow up was done for four months and no recurrence was observed. This was, these are the before and after surgery pictures. Moving on to discussion. Pilonidal sinus may present as a simple sinus with single midline opening or may present as a complex disease with one or more secondary tracts. Often the secondary tracts are directed cranially away from the midline opening. Rarely pilonidal abscess burst open in perianal region, mimicking a fistula in anno, creating diagnostic problems to surgeons. Although medications temporarily palliate the disease, surgery is the primary treatment for pilonidal sinus. Due to varied presentation and higher risk of recurrence, many surgical procedures are advocated for this disease. Among them, Bascom technique, Romberg, Limberg, Flap, Caridacus, Z-plasty, and marsupialization are carried out in the recent years. Each of these surgical techniques would have merits and demerits. Hence, appropriate surgical techniques should be chosen based on the presentation of the disease. Excision of the sinus and leaving the wound open to heal with secondary intention is a good old technique that was carried out in this patient. As the secondary sinus was just about two centimeter from the primary midline sinus, both the openings with the intervening tract could easily be included during excision. Prior injection of methylene blue would also help in clearing the diverticulae if present. Further curating the floor and delicate use of diathermy adds to the same purpose of defective clearance of the tract along with control of bleeding. Leaving the wound open to granulate usually takes 8 to 10 weeks to heal completely. This procedure is far simpler and more reliable than any of the primary closure with reference to recurrence. Probably due to effective removal of the remnants of the tracts and complete secondary healing resulting in a broad hairless scar. Following the complete healing of the wound, it is important hygiene of the area and periodic shaving of the surrounding area for a period of at least 6 months to prevent recurrence. From an Ayurveda standpoint, the disease matches the description of Nadi Vrana, explained in Susuda Samhita. A detailed description of the disease is uh, documented in the text along with its surgical treatment. 
as the fat is impregnated with the tuft of human hair acting as foreign body or shalya it is diagnosed as shalya nadi vrana prasuda emphasized excision of the tract along with foreign body as the main treatment followed by management of the wound which is no different from what is practiced in the current surgery moving on to the conclusion bilateral sinus is a disease often seen in adult males complete excision of the lesion and allowing secondary healing of the wound has helped in achieving cure of the disease without recurrence during a follow up of four months the disadvantage of this procedure is prolonged healing time and re requirement of periodical dressing until wound heals thank you thank you doctor so next i invite dr aparna ct i invite dr aparna siti dr aparna if you are there please respond i invite dr akshada i invite dr akshada yes ma'am Good evening everyone am i audible now yes doctor good evening everyone myself dr akshata third year pg scholar from sdm college of ayurveda and hospital hasan the topic of my presentation is probable mode of action of avipatti kara churna based on rasa panchaka in amla pitta guided by dr pradeep sir associate professor sdm college of ayurveda and hospital hasan introduction Churna Kalpana, a fine powder obtained after thoroughly pounding and filtering the drug completely. General dosage of churna is one kasha, which is twelve gram. Avipatti kala churna is commonly prescribed in Amla Pitta, Agni Mandya, Ashas, Mutra Bandha, and Mala Bandha. The main ingredient of this Avipatti kala churna is Trivrit. Coming to the ingredients of Avipatti kala churna, Trifala, Trikatu. विडा लवण विडंग मुस्त वक एला लवंग त्रिव्रत एंड शर्करा द रेफरेंस गोस लाइक दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू बैशज्य रत्नावली इन अम्ल पिताधिकार त्रिकटु त्रिफला मुस्त विडंच विडंगक एला पत्र चूर्णा समभागा कारयेत सर्व एकीकृत यवत लवंग तत्सम भवि सर्वचूर्ण द्विगृत त्रिवृत चूर्ण प्रदापयेत भोजनाद तथा मध्ये खादयेन माषाष्टक शुभम सर्व एकीकृत यवत तत्शर्कराय अन्वित विच इज टोल्ड बै अगस्त्य महर्षि अंड दिस आर द इंग्रीडियंट्स ऑफ अविपत्ति चूर्ण शुंटी मरीच पिप्पली आमल की विभीत की हरीत की विडा लवण विडंग मुस्त तेजपत्र एला अंटिल इंग्रीडियंट लेवन इट इज टेकन इन द रेशियो ऑफ वन एंड लवंग इट्स टेकन इन द लेवन पार्ट्स त्रिव्रत फोर्टी फोर पार्ट्स शक्कर सिक्सटी सिक्स पार्ट्स and this is the rasa panchaka of the ingredients of avipatti kara churna most of the ingredients are katu rasa and most of the ingredients has lagu ruksha and tikshna guna and all of the ingredients as ushna virya except pippali as anushna virya and musta has shita virya and most of the ingredients has madura vipaka and most of the ingredients of this avipatti kara churna has kapha vata shamaka and dosage of this avipatti kara churna is 3 to 6 gram anupana is either honey or water or milk indication which is the continuation of the same uh, shloka according to baishajya ratnavali amla pitta adhikara amla pittam nihantyashu vibhandam malamutra yoho agni mandya bhavan rogan nashayedva kalpataha pramehan vimshati chaiva sarva durnama nashanam so it is indicated in vibanda of mala and mutra in case of agni mandya in case of vimshati prameha and in case of arshas 
coming to the amla pitta nirukti amlam vidagdam chatat pittam amla pittam according to madhu kosha here in case of amla pitta pitta undergoes vidagdata and amlatva in excess which leads to amla pitta the samanya lakshana of amla pitta goes like avipaka plamod klesha tikta amlod gara gauravaihi ritkanta daha aruchi bischa amla pittam vade bishak avipaka is indigestion plama is Vina aya se na shramam utklesa utklesha is excessive salivation tikta amlod gara sore and bitter belching rit kanta daha one sensation in the chest and aruchi loss of appetite this is the samanya lakshana of amla pitta coming to the samprapti gataka of amla pitta dosha is pitta pradana tri dosha dushya is rasa adhisthana is amashaya srotas is annavah srotas sroto dushti sanga and vimagagamana prabhava with amla pitta which is newly manifested is krachrasadya and chronic amla pitta is yapya roga peda there are two kinds of classification one is urdhvaga adoga one more is vatanubandhi kafanubandhi and vata kafanubandhi amla pitta coming to the chikitsa sutra according to chakradatta 52nd chapter he says four measures in the management of amla pitta one is vamana followed by mridu virechana then susnigdha anuvasana should be given in samsargaja after shodhana shamana measures should be taken in case of urdhvaga amla pitta vamana in adoga virechana is advised bhav prakasha also Uh, is also of the same opinion that in Udvaga Amla Pitta Vamana and in Adoga Amla Pitta Virechana, but he has mentioned different drugs for Vamana like decoction of Patola, Nimba, Vasa, Madana Pala, Honey, and Rock Salt, and in case of Adoga Amla Pitta Virechana with decoction of Devrat, Honey, and Amla Kiswaras. Coming to the Patya Apatya in Amla Amla Pitta, which is the reference from Charaka Chikitsa. patya here is amalaki if person regularly consumes a diet mixed with amalaki juice it subsides amla pitta and yava and godhuma preparations without adding tikshna spices is also a patya and laja sattu taken with the sugar and honey is also a patya apatya in case of amla pitta is tikshna ahara should be avoided probable mode of action based on rasa panchaka in amla pitta mode of most of the ingredients of avipatti kara churna has rasa as katu and tikta as i told earlier guna and lagu ruksha tishna virya shita virya vipaka it has madura and katu vipaka coming to the main ingredient of this avipatti kara churna is trivrat rasa of this trivrat is katu tikta guna lagu ruksha tishna virya ushna virya vipaka katu vipaka and the prabhava of this trivrat is bhedana and rechana in agriya it is told, told that virechanam pitta haranam shreshtah hence this is helpful this avipattikara churna is helpful in samprapti vigatana of amla pitta and also trifala is also a mild purgative which is one of the ingredient of avipattikara churna and properties of all the drugs of this avipattikara churna has deepana pachana and rechana property hence we can say this avipatti kara churna helps in the samprapti vigatana of amla pitta coming to the research works of avipatti kara churna number 1 is evaluation of the efficacy of avipatti kara churna in the management of amla pitta here intervention is avipatti kara churna at the dose of 3 g bd for 21 days anupana is water the result is significant the second one was study on avipatti kara churna a clinical study on amla pitta here intervention is avipatti kara churna 1 g kapardika vasma 500 mg bd with water this research was conducted at ra podar central research institute hospital mumbai and the result was significant coming to the third study role of nitya virechana and shamana in the management of vicharchika a case study the intervention was a 63 year old male was treated with the nitya virechana with the kada of avipatti kara churna 10 g aragwada 5 g for 7 days followed by shamana aushadi and the result was significant as well and the one more research work was a study on clinical efficacy of avipatti kara churna and sutta shekara rasa in the management of urdhvaga amla pitta here intervention was avipatti kara churna given 5 g after food and sutta shekara rasa 125 mg bd after food and the result was significant thank you
thank you doctor so next i invite dr veda sm i invite dr veda uh, good evening ma'am am i audible ma'am yes doctor Good evening, all. Myself, Dr. Veda, final year PG scholar from Department of RSBK. Today, I am presenting the role of Rasaushadis in treating Raja Eczema, guided by Dr. Sureka S. Medikeri, Professor and HOD, Department of PG Studies in RSBK, GAMC, Bengaluru. Introduction. Raja Eczema as a group of disease gets manifested with the vitiation of Tridosha and Saptadhatu due to indulgence in Sahasa, Vega Sandharana, Kshaya and Vishamashana. There is manifestation of Ekadasha Rupa. So it is termed as Raja which means king and Eczema means decay which means of freeing condition of huge magnitude. Symptoms of Kshaya are Parshvashula, Jvara, Kasa and Raktashtivana. Since Rasakshadis are given in very minute quantities with very fast action, with good palatability, it is highly recommended in all groups of patients. This is the reference from Rasaratya Samuchaya 14th chapter. Agni Mandyam Jarashraitam Vantihi Shonita Puyayo Satvahanis Chadorbalyam Rajarogasya Lakshanam. Most of the Ayurveda charyas like Charaka, Sushruta, Vagbhata, including Madhavakara states, Amsapashu, Abhitapascha, Santapakara Padayo, and many more symptoms. Most of the Rasaushadis are classified as Khalgi Rasayana, Patil Rasayana, Kupipakva Rasayana, and many more. Coming to Abhrakalpa, uh, it's a reference from Rasayoga Sagara. It is in the tablet form of 250 mg, contains these drugs. Its matra is one tablet twice a day. Anupana is with Vamshalochana, Ashwatthatva, Nagaketara, Kasturi, Madhu, Ghrita, based on rog Roga and Rogibala. The mode of action of Abhrakalpa is it's a Rasayana, mainly helps in initial stages of the disease, especially in Nisteja and Nirbala Jirna Jvararogi. This Kalpa acts uh, especially on Raktadhatu, Vata Samsthana, Pukkusa, Hridaya, Amashaya, Yakrit and Antra. When Jvara persists for longer duration, the Pachana Samsthana cannot perform the respective activity properly. Because of this, the Malasangrahana takes place in the Andhra. By this, Vishashoshana takes place in Rakta. From this, the Vikriya starts in Yakrit, Rikka, Pukkusa and Mastishka and later on results in Dhatu Shosha or invasion of Shayakrimi, which leads to the cause of Kshaya. If this cycle is broken down and the immunity of the patient is boosted for the development of Samprapti is checked. At this phase, this Abhrakalpa is highly useful. Coming to the course of duration of this Abhrakalpa, minimum 40 days or till the required result is seen based on the Yukti of Vaidya. Indication it gives mainly Raja Yakshma, uh, Malavarodha, Pandu and Aruchi. Note, when there is Atishushka Kasa, no Abhrakalpa should be used and it is highly contraindicated. Coming to Shungara Brarasa, the contents are like this. And it is given in the 1 1 Rathi tablet form. Indication it is Agni, uh, it is indicated in Agni Mandi Jani Rogas, Kshaya, Dhatu Kshaya, Shota, Vishavikara, Pratisha, and in all Pitta Rogas. Karma it is Balavardhaka, Dhatu Poshaka, and Kamotejaka. When it is consumed with Patya, it cures Velipalita also. Its matra is 1 to 2 tablets twice a day. Anupana is with Narikila Jala, Ardra Kasvarasa, Chavana Prasha, Chosha Prahari Pipali, Amrita Sattva. When body of the patient goes down slowly, but do not seems like a rogi, but Dorbalya will be there. And the Pachana Samsthana shows the physiological impairment. At this stage, this is the drug of choice. This drug suits to all the Prakriti patients. Manasika Chinta and some of the Vata Vardaka uh, stages, this drug is given with ch Chavanaprasha. When patient is having thin Kafasrava with cough, dull fever, in, uh, indigestion, severe tiredness, then he should be given with Chaushat Prahari people. In case of severe Nirbalata, then it, it has to be given with Vasavaleha or Guruji Sattva. While prescribing this drug, Patishaka has to be avoided and Katutikta Kashaya Rasa is also contraindicated. 
Coming to Murugankar Rasa, it is a reference from Rasa Yoga Sagara. It, con it contains Shuddha Parada Gandhakas, uh, Svarna Bhasma, Mukta Pishti and Shuddha Tantrana. Its matra is half to one rati in baby dose. Anupana is Tatkshana Kutika Churna of 8 to 14 Maricha with Madhu. Indication, main indication is Raja Yakshma. The mode of action uh, in the first stage of the disease, dry cough will be persistent. At this stage, to keep the Shleshmika color of the Pupusa moist and to destroy the mass or colony of the Yakshma Krimi, it is essential to, uh, it is essential. So, Pravala Pishti with Sitopaladi Churna with mild dose of Mrugantarasa is best. Madhu with Gruta in Asama Pramana also works well. But in second stage, where the kapha is gada, whitish, and dully converted to yellowish and is adherent, to remove that from the lungs and to avoid further multiplication of the creamy, to avoid increase in the toxins and to free the lungs from all this, Nugankarasa is mixed with Abhraka Basma and Shunga Basma with the Anupana of uh, Kasakandana Avaleha. If sputum with Rakta is seen, then Anupana is obviously Vasavaleha. In the third stage, wherein the tubercular Tubercles formation in lungs, thicker sputum of greenish or yellowish, and sometimes uh, Daurgandhya Yukta also. In this condition, Bruganka Rasa is given with Abhraka Basma, Shunga Basma, and Vasavaleha. Anupana is Krishna Maricha Churna. This is the differences of uh, uh, differences in Bruganka Rasa with respect to different Acharyas. Uh, I have taken this from uh, Rasaratya Samuchaya and Rasa Rasara Sangraha Mindi. Coming to Potali Rasayana, Ratna Garba Potali, Hema Garba Potali, Lokishwara Potali, and Kaparata Potali are the drug of choice in uh, Raja Ekshma. Uh, amongst them, Lokishwara Potali, is, it is also called as the uh, Suvarna Lok Lokanath Rasa. It is, re is a reference from Prasaratna Samuchaya again. It contains the fourth Tala Rasa Sindura, Svarna Bhasma Vantala, and Shuddha Gandaka, eighth Tala. The dose is 1 to 2 Ratti, BID or TAD dose based on the Roga and Rogi Bala. Anupana based on Roga. Karma is Deepaka Pachaka. Uh, Kshayana Shaka, Krimigna, Poshtika and Viryavardhaka. Indication at Atikrusha Rogi, Pandu, Kshina and Chronic Rogi because of hydrogenic cause also it can be given uh, Brahma, Madatya and Unmada. Note, while having this drug, patient should avoid taking salty foods. Usage of Gritha and Dhadi is highly recommended. Vartaka, Taila, Krodha, Maituna is avoided. If Pitta gets Prakopa, then Shitala Snana or sh Shirodhara with uh, Shitala Jala and Kadali Phala is given. If Kapha Vridhi is absorbed, then in food, Maricha Churna or Guda with Ardraka Swarasa is given. In case of increased creamy, Ajamoda and Vayu Vidanga with Musta and Erenda Mulakwata is recommended. Coming to Loha, Rajatadi Loha. The contents goes like this. Haratala Marita Rajata Basma. Abhraka Basma, Trikatu Churana, Tripala Churana and Loha Basma. Matra is 2 to 4 Rati twice a day. Anupana is Brutha and Madhu. It's mainly indicated in last stage of Raja Yakshma, Pandu and Udara Roga. In Yakshma, where there is Manda Jvara, usage of Svarana Yoga increases Jvara. But this uh, Rajata Loha is well suited and it also gives Pasha Shula, Pliha Vriddhi, Katu Udgara, Mutra Daha. When there is Jvara, Shushka Kasa, Kanta Shushkata, Pandu Netra, Netra Daha, Apachana, Brahma. At this condition, it is given with Pravada Pishti and Amrita Sattva with the Anupana of Gruta and Sharkara. Shilajitvadi Loha, again, it's a reference from uh, uh, Rasendra Sarasangraha. The contents are Shilajitu, Madhuishti Churna, Vyosha, Makshika Basma, and Loha Basma. The dose is 2 to 4 Rati. Anupana is Madhu and Kshira. Vindya Vasi Yoga, the contents are uh, Trikatu, Trifala, Gangeruki, Atibala, Vija, all in equal parts, nine parts of Loha Basma, all mixed well. Based on the need of Vaidya, uh, the Acharya has given the um, option to Vaidya to add Pravala Pishti nine parts, Shrunga Basma nine parts, Kukutanda Basma nine parts. Patya, uh, the Patya is taken from the reference of Yogaratna Kara. He says, uh, Sadhanya Yava, Godhuma, Mudga, these are Sadapatya, Jangalam Ragapakshi, Mulaka, Kulakta Yusha. While uh, considering Pashumamsa Sevana, Stri Jati Pashu has to be considered. Uh, Pakshi Mamsa Sevana, Purusha Pakshi Mamsa is considered as the best Patya. While uh, speaking about the Apatya, the reference from Yogaratnakara says, Vrintaka, Karavellaka, Taila, Bilva, Rajika, Vyavaya, Diva, Swapna, and Krodha is contraindicated. The role of sheep or Chaga in Raja Yakshma. Chaga Mamsa. Paya Sarpi with Sharkara cures Raja Yakshma. Chaga Seva, that is Sakatam Chaga Madhya Yakshma Nutta. Is a reference from Yogaratnakara, Raja Yakshma, Rogadikara. 
Paravatadi Shishkamamsa Churna, it is a reference from Chakradatta, which contains Paravata Shishkamamsa Churna, Vanara Shishkamamsa Churna, Chaga Shishka Churna, uh, Kuranga or Harina Shishka Mamsa Churna. Each five grams in the Shishka Mamsa form, uh, and it has to be taken with Anupana Chaga Dugda. Conclusion Abhrata Kalpa acts on both pulmonary and extra pulmonary disorders, especially in breaking the life cycle of Kshayakrimi. And this kalpa suits for all prakriti patients. Different anupanas and patyas made differences in the treatment regime. Chaga plays a vital role in the treatment of Ekshma. And these are some of the references. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. So next I invite Dr. Atri Kosh. Hello. Hello, Doctor. I invite Doctor Atri Kosh. Yes, hello, ma'am. Yes, you are audible. Doctor, you are audible. Please share the screen. Yes, ma'am. Is it visible now? No, no, doctor, it's not visible. Is it visible now? Yes, it's visible now. Hello, uh, good evening all. Myself, Dr. Atri Ghosh. Uh, second year PG from Department of Shalakya Tantra. Today, my topic is an Ayurvedic review on the management of quint. Uh, we all know quint is an improper alignment of the visual axis of two eyes. It can be defect in relevant muscle power or direction of the motion or disorder of the brain. So it can it is occurred due to lesion in the cranial nerve heart, fourth or sixth nerve, or due to increased intracranial pressure. Here it is the types of the trabismus. We see normal isotropia, exotropia, hypertropia, hypotropia. And this is, we can see the classification of the squint. Next, the importance of the squint in Ayurveda. We all know the squint surgery is done for the cosmetic purpose. Many persons who live in the village don't know about the surgery. Ignorance of this disease leads to amyloidia formation. The cardinal feature of the squint is when one of the eyes is deviated from its normal position, so same system, uh, symptom is mentioned in Ayurveda also. In Ayurveda, such as Jimva, Akshi, Iranayan, Rishti, Sambha, Akshi, Jadda can be considered as a squint. Next, the causes of the squint in Ayurvedic view. Here we see the uh, path, when Bata is mixed with the Tejo Mahavud, it causes Vritkit Akshi. And another concept, uh, sensation of the Rupa is con uh, conveyed by the Rupa Baha Dhamani and it reaches to the moon and Atma. In this way, Rupa is perceived and interpreted. First, Atma is linked with the moon and then moon is linked with the Indriya Buddhi. Indriya Buddhi linked, linked with Indriya Adhisthan and then Indriya Adhisthan is linked with Indriya Rupa and then only meaning of the Rupa is interpreted. So, from this theory, we can see when two eyes are focused with one object, mind reaches the one image. But if there is a deviation in one eye, then two eyes focuses with two different objects and my mind also receives two different images simultaneously. At the time, if normal eye focuses any particular object, Karala Nitra, that is squint, uh, squint eye, is deviated from its normal position. Here some correlation uh, that in Agantaji Unmat, we can see Sridha Nayana that can be correlated with the restrictive squint. In Apatannak, there is a term Drishti Samban. It also can be correlated with the respective point. In Ardhi, there, there is a term Netra Vipriti. It is, can be correlated with the paralytic point. In Udavarta, has a symptom just like Akshi Jadya. This can be correlated with the incommitted point. In Grahorak, like Naigamesh, there is a symptom Urdhan Irikshana. That can be correlated with the hypertropia. In Skandagra, there is a term Urdhan Irikshana. That can be also correlated with the hypertropia. 
Next, the treatment of the squint as per Ayurvedic view. First, we discuss about the preventive aspect. We all know in third month of the gestation, uh, injury is developed. So at that time, uh, Shira, Madhu, Madhu, Sharti, Drabha should be given. And there is a Falashmati or Nashya, that is the Dhridhata of the Indriya is done by the uh, Nashya therapy. In case of curative aspect, uh, we can, uh, the main aim is uh, in curative aspect to improve the strength of the eye by doing some Ayurvedic therapy, just like Padishak. It gives the strength of the eye muscle and we also can do the Tarpan therapy also. And next one is a cystic salip industry. Uh, it is beneficial for the neurological disorder. Next one is a Murdini toilo. It strengthens the nerve, a nervous system and the muscle that control the eye movement. Uh, we can give some medicine internally also, just like Ekangavid Rosh, Mangshabata Goti, Tapadi Levo, Rasaraj Rosh. There is some Ekal Drabbo and Vashmo, just like Naga Vashmo, Raupo Vashmo, Shonno Maksi, Vala Ashtaganda, both increase the muscle tone and rejuvenate the nerve. Next, in Unmadrok, uh, we see there is a correlation between the um, symptom of Unmadrok with incompetent squint. So in Unmadrok, we can uh, give Midha Rashan uh, with the help of the Yashtimadhi Chunna and Shir. It also is in nature. We also give Nashta. It removes the morbid dosha from the nectar, Kantha, Karna. We can also give Anjan as Anjan is a nectar evo chite dose. We can also do panchakarma therapy and it causes hrid, rindriyo, shiro, koshto, shuddhi. Next is Udavarta. In Udavarta, we can give Abhanga with Abhanga, which is prescribed for Shita Jara. Next, thereafter, we can do Shedan therapy and then we can use Murti. We can also use Niruha Vasti uh, and Anxious type of purgative therapy also. In Naigame, we can make a decoction of the dashamun mixed with milk and madhurgan. In skandha, we can prepare a ghee with the help of the devadaru, rashan, uh, rashna, madhuk and milk. And it should be given to the children. In ardit, we all know that they all know the slok. Uh, so we can give navan nashta, murdhini taila, uponaha, tarpan and narishet. So discussion, we can now understand in vakradishti, vata is the main dose. Identification of the object in correct size and the position is the main function of the allochak picture. So here the picture is also vitiated. In other words, Vata is vitiated the picture. The Vata is mainly Pranavayu and we all know that the head is the seat of the Pranavayu. Pitta is the allochak picture here. So Vata Saman treatment should be given here. Mainly Vata Saman treatment which is specific for head just like Brahingan, Nashtra, Hiravosti, we can adopt it. Next conclusion. So many persons live in the village does not know about the surgery. There are many complications, case, complicated cases which cannot be corrected by surgery. Though there are different free surgical camps is arranged for the squint. Apart from that free medical camp, cost of the surgery is very high. Ignorance of this disease leads to amblyopia formation. That is a lazy eye formation. So the main aim of the Ayurvedic therapy is slow down the process and the strengthening the I muscle by giving Vatahara and Bringhan Chikitsa. This is my reference. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. So next I invite. I invite Dr. Sneha Abhaji. Yes, ma'am. Doctor, please start. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, doctor. Excuse me, ma'am. Is my screen is visible, ma'am? No, doctor. Uh, 
Hello. Your screen is not visible, doctor. Ma'am, can you help? Uh, doctor, please be there. You can present later. Hello. So next I in, hello. Yes, ma'am. Doctor, please. Doctor, please be there. You can present later. Okay, ma'am. So next I invite Doctor Ankita Karam. I invite Doctor Ankita. Hello. Am I visible? Uh, am I audible? Yes, doctor. One second. Uh, uh, can you please help me in sharing my PPT, please? Sorry, doctor. Now we are not able to share. Doctor, please be there. You can present later. Okay. Okay. Now I invite Dr. Prashant. Yes, ma'am. Doctor, please start. Yes, doctor. Good evening, all. Good evening, all. Myself, Doctor Prashant, first year PG scholar, Department of Kaichikitsa from Alvas Ayurveda Medical College. Uh, my topic of the, uh, today's paper presentation is the concept of Agni. We all know Agni is a main criteria in the treatment of Ayurveda. So these are my contents for today's paper presentation. Introduction Samadosha, Sama Agnischa, Samadhatu Malakriya, Prasanna, Atmendriya, Manha, Sarva, uh, Swasta, Itya, Bidhyate. This is a shloka quoted by Shushruta Sutrasthana. Ayurveda is a science based on prin basic principles. Agni is one among the Panchamahabhuta, which brings transformation of food into body tissues. The science of Ayurveda not only depends upon the symptomatology of the patient, but believes in, believes in finding root cause and treating it. Hence, for the root, Agni is the main one. Uh, hence, it is treated as a prime modality. Acharya clearly stated that dosage of medicine is mainly depend on the Agni. Agni is an important integral part of the body and Agni is manifested by the Pitta Dosha. Nirukti of Agni, Agni Gataho, one which enlightens and moves. Agni is the foremost among that which controls our body and responsible for Janma. And Agni is widely spread in all the substances. Importance of Agni. Agni has been stated one of the uh, seed of the prana that is life. Agni and Raitas are source of life. Hence, one should make effort to protect it from destroying. Proper functioning of Agni result in uh, sustaining good health and uh, good life and health. In other way, improper Agni result in ill health or even death. Role of Agni. Uh, Agni Ayurvarnam Balam Swastyam. Uh, the one which gives longevity and color and the one which gives strength and maintain the health and the one uh, Agni helps also in enthusiasm and body accumulation, luster and Agni also bring in immunity. Hence, the Agni is very, very important. Types of Agni, according to Charkar, there are 13 types of Agni. According to Vagbata, there are 18 types and Shushruta, 5 types. Uh, uh, let's coming to the Bhuta Agni. The Bhuta Agni are the prime uh, first, uh, which brings five Mahabhuta uh, uh, of respective gunas in a food ingredients. Achara Chakrapani said that action of uh, Bhuta Agni on respective result in production of visi uh, uh, Visishta gunas. Next is Dhatvagni. Dhatvagni is nothing but a small and scattered part of the Chatragni in Dhatus. This, there are seven in nature, uh, Rasaraktadi Dhatus. Next is Kaya Agni or Jatra Agni. It is the chief Agni in the body. 
the biological fire present in stomach and duodenum in jataragni the jataragni separates ahara into saravaga and kittavaga respectively next slide shows the how jataragni is separated into saravaga and kittavaga kittavaga is responsible for the wastage expulsion from the body saravaga later converts into bahutagni and dhatavagni uh, trividha agni bala uh, according to charaka there are three types of agni bala that is pravara agni madhyama agni and avara agni Based on this treatment is been planned. Next is Pradhanata of Jataragni. Jataragni is a supreme among all the other types of Agni because all the remaining types of Agni are dependent on Jataragni, including the Vridhi and Shaya of Bhuta Agni are dependent on the Jataragni. Agni Beda, according to uh, uh, Doshas, there are three types of uh, Agni, that is Vishama Agni, Tikshna Agni, Madna Agni. Uh, Vishana, Vishama Agni leads to Vatadi Vikaras. Tikshna Agni leads to Pitta Vikaras and Manda Agni leads to Kapha Vikaras. Agni and Grahani relation. Grahani and Agni, that is the digestive and the fire, have mutual relation according to Charaka. Grahani is a seat of Agni which, which supports and strengthens by the Agni. Next is Agni Pariksha. Agni Pariksha can be done by uh, assessing capacity of the digested food. Power or the condition of Agni determines the quantity of food which is also consumed. Conclusion, Agni Pariksha is the most important criteria in Ayurveda because the treatment depends on the efficacy of patient digestion and assimilation. Even in, swast in, even in Swastha, role of Agni is very highly emphasized for the healthy living. If Agni is in normal state and if the individual consumes proper quantity of Ahara, there will be proper digestion and metabolism later forms the Dhatu Samyata. Take care of Agni. Agni will take care of you and your health. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. So next I invite Dr. Himanshi. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, Doctor. Good evening to all. Uh, myself, Dr. Himanshi. First year PG scholar, Department of Kai Chikitsa, Alvas Ayurvedic Medical College, Mood Bitri, Dakshin Karnataka. Uh, I'm here to present paper on topic Kriya Kala. We will start with we will start with derivation. Why this is Kriya Kala, the word derived from Kriya means Chikitsa, that is Thatu Same Iti Chikitsa. Kala means Samaya. According to Acharya Dalhan, Kriya Kal defined as Kriya Kal Iti Chikitsa, Avsar Karm, Avsar Cha Iti. It is the appropriate time for treatment of affected doshas. During each stage, a physician has an opportunity to treat the subject. Now we'll move on to introduction. Kriya Kal means the time of treatment in the process of disease manifestation. As Acharyas gives an idea regarding to regarding the state of disease in the body and it guides us when to intervene or where to intervene. In the process of disease manifestation, the movement of morbid doshas into the next stage depend upon the virality of the nidanas, that is the nidana, the dosha movement occur. Apart from this, Kriyakal gives us the knowledge of diagnosis, prognosis and the level of intervention and so that to prevent the establishment of a disease. Next is Ritu Kriyakal. The normal physiological changes in the doshas in different ritu mentioned under three stages that is Chaya, Prakopa, Prashamana. In table we can see that Sanchaya, Prakopa, Prasara of each dosha in different in each ritu. Next we'll come on to Shad Kriya Kala. Acharya, Charak and Vagbata have explained only two avastha of doshas vriddhi that is Sanchaya and Prakopa. But Acharya Shushrut has further elaborated the two avastha into six vibhaga called Shad Kriyakal. They are Sanchayam cha Prakopam cha Prasaram, Sthan Sanshrayam, Vek, Sthan Sanshrayam, Vektam Vedam cha Yuvetti, Doshanam Sebhavet. Mainly six stages were described for the successive manifestation of the disease. That is Sanchay Prakoprasa, Sthan Sanshraya, Vekta Bheda. Now we'll come on to Sanchaya. We can also uh, call it like stage of accumulation. That is Sanchaya Svastana Vriddhi Doshanam Chaya Itya Vidhyate. It refers to accumulation of the doshas in its own sthan, which may be due to consumption of Saman Gun Ahara Vihara. Uh, it is also called Dravata Vriddhi since doshas increase by mass. Here 
सिम्टम्स ऑफ वात चया इज तब्द पूर्ण कोष्ठता पित्त चया शोज पीता भास्ता मंद उष्मता सिम्टम ऑफ कफ चया इज गौरव आलास्यम इन दिस फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ दोष वृद्धि वी कैन वी कैन अडोप्ट ट्रीटमेंट वी कैन अडोप्ट इज निदान परिवर्जन यूजिंग विपर्य गुण आहार एंड विहारा If the vridh vridh dosha as are treated in sancha avastha itself, then it will not become prakupita. If it is not done, it will enter other stages and become strong, and further it will difficult to treat. Now we'll move on to prakupa. That is second uh, stage of kriya kala. We can call it stage of vitiation or inclination. That is uh, tatra vilyan rup vridhi. When doshas are in chair condition, if nidana still persists and not treated in chair avastha, the doshas land in prakopa avastha. Prakop prakopa is an extended state of chair in which doshas are in liquid or gaseous state and has ability to move from its own place. Symptom of vat prakopa is kosta tod abhansha. Pitta prakopa is amlika amludgar daha osha plosha. Symptom of kaf prakopa is anadvesha vidyat klesh. Two types of prakopa are chay purvaka and achay purvaka. Chay purvaka, which takes place after chay avastha, this takes place in such people who do not follow proper diet and ritu charya and who neglected this chay avastha for long time. Next is achay purvaka. This takes place in people who have followed proper diet. ऋतु चर्या बट स्टिल दो शिव रिधि टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू अनबल कंडीशन दैट मे बी पॉइजन ट्रॉमा एक्सीडेंट टू मच ऑफ फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रेन और एनी विषम आहार विहार इट इज कॉमनली कॉज्ड आगंत निदान हेयर इन दिस स्टेज जनरल लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन चय पूर्वक अवस्था सिंस इट इज स्ट्रॉगली बेस्ड इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रीट एंड हेन्स शोधना शुड बी अडॉप्ट Uh, that may be uh, for vat we'll go for basti pitta for uh, virechana for kaf we'll go for vaman in acha purvak av uh, avastha since it is not strongly based it can be easily treated by shamana next prasara avastha that is stage of migration uh, so third stage we prepare. this is third third stage doshas will overflow spread or move to other organ uh, in their secondary sites if the treatment is not given in prakopa avastha and if nidan is continued then the doshas attain pras prasara avastha it is karmata vriddhi since doshas increase in its action type of prasara according to acharya shushruta 15 combinations of prasara we can see in this table Symptoms of vat dosha in prasara that is vimar gamana atopa pitta dosha osha paridha dumayana kaf dosha aruchaka avipaka general line of treatment tatra vayu pitta sthan gatasya pitta vat pratikara pitasya cha kaf sthan gatasya kaf vata kafasya vat sthan gatasya vat vat ev kriya vibhava this that is sushrut sutra 21 always the sthanik dosha should be treated first then agantu dosha if both are equally strong then both of them should be treated simultaneously and next is lean dosha it is an intermediate stage between prasara and sthan sanshraya general line of treatment by pur by purv karma like snehana swedana the strotha sa become soft and the lean dosha could be removed next is fourth stage that is sthan sanshraya we can call it stage of localization while vitiated doshas are in circulation wherever strotha vagunya occurs they settle there they settle this settling of a doshas at a place is called sthan sthan sanshraya stages of sthan sanshraya kavagunya dosthusha sanshraya पूर्वरूप प्रादुर्भाव टू टाइप ऑफ पूर्व रूप आर सामान्य विशेष जनरल लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट हेतु प्रत्यनिक चिकित्सा दोष प्रत्यनिक चिकित्सा रोग प्रत्यनिक चिकित्सा नेक्स्ट इज आर फिफ्थ स्टेज दैट इज व्यक्त और रूप दैट वी कैन कॉल इट स्टेज ऑफ मैनिफेस्टेशन इफ निदान आर कॉन्टिन्यूसली प्रेजेंट देन दोषा इंटर्स इन टू व्यक्त अवस्था मीन्स अपियरेंस ऑफ ऑल साइन एंड सिम्टम ऑफ अ डिजीज दिस स्टेज फेसिलिटेट्स द फिजिशियन टू एनालाइज diagnosis and plan the treatment general line of treatment the treatment is specifically uh, specific against the particular disease a clear line of treatment is being explained for each disease in our treated then at least the dosha should be treated for all pathological condition there is no name the only thing has to be done is to bring the doshas to normalcy now the last stage or that 
सिक्स स्टेज ऑफ क्रिया काल इज स्टेज ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन और भेद वी कैन वी कॉल इट भेद Here, disease disease clearly categorized. If the disease left untreated, then the dosha will enter enters the sixth stage, where it gives birth to other diseases called updrava. This stage, the disease is difficult to cure. General line of treatment we can adopt here: treating the disease or treating updrava. That is emergency medicine management. Now we'll come to conclusion. Kriya kal is needed. to maintenance and prevention of health to diagnosis to adopt the chikitsa for understanding the process of manifestation of the disease to assess the sadhya and asadhita of the disease even in asadhya roga the patient should not be neglected and attempt should be made to maintain tridosh samya and to prolong the life for few more days that itself become kriya kala thank you thank you doctor next i invite dr shabna rani uh, i invite now? dr shabna yes you are audible yeah you are audible doctor i am dr shabna i am dr hello am i audible yes you are audible shabna first yes, pg is good Good morning, good evening, ma'am. I am Dr. Sharma, first year PG scholar, Kaiji uh, Kusa Department, Alwar's Ayurvedic Medical College, Karnataka. Here I am presenting my topic, Ayurvedic Management of Hyperacidity. Uh, come to my topic. Hyperacidity is one of the common diseases seen in society. It is seen in almost all ages, classes, and all communities. Hyperacidity refers to a set of symptoms caused by an imbalance between the acid secretory mechanism of the stomach and proximal intestine and the protective mechanism that ensures that stomach normally secretes acid essential for the normal digestive process but when there is an excessive production of acid in the stomach it results in condition known as acidity come to the prevalence nearly 25% of the population will have hyperacidity symptoms at least 6 times yearly hyperacidity is the most common symptom seen in 40% of patients then come to the causes hari vari kare are the three main reason of this disease then uh, come to the dietary causes eating spicy salty and sour food excessive intake of fast food excessive intake of oily food and pickles excessive intake of tea or coffee irregular meals a repeated food intake incompatible food skipping meals eating too late at night these are the dietary causes related to hyperacidity then come to the regimen and the mental factors in regimen a lack of rest fast moving lifestyle insufficient sleep at night sleeping immediately after meals separation of natural urges excessive exposure to sun and fire these are the regimen which led to hyperacidity then come to the mental factors stressful lifestyle excessive anxiety worry jealous anger fear job dissatisfaction these are the mental factors that led to uh, hyperacidity then come to Certain health condition related to GI acne, where the hyperacidity is the main symptom. That is gastroesophageal reflux disease, peptic ulcer disease, gastritis, esophagitis, that is reflux esophagitis, infectious esophagitis, then dyspepsia, functional and organic dyspepsia, then hiatus hernia. Then disease condition other than gastrointestinal bile, where hyperacidity is the symptom. Thyroid disease, then diabetes, obesity, depression, stress. Then prolonged use of NSAIDs also cause hyperacidity. Then come to the clinical features. Burning pain in the chest region that usually occurs after eating. That is retrostomal burn, regurgitation, dysphagia, tooth erosion, chronic cough, laryngitis, hoarseness of voice, gaseous distension of abdomen, and heaviness in the abdomen. Then come to hyperacidity in Ayurveda. In Ayurveda, hyperacidity can be explained under Urdh Gamla Pitta, Vidagda Ajina, Samapitta Lakshana, and Pitta Jigrahani Lakshana. In Samapitta Lakshana. अभिपागोत्म विदग्दे भ्रम त्रिमोश पिताच विधारुज उदघाश स धूमा स्वेदो दाहश जायते कोस डुड द विशेषण ऑफ पित्त दोष दिस कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय भ्रम दाह तृष्णा मोश अम्लोत्कारान स्वेद प्रवृत्ति देन पिता पितज ग्रहणी 
uh, while explaining Pittaji Grahani Ajaryas, explain Lakshnasas Amlodkara and Hirtkandada. Then to the then come to the chigilsa of this condition. Then we here we adopt Ama Chigilsa. Amar Pradosha Janam Punar Vigaranam Abadrapanena Evo Uparama Ubhavi. Then come to the Udaga Amla Pita Chigilsa. Udagam Vamaneer Diman Adhogam Rajne Huda. In Udaga Amla Pita, we can adopt Vamana. In Pittaj Grahani Chigilsa, Pittam Nyatua Videkena Nhare Vamanena. In Pittaj Grahani Chigilsa, we can adopt either Vama uh, Vamana or Vidajana. Then come to the Vidagda Ajayala Chikitsa. Vidagde, according to Susrada uh, Samhita, Vidagde Lankana. And according to Ashtanga in Vidagda Ajayala Chikitsa is Vamana. Then come to the Chikitsa. I conclude that Nidana Parivarjana, Shamana and Shodhana are the treatment modalities. Uh, due to, uh, first, we have to uh, adopt Nidana Parivarjana. It is the uh, foremost and prime uh, Chikitsa modality in hypersity. Uh, then we can adopt Shamana Chikitsa and according to the Roga Bala and Rogi Bala, we can adopt Shodhana Chikitsa. Here, some Shamana Aushadi Dravyas among Churna, we can use Avipatikara, Patiadi, Trabhala, Hinguadi, Eladi, Amalikyadi Churna. Among Vadis, Drakshadi Gudiya, Shankavadi Arbus, among Kashaya, Patoladi Kwada, Argudadi Kashaya, Sunodbhavadi Kwada, Bhunibadi Kwada, Deshanga Kwada, Indukanda Kada, Kalyanga Kashaya, Drakshadi Kashaya, Murdika the Kashaya Rus. Among Krida, Shadavari Krida, Drakshadi Krida, Panjitikta Krida, Narayana Krida, Dadima the Krida, Sharingere the Krida, Indukanda Krida are used. Among Lehia, Shadavari, Drakshadi Lehia, Sugumare Lehia, Kalyana Guda are used. Among Gresa Oshidis, Shanga Basma, Pravala Basma, Kama Dukaresa, Suda Shagresa, Amla Pitanda Gresa, Pravala Pishti, Mukta Pishti are used. Among Resana, Madipal Resana, Amlaki Resana are used. We come to Sattu Avajay Chikitsa. Since stress is uh, the main and foremost uh, cause of the um, hyperacidity condition, we can adopt Sattu Avajay Chikitsa. There is non pharmacological approach aimed at control of mind and restraining it from unwholesome arthas and stresses, directing the mind from unwholesome objects. Then we can use Ega Mulika Prayoga, the single drug usage. Shada, we can use Shadavari, Ishtimadu, Amaleki, Guruji, and Shundi. Then come to the Patya and Apatyas. Among Patya, Patya Aharaka, Tik the Bhuishta Ahara. Among Anavarka, Yava, Bhutuma, Purana Shali, Mutka, Masura, Raja Shetu, Ita Sida Anmat. Among Shaga Varkas, Shaga which possesses Tikta and Lukugunas like Vasha, Vastuga, Karevelaka, Kadola, Kushmada Arvist. Among Pala Vargas, Dadima, Amleki, Kapita Arvis. Among Dugda Varga, Go Dugda of Animals in Jungle Pradesh. Among Pana, Narigal Jela and Sugoshna Jala are Patyas. Among Apatyas, Aharasar, Apatya Aharasar, Guru Pojana, Itahi, Guru Tashana, Kulata, Masha, Navana, Tila, Mati Seven, and fermented foods like bread. Among Resas, Levana Amla, Kadu Resa Pratana Drivesa, Apatyas. Among Viharas, Vega Vida, Vega Dharana, Athyashana, Adiushna, Athyambupana, Atha the Seven, Tivasatna are Apatya Viharas. Among Apatya Mansika uh, Apatyasar, Amansika Apatyasar, Chinda, Kroda, Shoga, and Bhai. We come to the conclusion. Hypersity in Ayurveda includes Nidana Parivarjana, Shodhana, Shamana, Rasayana, Sattu Avajaya Chikitsa. Also, treatment of hypersity is based on Rogi Bela, Roga Bela, Prakriti, Vikriti, Ahara, Desha, and Kara. Patyapatya has a great role in treating hypersity. Selective combination of Patyapatya, Shodhana, and Shamana plays effective role in treating hypersity. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. So, next I invite. Dr. Surendar Renu. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, doctor, you are audible. Good evening, all. Myself, Dr. Surendar Renu, first year PG scholar from the Department of Salya Tantra, Alvas Ayurvedic Medical College, Karnataka Mudbidri. Today, my paper presentation is on the role of dinteria in ARSA prevention measures. Introduction. In Ayurveda, Atariya Sutrosa has mentioned ARSA is a disease under the heading of Ashtamahagada. In modern parlance, ARSA come under the 
group of lifestyle disorder which is increasing at on alarming rate in our society but everyone overlook it some of the causes busy schedule western lifestyle increased mental tension lack of rest modern civilization etc now what is yarsa according to acharya sutrata arivat prani no mas kil ka vishan satyat arsasi tasmad uchyante gud marga nirodata dosa tavak mas medhansi sandushya vivid akritam mas ankurana apan ado kuryanti arsasi tan jan ashtang hriden nidan normal vascular structure sinusoid in the anal canal foam cushions help in stool control they become a disease when swollen inflamed nidan parivartan nidan agni manda mal sanchya kosta apan vayu prakopa as udbhava दोष इन्वॉल्वमेंट वात पित कफ रक्त और शनिपात दिनचर्या राउंड दिखलो आहारा उष्ण जलपान दीपन पाचन लघु उष्ण फैट मोर फाइबर सोल्यूबल इन सोल्यूबल कॉन्स एंड सीरियल्स गोधूम कोल रक्त साली बार्ले एक्सेट्रा फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स कुकुम्बर सेलरी वाटरमेलन बेरीज एप्पल्स बनाना एक्सेट्रा चू वेल बिफोर स्वेलिंग बिकॉज स्वेलिंग वेल मेक द फूड इजिली डाइजेस्टेबल इंक्लूड द तक्र इन डाइट अकोर्डिंग आचार्य तरका भोजन अंत तक्र यूजफुल स्पाइसी जिंजर ब्लैक पेपर क्यूमिन फेनग्री लॉन्ग पेपर कर्डम लॉन्ग सेनम दाल एवरी यूजफुल इन प्रोमोटिंग द फंक्शन ऑफ लिवर एंड रिवेल कंस्टिपेशन रेगुलर इनटेक द सुराना सुराना का दस्तु विशेषाद अरसम हितम कैय निधान गण सुण विशेषाद अरसम पथ्य भाव प्रकाश take warm milk in bed time don't use refined food white bread polish rice deep fried food spicy food red meat excessive tea and coffees processed process food frozen milk alcohol consumption excessive eating or virudh aahar vihar nidra mental peace profession hazards regular physical exercise avoid sitting and traveling for a long period on an even set and vehicle riding preventing natural urges specifically apan vayu veg mal veg or mutra veg forceful expulsions of urges Acharya Sutra has explained not to be sit for long time in utkatasan for the prevention of urs disease. Weight control, avoid lifting, urs common during pregnancy, special care. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. So next, I invite Dr. Nisha Jain. I'm audible. I'm audible, doctor. Yes, doctor.
हेलो डॉक्टर निशा डॉक्टर वी कैन हियर योर वॉइस डॉक्टर डॉक्टर प्लीज अनम्यूट एंड स्टार्ट द सेशन डॉक्टर हेलो ओके डॉक्टर नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन डॉक्टर माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल सर स्क्रीन इज विजिबल डॉक्टर सो हियर आई कांट विजिबल माय स्क्रीन सो ओके डॉक्टर प्लीज टर्न ऑन योर पीपीटी डॉक्टर प्रधान Among all yantra, hand is considered as the pradhana tama yantra. Why? Without the hand, instrument can't be used at all. All the functions of all the functions of instrument are depend on it. Yantras are not only a blunt instrument; it is used for the extract any shellyas. Classification of yantra according to the Shushota, there are six in numbers: swast, uh, swastika, sandamsha, tala, nadi, shella kind, upa yantra. Swastika yantra. Number are twenty-four in number, size are eighteen in angula. Resembles mukha of the Simha, Vagra, Rukka, Traksha, Vipi, uh, has shown in the slides. Shape, shape of the nail are Masura Dala. Handle, it is like ankusha of goats of elephant. Uses, it is asti gata shalya udharan arta. It is correlated to the artery forceps or mosquito forceps or bacco forceps in modern. Sandamsha yantra. There are two in number. Size is sixteen angula. Types: Sanigra, Kila yantra. That is tooth for uh, tooth dissecting forcep. Anigra, Kila rahitta. That is untooth dissecting forcep. Uses is dwak mamsa siras naayu shalyot dharanartha. Tala yantra. Numbers are two in uh, numbers are two. Size are twelve angula. Shape resembles like matsya talu. Types are eka tala, dwi tala. Uses karna nasa nadi shalyo dharanartha. It is correlated to the spoon shaped instrument. Nadi yantra numbers are twenty. Instrument with one opening is alavu and arsha yantra. Arsha yantra it is more in modern it is correlated to the proctoscope. It is used for the files, fishery nano polyps. Instrument with two openings that is basti yantra then duma yantra. Shapes and size and length according to the necessary uses. Shoda gata shalyo dharanata, roga roga darshanata, achu shanata, kriya saukaryata, etc. And some yantras in nadi uh, nadi yantras are bhagandara yantra, ashu yantra, rana yantra, basti yantra, uttara basti yantra, mutra rudhi yantra, alavu and shrungas. Shalaka, shalaka yantra. They are twenty eight in numbers. Gandupada yantra it is used for the Asian artha. Sarpa phana it is used for the view hand artha. Sarpa na ka is used for chalan artha. Badi sha it is used for the aharan artha. Jamba phala and ankusha it is used for the agni karma. Nasa arbuda aharan it is used for the removal of the growth on nasal. Anjana shala ka it is used for the application of collarium. Mutra marga vishodana it is used to dilate the urethral passage. उपयंत्र दे आर ट्वेंटी फाइव इन नंबर्स रुज्जू वेनु पट्टा चर्मा अनुवेलित का लता वस्त्र दीज आर यूज्ड फॉर द बंदना अस्टिलाशमा मृदगरा अंगुली अंगुली इट इज यूज्ड फॉर द ड्रेनिंग ऑफ अ पस जीवा इट इज यूज्ड फॉर द टू रिमूव द शल्य फ्रॉम द आईज दंत नाक मुख मुख इट इज यूज्ड फॉर सकिंग During the snake uh, dumpster, bala bala it is used in the suturing. Hasha it reduces the it removes the stress. 
ಅಶ್ವಕಟಕ ಶಾಖ ಸ್ಟೀವನ ಪ್ರವಾಹಣ ಅಯಸ್ಕಾಂತ ಕ್ಷಾರ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಬೇಷಜ್ಯ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಯಂತ್ರ ಲೋಹ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೋಹ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬೋನ್ ಐಂಡ್ ವುಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವುಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಟೂ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ರಿಸೆಂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ರಿಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯಂತ್ರ ವಾರಂಗ ಕೀಲ ಮುಖ ಯಂತ್ರ ಗುಣಸ್ ಸಮಾಹಿತಾನಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಖರಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣಿ ಮುಖಾನಿ ದಟ್ ಮುಖ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಮುಖ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅರ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸುದೃಢಾನಿ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಸೂರೂಪಾನಿ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಅಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸುಗ್ರಹಣ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಯಂತ್ರ ಎಂತ ದೋಷ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅತಿ ಅತಿ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಅತಿ ಸರಮ ಅತಿ ದೀರ್ಘ ಅತಿ ಋಸ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಾಹಿ ವಿಷಮ ಗ್ರಾಹಿ ವಕ್ರಂ ಶಿಥಿಲಂ ಅತ್ಯುನ್ನತ ಮೃದು ಕೀಲ ಮೃದು ಮುಖ ಮೃದು ಮುಖ ಮೃದು ಪಾಶಂ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಂತ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಥಿನ್ ಥಿಕ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಕ್ ಆರ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಅ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಯಂತ್ರ ಕರ್ಮ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗತನ ಪೂರಣ ಬಂಧನ ವ್ಯೂಹಣ ವರ್ತನ ಚಾಲನ ವಿವರ್ತನ ವಿವರಣ ಪೀಡನ ಮಾರ್ಗ ವಿಶೋಧನ ವಿಕರ್ಷಣ ಆಹರಣ ಅಂಜನ ಉನ್ಮನ ವಿನ್ಮನ ಭಂಜನ ಉನ್ಮಂತನ ಆಚೂಷಣ ಏಷಣ ದರ್ಶನ ರುಜುಕರಣ ಪ್ರಕ್ಷಾಲನ ಪ್ರಥಮನ ಪ್ರಮರ್ಜನ ಪೂರಣ ಐ ಲೈ ಐ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯಂತ್ರ ಕರ್ಮ ಪೂರಣ ಫಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಪೀಡನ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಉಪಯಂತ್ರ ಅಂಗುಲಿ ಟು ಡ್ರೈನ್ ದ ಬಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಸಿಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಪೀಡನ ಕರ್ಮ ಭಂಜನ ಅಶ್ಮರಿನ್ ಅಶ್ಮರಿ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಪೀಸ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಯಂತ್ರ ಆಚೂಷಣ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸಕ್ಷನ್ ಡೂರಿಂಗ್ ಓ ಟಿ ಏಷಣ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲ ಇನ್ ಏನೋ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಪ್ ಪ್ರಕ್ಷಾಲನ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿಕೋಸ್ ಅಲ್ಸರ್ ತ್ರಿಫಲ ಕೋತ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಮರ್ಜನ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಓ ಟಿ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಮಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ that time uh, this karma is u- useful prashasta yantra it should be a divide of 12 doshan and it should have ashtadasha angula kankamuka yantra sir prashasta yantra because it holds well and easy penetrable comes out from the body tissue easily drishta shalya that is visible shalya extracted extraction by the simha mukha gada it is invisible shalya extract extracted by kanka mukha conclusion shushruta shushruta was the first surgeon to describe the different types of the surgery instrument shushruta concept of the surgical instrument description of their quality method of manufacture and their uses are unique this highlights the historical and cultural type of the yantras that were performed through the ages most of the instrument described by the shushruta can be correlated to the instrument using in modern surgery but with slight modification thank you thank you doctor so next i invite dr pooja yadav i invite dr pooja hello dr pooja yes yes sir okay doctor please share the screen doctor yes your screen is visible doctor please start the session 
अकॉर्डिंग टू आचार्य चरक एब नॉर्मल डाइट एंड मोड ऑफ लाइफ एब नॉर्मलिटीज ऑफ आर्थव एंड बीज एंड कर्सिस ऑफ गॉड आर दॉस्टिव फैक्टर्स ऑफ ऑल दीज ट्वेंटी डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ योनी योनी व्यापद Coming to the classification of Kafar Yoni Vyapat, Acharya Charaka has mentioned slash Mukhi Yoni Vyapat. Acharya Shushruta has mentioned five conditions due to vitiation of Kafar Dosha. That is to say, Atyananda Karnini, Acharna, Aticharna, slash Mala. Acharya Vagbhata has mentioned slash Mukhi Yoni Vyapat. Acharya Bhav Prakash has substituted Anand Charna in place of Acharna Yoni Vyapat. Coming to Shlashmiki Yoni Vyapat, Kapo Abhishyandi Bhi Vriddo Yoni Che Dushyet Triha, Sa Kuriyat Pichchi Lam, Shitaam Kandu Gras Alp Ved Nam, Pandu Var Nam Tatha Pandu Pichchi Lata Vahini. According to Acharya Charka, due to consumption of Abhishyandi food products, the aggravated Kapha reaches Yoni, causing uh, anxiousness, coldness, itching and dull pain in vagina. The woman looks anemic, discharges yellowish, anxious menstrual blood. Acharya Chakrapani has equated this with Kapha Jastrikdara on the basis that yellowish discharges per vagina are present during intermenstrual period also. According to Acharya Shushruta, Shleshmala Pichila Yoni Kandu Yukt Ati Shitalta. Acharya Shushruta mentions that in Shleshmaja Yoni, there is anxiousness associated with itching and excessive coldness. According to Acharya Vagbata, Kapo Abhishandi Bhi Kruddha Kuryad Yonin Ved Nam, Sheet Lam Kandu Lam, Pandu Pichhi Lam, Tadvit Shrutim, Sa Vyapa Shleshmiki. Acharya Vagbata has followed Acharya Charaka. In Madhav Nidhan, Bhav Prakash and Yog Dhatnagara, same description as Acharya Shushruta has given. Madhu Kosha has mentioned presence of pain. Samprapti of coming to the Samprapti. Due to Abhishyandi Kafkarat Padad Sevan, Vishyated Kafa reaches Yoni Pradesh, causing coldness, itching, and dull pain in vagina that leads to Kafa's Astrikdara. Coming to Acharna Yoni Vyapat. योनियम अधावनात कंडुम जाता कुरवंती जनतवा सा स्याद चरना कंडवा ते अतिनर अकांक्षणी आचार्य चरक हैज मेंशन दैट आचार्य Unhygienic practices like not warming the yoni as a consequence, pathogens afflict all other of sex. According to Achyate, mentions that a woman becomes hyper excited before coitus much earlier than the male. Dalara explains that female has excessive libido, gets hyper excited than the male partner. The female does not conceive, and there is excessive itching and anxiousness. Coming to the samprapti. Due to non-cleanliness of vagina, the microbes develop in yoni pradesha and produces itching. Due to itching, the woman feels excessive sexual desire. Acharya Vagbhata has named it as Vipruta Yoni Vyapada. Coming to the Chikitsa, uh, Uttar Vasti with oil process with Jeevniya Gandravyas can be given. Yoni Varti prepared by dipping a linen cloth 21 times in bile of cow fish or kinva churna with madhu is used. It clears artha vas rotas and relieves kandu play the shopa. After snehana, swedana, tarpan, sneh pichu and vathar ahar has taken, pichu with snehe processed with kwata, shalaki, jambu, dhavatwak and panch valkala should be used. Coming to Adi Charna Yoni Vyapat, Pavno Ati Vyavayen, Shof Supti Rujya Striya, Karoti Kupito Yono, Sacha Adi Charna Mata. Acharya 
चरका टोल दैट वायु अग्रवेटेड ड्यू टू एक्सेसिव इंटेलिजेंस इन सेक्सुअल इंटरकोर्स कॉजिंग इन्फ्लामेशन नमनेस एंड पेन इज टर्म डेस अति चरना अकॉर्डिंग टू आचार्य शुश्रोता बहुश्रच अति चर न देनिया बीजम न विंदन ती चतवी चाद्यासु श्लेष लिंगोच्रति भवे आचार्य शुश्रुता मेन्शन दैट एक्सेसिव सेक्सुअल इंटरकोर्स लीड्स टू अति चरना इन विच कंसेप्शन डज नॉट अगर According to Acharya Vagbhata, Sav Ati Charna Sof Sanyuk Ati Vyavayat hai. Acharya Vagbhata mentions that when a vatiki due to excessive quieter suffers from Sof, it is termed as Ati Charna. Bhav Prakash mentions that in Ati Charna Yoni Vyapad, female yoke discharges rajas repeatedly and earlier when compared to her male partner. Samprapti of Ati Charna Yoni Vyapad. Due to excessive indulgence in sex, the vat and kapha gets aggravated and on reaching the yoni pradesha causing, causes shofa, supti, pain, failure to conceive and leads to aticharna yoni vapada. Chikitsa, uttar vasti with oil medicated with jivnya gana dravyas, anuvasan and astapan vasti with vathar tala or swedan with vathara dravyas, ahar and upna with With the drugs having bath her properties can be used and use of snail dravya is beneficial. All bath nashak chikitsa is to be done. Local application of utkari ka made with yava godhum, kidmu kusht, shat pushpa, priyangu bala, aku karni is to be done. Coming to karni ni yoni vyapad, akale vaha manaya, garben pehito anile, कर्णिका जनिय योनो श्लेष्म रक्तेन मूर्चिते रक्त मार्ग अवरोधिनिय अकॉर्डिंग टू आचार्य शुश्रुता कर्णिनियाम कर्णिका योनो श्लेष्म अस्त्रभ्याम प्रजायते चश्वपी चाद्याशु श्लेष्म लिंगोच्छति भवे आचार्य शुश्रुता मेन्शन दैट विशेटेड कफ दोषा अलोंग विद रक्त प्रोड्यूसिस कर्णिनी इन योनि एंड अदर कफ पच फीचर्स लाइक अंशसनेस इचिंग एक्सेट्रा आचार्य वाघभट हैज ऑल्सो फॉलोड आचार्य शुश्रुता सॉरी आचार्य चरक हैज ऑल्सो फॉलोड आचार्य आचार्य वाघभट हैज ऑल्सो फॉलोड आचार्य चरका संप्राप्ति ऑफ कर्णिनी योनि व्यापक ड्यू टू स्ट्रेनिंग ड्यूरिंग लेबर इन दी एब्सेंस ऑफ लेबर पेन्स दी वायु विद होल्ड कफा एंड गेटिंग मिक्स्ड विद रक्त प्रोड्यूसेस कर्णिनी इन योनि व्हिच ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट द पैसेज ऑफ रजा चिकित्सा ऑफ कर्णिनी योनि व्यापक चक्रपानी एक्सप्लेन्स दैट इन कर्णिनी अचरणा इन चक्र उत्तर बस्ती विद तैल प्रोसेस विद जीव में गन द्रव्य शुड बी डन बर्ती मेड ऑफ कुष्ट पीपली अर्का सैंडव पेस्टल विद कॉट यूरिन इज अप्लाइड लोकली ऑल दी कफर ट्रीटमेंट शुड बी डन बर्ती प्रिपेयर विद शोधन द्रव्य शुड बी यूज कमिंग टू अत्यनंदा योनि व्यापक अत्यनंदा ना संतोषम ग्राम्य धर्मेंद्र गच्छति चत्रश्वपि चाद्याशु श्लेष्म लिंगोच्छति भवेत आचार्य शुश्रुता सेज दैट दी वुमन इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड इन इंटरकोर्स क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ कफ विशेषण लाइक अंशसनेस एंड इचिंग आर प्रेजेंट चिकित्सा रुक्ष एंड उष्ण ट्रीटमेंट आर टू बी गिवन यूज ऑफ गोमूत्र मिक्स्ड विद द ड्रग्स हैविंग Possessing katu ras and katu vipak can be used. Kalk dharan local application of paste of shama, pipple adi varti, ark adi varti, shanshodan adi varti can be used. Patya use of oil, sidhu, barley, etc. cereals and patya arrest. Kafaj yoni vape samanya chikitsa. Basti of cow urine mixed with the drugs having predominantly katu properties should be given. Local application of paste of shama should be given. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pooja. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Ankita Karan for the paper presentation. Dr. Ankita, are you there? Uh, yes, I am there. Okay, Doctor. Uh, I will share sir, for you. Can doctor. you please uh, share my screen? Okay, Doctor. I will share for you, Doctor. Doctor, please start the session, Doctor. Namaste, all. Uh, 
today i am going to present about uh, the topic of case report on multiple sclerosis uh, moving on to the introduction next slide please uh, multiple sclerosis is a chronic inflammatory demyelinating disease of the brain and spinal cord uh, the causes of disease are unknown but it likely involves environmental factors and vitamin deficiencies the hallmark of the multiple sclerosis is symptomatic episodes that occurs months and years apart and affect different uh, anatomical locations Uh, eventually if it is not treated it leads to permanent damage of the nerves causing physical and psychological disabilities next slide please uh, ayurvedic concept of multiple sclerosis can be understood accordingly as the vata vyadhi which is uh, characterized by the loss of strength and sensory functions in other way it can also be understood as the madhya dhatu shaya which is characterized by tiredness hair fall looseness and weakness of joint and frequent like affliction with vata vyadhi next, next slide please Uh, moving on to the chief complaints the patient complains of uh, numbness and weakness of both lower limbs tingling sensation in both the arms weakness and reduced strength in both lower limbs for one and a half years next slide please case report a uh, 25 28 year uh, old female patient who is not a known case of diabetes mellitus and hypertension came to the opd with complaints of uh, numbness and weakness of, of both lower limbs which was which was more on right side along with tingling sensation in both arms for one and a half years which was insidious in onset uh, the patient complained that uh, she was not able to do, uh, do her routine activities on her own after one month the patient developed pain and numbness in the foot and reduced strength in both upper and lower limbs uh, and when the investigations were done through mri scan she was uh, diagnosed to have multiple sclerosis along with the deficiencies of vitamin b12 and d next slide please Uh, accordingly the treatment was uh, planned and started after two months of the treatment during the first follow up the patient uh, found slight relief from the symptoms and was ad- advised to continue the same medications with the regular follow up uh, during the second follow up the patient complained of numbness and tingling sensation in both palms along with the reduced strength in both lower limbs hence the further analysis was done next slide please uh, past history the patient was administered with the prednisolone at the beginning for 2 to 3 months it was uh, withdrawn gradually next slide please uh, general examination built of the patient she was normostenic and uh, appearance was healthy pallor ectus synosis clubbing lymphadenopathy and edema were absent next slide please <coughs> systemic examination cardiovascular system uh, was normal uh, respiratory system normal breath sounds were heard uh, gastrointestinal system uh, per abdomen was soft and uh, no organomegaly was seen and the central nervous system con- a patient was conscious and oriented and the sensory and the motor functions were normal next slide please uh, musculoskeletal system uh, the gait of the patient was normal but uh, she had mu- uh, muscle stiffness in both upper and lower limbs uh, even though the uh, muscle power and muscle tone uh, tone were normal next slide please Uh, and when the hemat- hematological investigations were done uh, it was observed that her esr was uh, raised and uh, vitamin b12 and d w- was uh, below the normal limit uh, next slide please uh, according to the impressions of mri which was found uh, it says that uh, sh- uh, short segment cord lesion at uh, c2 and c3 vertebral level and uh, conus at uh, t12 level was seen the cervical lesion showed the contrast enhancement but the conus lesion was not uh, enhancing next slide please features suggestive of pathology uh, related to multiple sclerosis that is hematological investigations as seen earlier uh, revealed that esr was raised and uh, vitamin b12 and d were the uh, below the no- lower uh, normal limit uh, mri of brain and spinal cord revealed the demyelinating pathology of multiple sclerosis next slide please accordingly it was analyzed and uh, the various uh, treatment were uh, planned various procedures and internal treatment were administered accordingly uh, procedures such as alepa danlyamla dara rajapana basti udvartana and pidichi were administered the line of the treatment was flexible and modified according to the uh, necessity of the patient next slide please uh, internal medication like uh, uh, in the view of considering the multiple sclerosis as vata vyadhi Uh, the internal uh, certain inter- internal medications were uh, administered that is bvc with gold uh, one tablet uh, bd and uh, neuro xt tablet uh, one tablet od indukanth vidha 10 ml od dhanadhanayanadi uh, kashaya 15 ml tid and dashamudra patha 50 ml tid 
Next slide, please. Uh, after the administration of the treatment, uh, uh, it was seen that the, before the treatment, uh, uh, the symptoms like numbness, muscle stiffness, weakness, and tingling sensation were uh, uh, very severe. Uh, and after the two or three sittings of the treatment, the patient uh, felt complete relief from the uh, symptoms such as numbness and uh, numbness, etc. symptoms. Next slide, please. Uh, hence, it can be concluded that the disease uh, multiple cirrhosis can be considered as Vata Vyadi in Ayurveda. Uh, so, Basti Chikisa can be considered as the prime uh, and best line of treatment for multiple cirrhosis along with the other line of treatments too. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ankita. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Sneha Karat for the paper presentation. Dr. Sneha Karat, are you there? Hello, Dr. Sneha, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Hello, I am visible. Hello. Hello. Am I audible, sir? Yes, doctor. Audible, doctor. Sir, one second. I share my slide. Okay, doctor. Your screen is visible, doctor. Please start the session. Okay, sir. Hello. Hello, doctor. Please start the session, doctor. Yes, sir. I am presenting here a review on Chakshusha Dravya of Prakash Nigantu. Uh, myself, Neha Abhaji Karate from final year MD Scholar Department of the Dravya Boon. Uh, Saptashunga Ayurved College, Nashi. Uh, my guide name is uh, Parshuram Pawar, sir, MD and Professor of HOD. Introduction Ayurveda is a science of life. It includes eight branches. Uh, this uh, ophthalmology, in among these Shalaki Tantra, that is, ophthalmology is one of the important branch deals with the disease of eye and their treatment with Chakshusha or Netra Dravya. Chakshusha itam chakshusha, that which is good for eyes. Every human wishes to have a long and healthy life. In Ayurveda, all Acharya have mentioned various measures for maintaining the eye in a healthy way. Bhaprakash Nigantu here uh, told a uh, slow uh, meaning is drugs that are chakshusha and indriya balapradhan can be advocated as a rasayan in order to arrest the progression of already existing disease and prevent occurrence of new disease, which forms the comprehensive discipline of positive health. Most of the dravyas in Netra Yoga are labeled under the heading of Netra and Chakshusha Dravya. Netra Dravya meaning various herbs which are beneficial for eyes and Chakshusha which is improves vision health. Under the there is many dravyas entitled in Bhutrai, Lagutrai, Nigantus and other tastes. Here, Bhav Prakash Nigantu is one of among three Sahitas of Lagutra. This Bhav Prakash Nigantu mainly deals with Dravya Guna due to its Karma Pradhanya. Bhav Prakash Nigantu was selected for this study. Uh, two types of Chakshusha Dravya have been described in this Nigantu, one uh, of which is Chakshush Hitakara, Hitakara that is beneficial for eyes. The other one is Chakshurogahara, is used for treating the eye disorder. Aim and objective of my study is to collect the regarding to the drug information at Chakshusha Netra in, uh, in Bhavakash Nigantu to analyze their properties mentioned in it. Materials and method. Bhavakash Nigantu original, original text search for the drugs and having a property Chakshusha Dravya and was tabulated to analyze the properties of those drug methods. The Chakshusha property is used with various synonyms, Netra, Chakshu Hitakara, and Netra Hitam. All drugs mentioned in first three vargas, that is Haritakyadi Varga, Karpuradi Varga, and Guruchadi Varga, have these properties were identified and tabulated to know their source identity and the properties. After obtaining the list of drugs, the properties of drugs will be analyzed the, uh, for Rasapanchak and analyzed systematically by their Latin name and references are mentioned. Here, uh, first var varga, Haritakyadi Varga, 
the drugs latin name rasa virya vipak and doshagnata are mentioned here first haritaki second bibitaki amalaki ajmoda jirak chatapushpa uh, tumba uh, tumba phala samudra pen yashti madhu manjishta daru haridra lodra and sadha these uh, 13 drugs are from haritaki ati varga and they are uh, all rasa panchak uh, latin name and doshagnata are mentioned here सेकेंड कर्पूर आदि वर्ग कर्पूरा लता कस्तूरी लवंग रक्त चंदन अगरु तगर प्रोपोंडरी एंड सरनिरियास देर इज एट ड्रग्स फ्रॉम कर्पूर आदि वर्ग एंड देअर लैटिन नेम दोषग्नता एंड रसपंचक आर मेन्शन हियर थर्ड फ्रॉम गुरुच्छादी वर्ग देर आर थर्टीन सॉरी देर आर सिक्सटीन ड्रग्स फ्रॉम गुरुच्छादी वर्ग जीवंती मुदकपर्णी करवीर निंबपत्र शिग्रुबीज निर्गुंडी गुंजा एरका शतावरी अष्टिसंहार कुमारी भिंगराज एंड काकमाची मेषशृंगी कोकिलाक्ष एंड जलपिपली ऑब्झर्वेशन अँड रिझल्ट इन भाव प्रकाश निघंटो नेत्र और चक्षुष द्रव्य एंड अक्षिरोग हर द्रव्य आर डिस्ट्रीब्युटेड इन टोटल थर्टीन वर्ग एज मेन्शन बिफोर आउट ऑफ देम इन हरितक हरितक्यादी वर्गात Uh, 13 drugs and karpura the varga 8 dravyas and guruchya the varga 16 dravyas contains herbal origin drugs we have studied here excluding some controversial drugs whose rasapanchak cannot be stated on the basis of granth total 37 herbs are taken into consideration for study herbs according according to rasa and vipak uh, uh, according to rasa number of madhur uh, madhur rasa dravya is 16 amla rasa 2 lavan rasa 1 katu rasa 13 tikta rasa 19 kashay rasa 9 and uh, according to vipak the number of dravya observed here madhur vipak dravya uh, as uh, 11 in number katu rasa dravya is 25 and amla rasa is only 1 perhaps according to virya and doshagnata uh, vat kapha har uh, dravya is uh, uh, 12 vat pitta har is 3 कप पित्त हर सेवन पित्त पित्त हर और पित्त शामक इज ओनली वन एंड त्रिदोष हर ड्रग्स आर थर्टीन अकॉर्डिंग टू वीरिय उष्ण नाइनटीन शीत एटीन कंक्लूजन इन भाव प्रकाश निगम टू नेत्र और चक्षुष्य एंड अक्षिरोग हर द्रव्य आर टू डिविजन ऑफ ड्रग एक्टिंग फॉर आई डिसऑर्डर After studying the Sapanchak and classification of three vargas, it included that Guruchadi varga include the most of the chakshusha dravya then haritakyadi and karpuradi varga chakshu is the chief site for alochak pitta like the whole body and its different part eyes should be uh, should also be protected from imbalance of three doshas but special protection is required against the kapha dosha because kapha dosha is opposite to tej mahabhut in reference to their guna that is quality so chakshusha dravya should be kapha nashak and pitta varga maximum number of drugs are tikt and madhur in rasa katu vipak now that is kapha shamak and madhur vipak that is pitta shamak sheet virya among these vata kapha gna and tri dosha dravyas are more in number than any other doshagnata so chakshusha dravyas written in ayurvedic classic including bhav prakash can be used for guidelines for promotion of ocular health here is a reference thank you sir thank you dr sneha Next, I would like to invite Dr. Kedan Shivajirao for the paper presentation. Yes, sir. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Yes. Is screen is visible, sir? not visible doctor just first visible sir not visible doctor
sir can you take the next one please i will present later okay doctor uh, doctor hmm. doctor i will share for you doctor on mail yes sir sure Doctor, your topic is role of resin and the man in the COVID nineteen, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, doctor. One minute, doctor. Sure. Sir. Doctor, please start the session, Doctor. Hello, Doctor Kaden. Yes, yes, sir. Please start, Doctor. Okay, sir. One minute. Okay, sir. So, hello, everyone. Uh, myself, Doctor Kaden Sathudar, a PG scholar, final year, Sanitary Department, guided by Doctor Vijay Dewey, sir. Uh, HOD as well as Associate Professor, Sanitary Department. PMP Zarud College, Shoga, Ahmednagar, Maharashtra. So today I will present the role of Rasayana in the management of the COVID-19. As we know that the Ayurveda is the science of the life which mentions the various principles for the prevention and treatment of the diseases. For maintaining the proper health and boosting the immunity in the body, Ayurveda has described the various principles and treatment modalities in which one of the important concepts is Rasayana. It helps to maintain the proper health and boost the immunity. Rasana is one of the eight major clinical disciplines of Ayurveda. Ayurveda and COVID-19. The recent emergency and the rapid global spread of the severe acute respiratory syndrome, that is coronavirus, also known as SARS-CoV-2, and the resulting COVID-19 poses an unprecedented health crisis that was declared as the pandemic by the WHO. No treatment protocols has been mentioned yet to this disease. This concept is mentioned by Acharya Charak, in the Janapadhan's Adhya in Vimansthan. Rasana therapy is included one of the its treatment. This is called as the immunomodulators. Acharya Sushruta defined Rasana Tantra as one which does not bulkara and also which is capable of curing the diseases, that is, preventive, vaisthapan, medya, and as well as curative. Concept of Rasana. Rasayana Chikisa is one of the main branch among the Ashtang of Ayurveda, which act as preventive, curative, and health promotive for all the ages in the pediatric up to geriatric. Concept of immunity and immunomodulation are extensively explored and used in the Ayurveda, particularly in the field of Rasayana therapy. Then what is the need of Rasayana? The cell death in body is possible due to the various factors leading to the physical, metabolic, and psychological impairment. Thus, setting foundation of various elements with Rasana therapy. It is possible to prevent the delay of this damage. The mechanism of action of Rasana is as it nourishes and maintains the cell of life, that is the neurological action, also encourages the growth of the new cells, that is regenerative action, and prevents the recurrent infection, expelling the damaged cells, that is immunomodulatory action. And also it eliminates the toxic metabolic and pollutants, that is it acts also as the antioxidant. The modes of Rasana effect. The Rasana act on the Rasadhatu as well as the Strotas and mainly the Agni. As we know that Rogaha Sarvapi Manda Agni. So it also acts on the Agni that is digestion and the metabolism, which improved nourishment and the quality of the tissue, which further increase and help indirectly to increase our immunity and then mental and long power of the muscles. Then specific evidence based action of the specific rasana. So amlaki act as an antioxidant, micronutrient, while haritki is at also act as an antioxidant. Ashwagandha, that is Vidanya Sumnipera, it act antioxidant as well as adaptogenic, while Guduchi is act as immunomodulatory and antioxidant. 
शिलाजिता एंटीडायबिटिक अनाबोलिक भल्ला तक एंटी कैंसर मंडूक पर एक्ट एज अ मेमोरी बूस्टर ऑयल पिपड़ी एक्ट एज अ वेस्टिंग डिसीज केवन प्राश इज वन ऑफ द कल विच इज यूज एज अनाबोलिक एंटी एजिंग एंड इम्यूनो बूस्टिंग देन कम टू द वैदि एंड रसायना A vadi is a resultant of imbalanced dosha and dusha, which happen due to the low vedic shamato or immunity. Immune moderators are those which are provide the strength to the immune effect or the cells, that is lymphocyte, macrophages, dendritic cells, and natural killer cells. These cells work together and defend the body against the antigen. The definition of vedic shamato given by Chakrapani that vedic shamato denotes the resistance power of the body, which reacts to arrest the progress occurrence or recurrence of the diseases it is the biological defensive power of the body to fight against the ongoing affiliated diseases and to prevent the future development of the diseases so some rasayana drugs are also used as any specific diseases state as the induce specific immunity and bio strength to combat particular diseases such rasayana are called as naimitic rasayana and which are included in single drugs are as amlaki haritki ashwagandha goduchi pippali and haridra so the conclusion is that time has to when the more focus shall be done on the preventive aspect of the diseases and thus the present policy of the health care system shall deal with the awareness among the mass among the rasaushadi utility quality of life is important for an individual rasayana is one of the important part of the chikitsa in the ayurveda rasayana aid in increasing natural immunity enhancing the general well being improving the functioning of the all the fundamental organs of the body rasayana therapy can be included in the national health policy and ayurveda can contribute to the betterment of the humanity so that's all thank you sir thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr mrnali for the presentation dr mrnali are you there Okay, next I would like to invite Dr. Rema Shankar for the paper and poster presentation. Dr. Rema Shankar, are you there? Okay. Next I would like to invite Dr. Mayuri Jagannath for the paper presentation. Dr. Mayuri Jagannath, are you there? Okay, next I would like to invite Dr. Amrita Vai for the presentation. Dr. Amrita Vai, are you there? Next, Dr. Shema Amol Dorle for the presentation. Dr. Shema Amol Dorle, are you there? Okay. Next, Dr. Abarna C P, are you there? Dr. Abarna C P, are you there? Okay. Dr. Amrita Narkar, are you there? Dr. Amrita Narkar, are you there? Okay. Next, Dr. Nilesh Rangnad, are you there? Dr. Nilesh Rangnad, are you there? Okay. We are come up to the end of the session. I would like to invite Dr. Aishiri Aras for the conclusion. Dr. Thank Aishiri you, Doctor. Aras. So it's an official end. So before winding up the session, first of all, let me thank our panel. members and i would like to extend my sincere gratitude for being there from the beginning and i would like to extend my appreciation for our participants for their active performance so congratulation you all and till we meet goodbye and good night and uh, dr prashant we will provide certificate we will send you the certificate in your, in your mail and whatsapp also thank you thank you so much